بسم الله جي بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله أما بعد أعوذ بالله الصميل لي من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ما كان محمد أبا ما كان محمد أبا أحد من رجالكم ولكن رسول الله وخاتم النبيين وقال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم لا نبي بعدي لا نبي بعدي لا نبي بعدي Respected brothers and sisters in Islam, we have uh, come yet again to do another stream. Myself and Brother Intiaz, we have been uh, absent for the English audience for the last couple of weeks, I think. So this week we decided that we should do the, the stream in the English language. Last stream was in the Urdu language. Alhamdulillah, some of our ex qadiani brothers and sisters accepted Islam. And they entered the Islam of Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his companions. And they expressed their belief that there is no prophet in any shape or form after Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Tonight we have a very interesting case. And the case is that Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani was in the business of or in the habit of making up lies. When he couldn't find evidence to substantiate his claims, he would simply make up lies on the spot. Okay, so specifically talking, all the evidence mentioned in the Quran and the Sunnah about the personality of Isa alayhi salam, Isa ibn Maryam, Jesus the son of Mary, and the miracles mentioned therein in the Quran and the Sunnah. Now, they were beyond the capacity of Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani. Mirza could not do those miracles. He could not perform those miracles because he was a liar. He was an imposter. His claim was bogus and false. He could not possibly fulfill any of those uh, prophecies or any of those miracles or deeds committed by Isa alayhi salam. Isa ibn Maryam alayhi salam. And then he claimed to be Isa ibn Maryam. He claimed that he is the promised Messiah. Which Messiah? There is only there's only one Messiah in the Quran, and that's Isa ibn Maryam. Al Masih is the title given to Isa ibn Maryam in the Quran, Jesus Christ. So Mirza claimed that title for himself. He said he is the promised Messiah. And effectively, he was claiming to be the return of Isa alayhi salam, as foretold in multiply, multiply attested or multiply transmitted hadiths of the Prophet sallallahu what we call mutawatir. Isa alayhi salam, his return to this world is foretold by the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam in mutawatir reports. That cannot be denied. There's no doubt that Isa ibn Maryam was mentioned by name by the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa and he said he mm -hmm. will return. In fact, he used such strong language that one cannot possibly believe in Allah and his messenger and deny those signs. What did the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa say? That by the one in whose hand is my life, that Isa will return before the end of times or before the day of judgment. And the list goes on. Okay, so Mirza could not do any of those things. Mirza did not have the capacity to fulfill all those prophecies made by the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu or even the things that are mentioned in the Quran about Isa Salam, those miracles. So Mirza could not perform any of those things. He could not show to his gullible followers that he is indeed the second coming of Isa Salam. And if Isa could do it the first time, he should be able to do it the second time when he came back, right? But Mirza knew he cannot do it because he's an imposter, he's a liar. So what did he do? He started to make up lies. He started to make up his own miracles. <laughs> his own miracles, even though he didn't believe in miracles. He was a naturalist. Mirza was a naturalist, okay? Mirza was uh, a materialist. He didn't believe in miracles as the Muslims do, as we the Muslims for the last 1,400 years, have believed in miracles 
documented in the Quran and the Sunnah. We believe in miracles. We believe in the supernatural. Okay, events taking place beyond the capacity of the natural world. That's what we call the supernatural. Okay, events that break the laws of nature. Okay, Mirza didn't believe in those things. But he was making up lies as he went along. Okay, he knew he couldn't do those things. Isa alayhi salam, the original Isa alayhi salam did. Oh, when he comes back and he will do. So he started to make up lies as he went along. Conveniently, he had plenty of creative lies he came up with that he documented in his writings and he claimed those things. We will look at some of those things and show you how Mirza <coughs> used even the most disgusting things about himself as signs, as miracles. Mirza was disease riddled, okay, or disease ridden, okay. He, he was completely diseased and he would urinate according to his own words sometimes hundred times a day he would use the bathroom the toilet okay sometimes a hundred times a day or more than in, in some cases more than hundred times and he had a problem with urination and defecation he had loose motions excessively what he wrote in the Urdu language, the word he used was dust, what we call diarrhea. He had excessive diarrhea. And you know what he said about his excessive urination and diarrhea? That even these two phenomenon have, they are a sign from Allah. Okay, and we will explain later on how he did that. So he was a very creative, very, very creative liar. So that's what we're going to discuss today. We're going to show you black and white lies of Mirza Ghulam al-Qadiani. Now, one may ask this question. If these things are so black and white, why are these Qadiani still Qadiani? We say to them that Allah says in the Quran, even if Allah was to split the heavens open and show himself, show himself, okay, there will be still people disbelieving in him. They will still, people will still be disbelieving in him. Like Banu Israel, the Banu Israel, they were shown all those miracles and signs by Musa alayhi salam and other prophets. And there's still many of them remain disbelievers. So, Qadianis, those who are destined for hellfire, we cannot save them. We cannot save those Qadianis who are destined for hellfire. They will go to hellfire. They will go for, to, to hellfire for the choices they will make. But there are those who are listening. There are those whose hearts have Iman. And Allah has destined for them Jannah. Allah has destined for them that they will enter paradise. We are talking to those. And we are just tools and vehicles to bring the message to them. And through this exercise, we also want to be forgiven. This is da'wah. We are fulfill fulfilling our obligation to our human brothers and sisters <coughs> we have been <coughs> given this obligation to convey the message of islam to humanity and that includes the qadiani community that includes the ahmadi community okay and we believe it is our responsibility it is our obligation to take the message to the ahmadi community around the world because we have sympathy compassion and mercy for them we don't hate Qadianis. We don't hate anyone from the Jamaat. Even Mirza Masroor, we have sympathy for him. May Allah guide him. And if he gets guided, if he realizes that he's upon Batil, and I'm sure he knows that, I'm sure he knows that, and if he announces it, maybe half his Jamaat will turn, and still there will be some. They will say, no, Mirza Masroor ka dhamaag kharaab ho gaya, iska pech jo wo dila ho gaya. You know, we have to die as disbelievers. Some Qadianis will insist on dying in disbelief and we cannot save them. So this is the introduction today. We're going to discuss Mirza's lies, outright lies he made up to show or prove himself to be Isa alayhi salam or return of Isa alayhi salam in his own body born of Chirag Bibi and Ghulam Murtaza. Even though the Quran calls Isa, Isa the son of Mary. 
Isa ibn Maryam. And when Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa foretold the coming of this man, he used the name Isa ibn Maryam. So we are expecting a person called Isa ibn Maryam from Banu Israel. Because that's the only Isa we know. There is no other Isa we know. There's only one Isa we know. He is the son of Mary who was an Israelite. By that virtue, when the Prophet called him Isa ibn Maryam, that means he's an Israelite. We're waiting for him. And instead, what Allah decides to give us, a Punjabi Mongol of dubious character, who was an outright liar. Uh, and then Qadiani Jamaat expects us to believe in him. Over to you, Tiaz Bhai. Let's open the floor. Go ahead, please. Present the Muqaddama. Inshallah. Uh, first of all, Adnan. Uh, first of all, Adnan by to you and to all the viewers. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. And uh, inshallah, we begin with this dua that may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us ikhlas, complete sincerity. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open the hearts and minds of the Ahmadiyya community so they can see the truth and they can accept the truth. At the end of the day, as Adnan Bhai was saying, all we can do is we can present all of these this evidence. And that's all we can do. After that, if you want to turn a blind eye, it's up to you. Nobody can guide anyone, not even the prophets. So I would say that our Mukaddima, our case today is very simple. We'll present to you that Mirza Ghulam Qadiani is saying that Quran says, says such and such or Hadith says such and such. Now, if that is found in the Quran and Hadith, then he is truthful. And if that is not found, he is a liar. There is no rocket science. There is no complexity. It is like 2 plus 2 is 4. Inshallah, we will present to you very clear references. In which even a common person, even a layman with a bit of work can investigate all of that or can ask a person that where is this thing mentioned in the Quran or Sunnah. So, inshallah, without any further ado, I will start my presentation. I just want to mention, inshallah, one thing because obviously these Murabis, they have the habits of just, you know, picking this small, you know, snips from the whole talk, from the whole, uh, you know, presentation. When Adnan Bai mentioned about the sicknesses of Mirza Ghulam Qadiani, he simply meant that, look, anybody can be sick. That's not the question here. Yes. The point Adnan Bai is making, that making those sicknesses as his miracles to be Isa ibn Maryam. I mean, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect everyone. May Allah give shifa to all of those who no, are sick. The, the, there is yeah. another point I mentioned, yeah. the sicknesses yeah. specifically, yeah. which the Qadiani Murabis deliberately ignored. Yeah. That uh, other point is that Mirza claimed to have healing powers that were unprecedented. Yeah. Mirza claimed that he is the Messiah who yeah. has the healing powers that were unprecedented he has unprecedented healing powers that's what he claimed okay and then he himself conceded to the fact that he was disease riddled or ridden with disease and he mentioned an entire list of a number of conditions he had so why would allah make him such a sick man and then give him powers healing powers unprecedented healing powers and he couldn't use to heal himself. So this was a sick Messiah. Messiah's job is simply, you know, one of the reasons, one of the interpretations of the word Al-Masih is the one who heals by touching. Because the term Al-Masih comes from Masaha. Masaha, which means to touch. Okay. In this context, it means to touch, to heal. And this is one of the interpretations of the name Al-Masih or, or the title Al-Masih. And he, he claimed to be Al-Masih Al-Mawud. He is the promised Messiah. He could simply touch himself and heal his diarrhea, his, heal his urination and malichodia and all the other diseases. But this is another reason why I mentioned his diseases. Yeah. 
it's not being diseased being sick is not something evil or bad in itself we are not saying that murabbis are more intelligent than that they know what we mean they deliberately don't want to admit it they play games they are known to play being diseased being sick is not bad in itself anyone can get sick prophets were ill ayub alay salam we have his example in the quran but the fact that mirza claimed to have unprecedented healing powers and he claimed to be al masih maud the return of isa alay salam who would simply touch people and heal the leper and the blind what happened to this messiah he himself was disease ridden okay and he couldn't heal himself this is the point this is another point yeah thank yeah, you yeah yeah even the even the poets they say that ibn maryam hua kare koi mere dukh ki dawa kare dawa koi, kare koi. <laughs> absolutely yeah so inshallah brothers uh, we'll uh, begin our presentation now and uh, after that we'll open the floor for any common ahmadi or any expert or anybody is more than welcome to come and challenge us on these references and you are more than welcome to confront us in a logical and reasonable way inshallah so let's begin okay bismillahir rahmanir rahim so the uh, first of all in the words of mirza gulam qadiani himself let's see that how he sees lying fabricating things ruhani khazain volume 2 page 360 uh, page 386 he says that ab dekhna chahiye ke wo kanjar jo walad us zina kehlate hain wo bhi jhoot bolte hue sharmate hain he says that even the bastards even they have the shame in lying so it is not us yes the wording is very harsh but we want to let you see in the beginning that how mirza gulam qadiani sees the habit of lying that it is worse than being a bastard then he says that ruhani khazain volume 17 page 56 jhoot bolna murtad hone se kam nahi he says that lying is not less than being an apostate so basically he is comparing the apostasy and lying then ruhani khazain volume 19 page 28 तुम झूठ ना बोलो कि झूठ भी एक हिस्सा शिरक है ही सेज दैट डोंट लाई बिकॉज लाइंग इज लाइक एसोसिएटिंग पार्टनर्स विद अल्लाह जस्ट इमेजिन दैट हाउ ही सीज द लाइंग ही सेज दैट रूहानी खजा सॉरी अल हकम अखबार ऑफ सेवनटीन ऑफ अप्रैल नाइनटीन जीरो फाइव ऑन पेज थर्टीन ऑफ दिस न्यूज पेपर ही सेज दैट जैसे बुत पूजना शिरक है वैसे झूठ बोलना भी शिरक है ही सेज दैट एज worshiping the idols is idolatry same like that lying is also idolatry in the words of mirza gulam qadiani himself ruhani khazain volume 21 page 292 <coughs> aisa aadmi jo har roz khuda pe jhoot bolta hai aur aap hi ek baat tarashta hai phir kehta hai khuda ki taraf se wahi hai mujhko aisa badzat insaan to kutton suron और बंदरों से भी बदतर होता है फिर कब मुमकिन है खुदा इसकी हिमायत करे मिर्जा गुलाम इज सेइंग दैट द वन हु इज फैब्रिकेटिंग लाइज ऑन अल्लाह बाय क्लेमिंग टू हैव रेवलेशन इवन दो ही इज लाइंग ही सेज दिस पर्सन इज वर्स देन द डॉग्स एंड पिग्स एंड द मंकीज ओके लास्ट रेफरेंस इनशाला रूहानी खजाइन वॉल्यूम ट्वेंटी पेज टू जाहिर है जब एक बात में कोई झूठा साबित हो जाए तो फिर दूसरी बातों में इस पर एतबार नहीं रहता नाउ यू नीड टू रिमेंबर दिस लास्ट कोटेशन इफ यू फॉर गॉट एवरीथिंग एल्स रिमेंबर दिस वन इफ समबडी इज इस्टेब्लिश टू बी अ लायर इन वन थिंग वी कैन नॉट ट्रस्ट दिस पर्सन इन द अदर थिंग एज वेल इन सिंपल टर्म्स ऑल वी नीड टू प्रोड्यूस इज one single lie of mirza gulam qadiani and our case is is established but inshallah will definitely present more than that now i want you to listen this point very carefully it's not that for example sometime and somebody is writing something and they happen to give like a wrong reference by mistake 
or they happen to quote a hadith you know a uh, little bit off by mistake no mirza gulam qadiani listen this one point please very very carefully mirza gulam qadiani was fabricating lies in order to prove his case to be the messiah don't forget this key point as adnan bai was mentioning because he was not able to fulfill any of the signs of true isa ibn maryam so he started to fabricate things i mean he ignored either he completely ignored or denied all of the true signs or he started to give them some other meanings and in place of that he started to set his own quote and quote signs and how he was setting these signs inshallah you'll see it now as you all know one basic thing very fundamental thing he fabricated was the, the term itself masih e maud the promised messiah this term itself is a fabrication please note this point there is no such thing in islam as a promised messiah no in islam the messiah isa ibn maryam has come already now he will come a second time that we this ummah is not waiting for a messiah it is isa ibn maryam so don't confuse do these two things because mirza gulam qadiani played this game he coined this title of promised messiah why just to not think people uh, so, so just to basically make people blind about the actual term which was isa ibn maryam alaihi salam now he says that kya ye dalail mere daawa ke saboot ke liye kam hai ke meri nisbat quran e kareem ne is qadar pure pure qarain aur alamat ke sath zikr kiya ke ek taur pe mera naam batla diya duhani khazain volume 20 page 40 he said that the proofs of my claim are so much in the quran as though as quran has almost mentioned my my name right inshallah i want you to see that what are those proofs inshallah in a minute he says that mera ye bayan hai ke mere tamam daawi quran e kareem ahadees e nabawiya aur auliya e guzishta ki peshin goiyon se sabit hai ruhani khazain volume 5 page 356 he says that all my claims they are established from quran from ahadees and from the ilham of the previous saint the previous righteous people now inshallah i want you to see that what he was referring in all of these references okay let's see inshallah first of all he wanted to tell the people that the very name of his village is mentioned in ahadees look at this one ruhani khazain volume 20 page 40 hadithon mein qada ke lafz se mere gaon ka naam maujood hai he says that in ahadees there is a world or there is a place or there is a term called qada he said this is the name of my village and then he further explains for us in review of religion 1903 december page 437 he says that hadith mein qad a ke lafz se mere gaon ka naam maujood hai same thing he says that in the in ahadith the name of my village is mentioned let's inshallah continue ruhani khazain volume 3 page 139 कादियान में लिसन वेरी केयरफुली कादियान में खुदाए ताला की तरफ से इस आजिज का जाहिर होना इल्हामी नविशतों में बतौर पिशन गोई के पहले लिखा गया था इसे इट वॉज ऑलरेडी रिटर्न इन द प्रीवियस स्क्रिप्चर्स दैट आई विल कम इन कादियान आई ई द मसाया विल कम इन कादियान मिर्जा गुलाम इज सेंग दैट दिस वॉज रिटर्न इन द प्रीवियस स्क्रिप्चर्स ऑलरेडी ओके further ruhani khazain volume 3 page 140 and 141 teen shehron ka naam ezaz ke sath quran e sharif mein darj kiya gaya makka madina aur qadian ye kashf hai jo kai saal hue mujhe dikhlaya gaya he is claiming that in the quran there are three cities which are mentioned makka madina 
and Qadian. Inshallah, today the Murabiyan will come and show us where is Qadian in the Quran. Okay. Okay. One okay. Wait, wait, wait. Before, before we yeah. go forward. G I, I want I want everyone to understand this. This is not a joke. As Imtaz Bhai already highlighted, Mirza himself said that if you are shown to be a liar once, then you cannot be trusted. Number one. And then he also acknowledged that lying on Allah deliberately is worse than being a monkey or a pig. Okay. So that's clear. Now Mirza here is writing that there are three cities mentioned in the Quran. Makkah, Medina, and Qadian. Okay? So keep this in mind, brothers and sisters. This is not a joke. This is about your salvation. This is about Jannah and Jahannam. This is about dying upon Haq. Not only living upon Haq, but also dying upon Haq. And going to Jannah. This is not a joke. Don't take it lightly. Do not take it. Don't ignore it. Okay. Over to you, Daz Bhai. Please. Jazakallah, Dan Bhai. Jazakallah Khai. Just inshallah, one more reference about the village of Mirda Gulam. He says that Aisa hi ahadis may be beyond farmaya gaya hai. Ke Mahdiye Maud ek aise kasba ka rehne wala hoga jis ka naam Kada ya Kadiya hoga. और हर एक दाना समझ सकता है कि लफ्ज कदहा दरअसल कादियान के लफ्ज का मुखफ्फ है नाउ लुक एट द लेवल ऑफ हाउ ही वाज ही वाज ट्विस्टिंग द थिंग रूहानी दिस वाज रूहानी खजाइन वॉल्यूम 13 पेज 260 261 ही सेड इन for Qadian. Now, this was my first, you can say, category of lies in which Mirza Ghulam Qadiani tries to try to deceive the people by putting a sign forward. He said that, look, the sign of my truthfulness is that my village is mentioned in the Quran and in Ahadith. I have given you the reference of Quran and of Ahadith as well. Now, inshallah, once the Qadianis will come, they will show us those Quranic ayat, first of all, and then those ahadith which have mentioned the name of village of Mirza Ghulam Qadiani. So, this was basically the first category of lies in which Mirza Ghulam Qadiani fabricated things about his village. Let's, inshallah, move on. Now, he is going to fabricate, uh, by the way, uh, I think one more, yes. He says that Masih, Masih ka manara, jiske kareeb iska nuzul hoga, the mishik se sharki taraf hai. Aur ye baat sahi hai, kyunke kadiyan, jo zila gurdaspur mein hai, jo lahore ke goshai maghrib aur janub mein hai. I don't know what science he is talking about here, but still he is claiming that this village, which is uh, the village of the Isa where he will appear, this is the village of Mirza Ghulam Qadiani and I am sure if anybody knows the, the map, you can clearly see that he was absolutely lying in, in this direction as well. There is no such thing which he tried to mention here. I just want to mention one point about this Manara, inshallah, but later on. Adnan Ba, you have something to say about his village? Nothing, nothing positive. I have nothing good to say about that village. Apart from the fact <laughs> yeah. that there may be some Muslims there, may Allah protect yeah. them. Okay, I mean, so, yeah. so here obviously he is just clearly lying, blatantly lying that Qada is mentioned in the Hadith, Qadian is mentioned in the Quran, that even the Manara, and he got the geography wrong there. The yeah. geography, geographia is wrong there because it's the other way around. The city of Lahore and Gurdaspur, the way he described it, Qadian's geography, he got it wrong. And this was supposed to be Ilham. Or he was a prophet. He should have known that, where the city is. But they say, oh, it's not a big deal. He made a mistake. You know, other prophets also made mistakes. So he made a mistake too. <laughs> Fine. Okay. But other things, they cannot be mistakes. They are lies. Other things. He said, I can accept that Mirza was very poor in ge geography. And he didn't speak from Ilham. No problem. That's fine. 
but when he claims that Qadian is mentioned in the Quran and uh, the city of Masih Ma'ud is in Hadith, okay. Then okay, then and you now, need to think about it. Yeah. Yeah, and now uh, because you know, like uh, like I said before, Nanbai, that these are not just simple lies. Now he is basically deceiving the common people of India that how his village, his time, everything is established from Quran and Sunnah. Now in this second category of reference, he will prove that Punjab is also mentioned in the Ahadith. Let's see what he says here. Hmm. Now, first of all, uh, Ruhani Khazain, Volume Twenty, Page Forty. ایک حدیث سے سری میں اشارہ ہے کہ مسیح مود ہند میں ہوگا کیونکہ دجال کا بڑا مرکز مشرق یعنی ہند قرار دیا ہے ناؤ انشاءاللہ مربیان will show us because مرزا غلام is saying in, an, in a حدیث there is the indication that promised messiah this is the term of مرزا غلام قادیانی we don't believe in this term that the promised messiah will come in ہند please note this point he said that the Messiah will come in Hind. Inshallah, we want to see that hadith today. Okay, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah he, he did. He did, actually. Because Mirza claimed to be Christian, you know. <laughs> he claimed to be Christian Kanahiya. Remember, remember, you know that, right? Yeah, and yeah, he yeah. also he also made up a hadith about that, too. He also made up a hadith about that, too. That there is a hadith. The Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, said, he used these words, Mirza, use these words. The yeah. Prophet said that there is a black-skinned Prophet from India. Yeah. And Ismuhu Kahin, Kanahiya. His name is Kanahiya. He attributed these words to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And when we picked on this, one of the Murabis came uh, and he lied. He actually added the words, Kala Nabiun. Kala Nabiun. You know about it. You all know about it. Mr. Razi came and he had the audacity to, on the spot, add yeah. the words where Mirza did not have the audacity, as much of a liar as he was. Razi Saab came forward and he added the words Kala Nabiun. These things are historic. Don't play games. Brothers and sisters, those of you watching, whether you're from Africa, Ghana, Nigeria, India, Qadian, Islamabad, Faisalabad, Canada, Toronto, wherever you are, think about it. This is not a joke. This is a matter of life and death. This is your akhirah. And now uh, in the second, uh, first he spotted his village. Then he spotted the whole country. And now he will fabricate the hadith for his own province, for the state of Punjab. He says that Ruhani Khazain, volume 17, page 371. Guzishta ke kushuf ne اس بات پہ قطعی مہر لگا دی کہ وہ چودویں صدی کے سر پہ پیدا ہوگا اور پنجاب میں ہوگا لو جناب مرزا غلام قادیانی is saying that it is definitive قطعی when something is قطعی and if somebody denies something قطعی he is a kafir remember this point and مرزا غلام قادیانی is telling the people that this is something قطعی that Messiah will come in Punjab. Now I want to show you a fraud as well. Guess what? The actual quotation was this one. Please note the Adnan. My look at this one. The actual quotation was Ambiyai Guzishta ke Kushuf ne. Wallahi, this was the actual edition. When the ulama of Islam, when they cornered the Qadianis, they changed the text. They replaced the word Awliya. Sorry, the word Ambiya with Awliya. But guess what? They are still fools. You know why? Because the Kashaf of a Wali cannot make something Kati. So they changed the, just the word Ambiya to Awliya, but they could not change the next bit. Kati. Kati is still there. And this is a sign that they tried, but they were failed. Here, Nanbai. <laughs> you see, when you lie, when you lie and then you have to lie again to hide that lie, you land yourself in bigger problems. So when they changed the word uh, uh, Ambiya to Awliya, they didn't think about the, the Qati bit, right? This is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is using us to highlight those things to people. Because no Wali, as big as he may be, can make deen, can make religion for us. No Wali. No Wali. Absolutely no Wali. Okay. 
can make religion for us or cannot Adnan bhai, your voice is gone. Adnan bhai, no, your voice is, is gone. Okay, Shah Adnan bhai will come back, inshallah. Let's wait, inshallah, a few seconds. Inshallah, Adnan bhai will be back. Or... We can proceed if he has some issue with the connection. Okay, anyhow, Adnan Bai was pointing out the thing that, look, first of all, he lied about the 14th century and being in the Punjab. And then the Jamaat Ahmed the Gulam Qadiani is lying upon lying. Because when they saw that the word Ambiya, there was, there was no way for them to prove or establish the point about Ambiya, so they change the world to Awliya. But as Adnan Bhai pointed out, the Kashaf of Awali, we are not going into discussion of Kashaf itself, but simply the Kashaf of Awali, no matter how big of the status of the Wali is, cannot make something Kati. Ji Adnan Bhai. Sorry, I got cut. So I was saying that Kati, uh, 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 a Kashaf, which is like a vision, Okay, vision. Kashf is basically revelation. Revelation in the sense that when something has been shown to you, okay, like a vision has been shown. No Kashf can ever make religion for us. However wild, however creative, however magnificent it may be, right? So it cannot be Kati. Absolutely. This is this is an oxymoron. Okay. Yeah. Oliya's Kashf being Kati is like saying, you know, um, square circle. It doesn't work. Yeah. 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 And, you know, people, I want to understand you this. So far, what you have seen, Mirza Ghulam Qadiani fabricated the deen to prove his village. Then he tried to prove his country. Then he tried to prove his state of Punjab. And he will not just, you know, stop here. Let's see what he says next. Now he's going to prove the time of his coming. I'm going to skip many, just to, you know, just save the time. I want to give you the big ones. Look at this one. Now is going to prove that his time is mentioned in the Ahadith. Ruhani Khazain, volume 4, page 394. He says that Badi Tawajjo Dilane ki baat ye hai ke khud a Hazrat sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ne ek mahdi ke zahoor ka zamana wohi zamana karar diya hai jis mein hum hai. Or chodvi sadi ka is ko mujaddid karar diya hai. Karar diya hai. He says that Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has declared Mahdi as the Mujaddid of 14th century. Inshallah, Murabbis will show us where is this Hadith. Hadith so se sabit hai ke Masih Maud ki tervi sadi me padayish hogi. Ruhani Khazain, volume 20, page 40. He said it is established from the Ahadith that Messiah will be born in 13th century. Inshallah, we want to see this Hadith today. Chodhvi Sadi ka Mujaddid Masih-e Maud hooga aur Ahadith-e Nabviya, Ahadith-e Sahiyya Nabviya. Remember, Ahadith-e Sahiyya Nabviya. Pukar pukar kar kehti hai, ke Tervi Sadi ke baad Zahur-e Masih hai. We want to see the Ahadith. Mirza Ghulam is saying, Ruhani Khazain, volume 5, page 340. He says that they are authentic Ahadith, multiple authentic Ahadith, which say that promised Messiah will come after 13th century and in the 14th century. Now, let's see inshallah more. He says that, uh, huh, Islam, okay, let me give you the big one, okay? He says that Islam ke tamam awliya ka is pe ittafaq tha ke masih maud ka zamana chodvi sadi se tajawaz nahi karega. He says that all the righteous people, all the saints of Islam are agreed. Remember the word, all of them are agreed. This is called Ijma by the way, okay? That the time of Messiah can never go beyond 14th century. Ruhani Khazain, volume 23, page 333. Ruhani Khazain, volume 3, page 189. Tervi sadi ke ikhtataam pe masih e maud ka na ijma'i aqeedah hai. Okay, now you got the word ijma'i as well. He said the promised Messiah coming 
at the end of 13th century this is the ijma'i aqida this is the consensus of the muslim ummah we want to see that inshallah today ahl sunnat ka muttafaqun alai amr hai ke aakhri mujaddid is ummat ka masih maud hai jo aakhri zamana mein zahir hoga ruhani khazain volume 22 page 201 so basically they are multiple more where he says that it is agreed upon agreed upon it is in the authentic ahadith that messiah will come in at the end of 13th century and in the 14th century not only this one he tried to fabricate bit more look at this one he say ruhani khazain volume 20 page 209 gharz tamam nabiyon ki muttafaqun alai taleem hai ke masih maud hazar haftam ke sar pe aayega he says that it is agreed upon listen very carefully agreed upon teaching of all the prophets subhanallah look at the level of fabrication he say it is agreed upon teaching of all the prophets that messiah will come at the beginning of 7th millennium okay what i'm trying to show you that he was fabricating things according to circumstances to prove his case one more reference on this one ruhani khazain volume 20 page 209 al qissa meri sachai pe ye ek dalil hai ke main nabiyon ke muqarrar karda hazar pe zahir hua hu ise in a nutshell it is an evidence for my claim for my truthfulness that i have appeared at the millennium which was mentioned by the prophets now all of this was one category of reference in which mirza gulam qadiani was fabricating quran sunna and the scholarly tradition and all the he was lying on all the prophet by saying that his time is the time of coming of messiah right now inshallah adnan bhai are you there by any comment on his time if you want to inshallah comment before move forward time about the 14th century right yeah yeah obviously is 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 claiming uh that he was foretold that he will appear at yeah. the end of the 14th century and this yeah. is one of the things the ulama asked him where is the evidence and there's no yeah. evidence so the guy was lying non stop lying attributing lies to the quran and repeatedly to the hadith in particular and lying without shame lying without shame uh and he knew that most of his followers are jahil peasants from punjab from qadian and they won't be able to pick up the stuff and even those people who were somewhat learned allah had blinded them they had completely become blind to all these lies and if these are not lies we are here today to be corrected come yeah. please the murabbis who care so much for us for so many you know poor africans and south americans you are building markers upon markers in those countries like you claim that you are in 200 countries you care so much about our souls and there are those hundreds and maybe thousands of people who will watch afterwards if you care about the souls come and show us we want to see where is this mention in the hadith where does the quran mention qadian okay please we want to see it not just spins we don't want you spins we don't want you to take us around the world and when we question about carrot carrots and you show us apples we don't want to do that because mirza made categorical claims you need to have categorical evidence otherwise he's lying he's a liar yep now uh, like i said that now he's going to fabricate an other sign please remember what i'm saying he is fabricating things and then declaring them the sign of his truthfulness one more example is all is because obviously you know the plague which is a calamity and these calamities had been happening in the past as well but mirza gulam qadiani was trying to use everything possible for his benefit quote and quote benefit right look at this one ruhani khazain volume 18 page 397 bila shuba ये अमर तवातुर नोट द वर्ल्ड तवातुर के दर्जे पे पहुंच चुका है कि मसीह मऊद के निशानों के निशानों में से एक ये भी है 
کہ اس کے وقت میں اور اس کی توجہ اور دعا سے نوٹ دا ورلڈ ادنان بھائی اس کی توجہ اور دعا سے ملک میں تاؤن پھیلے گا سبحان اللہ ریمیمبر پیپل دیٹ پلیگ دیٹ تاؤن واز ناٹ اونلی دا سائنا مردا غلام ایز اور سبحان اللہ ہی از اے پروفیٹ ہی از دا سیکنڈ کمنگ آف رحمت رحمت العالمین پلیز نوٹ دس پوائنٹ profit was a mercy for all people for all alamin and he claimed to be his second coming he says that i am the one who made dua for the plague ji adnan bhai so again it's a lie it's a lie absolutely so if he's claiming that he's the one and uh, he prayed for why why would he pray for the town is the question بلا شبہ یہ امر تواتر کے درجے پر پہنچ چکا ہے کہ مسیح موت کے نشانوں میں سے ایک یہ بھی ہے کہ اس کے وقت میں اور اس کی توجہ اور دعا سے ملک میں تعاون پھیلے گی سو دس از میس مرڈر دس از اینوسائڈل مسایا یو نو پریٹ فار تعاون اینڈ تعاون کیم اپن پیپل ہنڈریڈ آف تھاؤزینڈ آف پیپل ڈائڈ سو واٹ کائنڈ آف مسایا از دس ایون لک ایٹ دس مین گائز کم آن ہی از کیٹیگوریکلی سینگ اس کی توجہ اور دعا سے ملک میں تعاون پھیلے گی بیکاز آف ہز اٹینشن اینڈ پریئرس دے ول بی پلیگ ان دا کنٹری اینڈ دین فار سم ریزن ہی از ٹرائنگ ٹو سیو پیپل فرام تاؤن تھنک اباؤٹ اٹ لیٹ برادرس اینڈ سسٹرس دوز آف یو واچنگ ہی از دا ون ہو پریٹ فار تاؤن ایز ہی کلیمڈ ہیئر ہم سیلف اینڈ ہی از دا ون ہو از سپوز ٹو سیو دیم He's the one who's got unprecedented healing powers. He could have saved people from town. And in uh, review of religion, we have so many references. He actually made up a hadith about this. Yeah. That, you know, if you have plague, you should leave the city. You should leave the city, which is yeah. absolutely against what the Prophet said. And he said, the, the Prophet Wasallam said that you should leave the city, which is yeah. absolute madness. So he said exactly... the opposite of what the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said sallallahu that when there's a plague don't leave the city and those who are outside don't come into the city so that it doesn't doesn't spread right but mirza said the opposite and he attributed that to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so this is the messiah who prayed for plague ye murabbi mar jayenge nahi aayenge ye mar jayenge nahi aayenge inhone aake mar rahe hain are they going to come yeah kyunki inhone aake obviously they they have no defense That's why they have disappeared. Their Jamaat has realized that now the water has passed from the head. Now Mirza has opened the books of Mirza. Now people have opened the Mirza's books and the Jamaat knows what's inside the books. And now the Jamaat has realized the leadership that these people have opened the books of Mirza. And now the Jamaat has realized the leadership that these people have opened the books of Mirza. And the books of Mirza are a plague in themselves. they are the greatest plague upon the qadiani community if you open the books you won't be qadiani just like the bible is the greatest curse on the christian world you know why because the bible itself proves them wrong the religion wrong okay just like that the mirza's own writings are enough that's why they drag you to discussions like wafat e masih okay khatm e nubuwat pe debate karo and go into dictionaries go into long discussions and complicate things deliberately don't ever come to the writings of mirza don't even think about going to mirza don't even think about reading rohani khazain because you're going to be exposed to this that the messiah prayed for taun he prayed for plague and then he pretends to save them unbelievable and then he says that main wo shakhs hu جس کے زمانے میں تمام نبی لسن تمام نبیوں کی خبر اور قرآن شریف کی خبر کے موافق ملک میں خار کے عادت کے طور پہ تعاون پھیل گئی اور حدیث صحیح کے مطابق اس زمانہ میں حج روکا گیا نان شاء اللہ مربیز ول شو اسٹورے دا خبر آف آل دا پروفٹس اینڈ دا قرآن اینڈ دا حدیث اباؤٹ the town or the plague in the time of messiah 
خدا کی تمام کتابوں میں خبر دی لک ایٹ دا لیول اف فیبریکیشن سبحان اللہ خدا کی تمام کتابوں میں خبر دی گئی تھی کہ مسیح موت کے وقت میں تاون پھیلے گی اور حج روکا جائے گا ہی سیز دیٹ ان دا بکس اف اول پروفٹس اٹ واز پروفیسائز دیٹ ان دا ٹائم اف پرامس مسایا دے ول بی پلیگ اینڈ دا حج ول بی اسٹاپ روحانی خزائن والیوم 19 پیج 108 جی عدنان بھائی اس لک یعنی آئی ڈونٹ نو آئی ڈونٹ نو وائی پیپل دس مین آئی ڈونٹ نو ایف دے نو دس ایف دے نو دس ایف دے ہیو ریڈ دس اینڈ دے اسٹل بلیو ٹو بی ہیم ٹو بی اے مسایا لیٹ الون اے پروفٹ آف گاڈ اور لیٹ سے ایون اے ڈیسنٹ مین ایون اے ٹروتھ فل ٹرسٹ ورتھی مین اوکے ہوز کلیمنگ دیٹ آل آف دس از ان دا بکس آف دا پروفٹس اوکے ویئر از اٹ شو اس ویئر از اٹ where is it we are we are sit, look if we were insincere would we would we be asking these questions sorry i didn't mean to do that those fireworks going on in my background i don't know <laughs> the stream i think stream yard does it itself yeah okay. yeah yeah if we were insincere we wouldn't be asking these questions we are sincerely seeking come and save my soul come and save him tazbai from jahannam right come and save all those people who have left your cult in the last few months okay come and save all those people who are asking questions all those youngsters all those africans in ghana all those africans in nigeria who are asking these questions can you respond to these questions do you have answers come and answer these questions where are the murabbiyan why have you been banned why what are we saying are we inciting hatred against you are we asking for people to kill you no we're not absolutely not there's no hatred here there's no violence here this these are open discussions we give you plenty of time to speak as you have seen and you are not there to defend yourselves and then you go and catch gullible people people who have no knowledge of your books on the streets and start debating them people who have no knowledge of their own deen start talking to them and then do point scoring brownie points okay so these outright lies unbelievable lies the more we read about this man mirza the more one becomes amazed that is this possible that people believe in this guy to be a prophet is this even possible unbelievable this is just shocking and you know adnan bhai look at the level of fabric it says that yaad re quran e sharif balke tawrat کے بعد صحیفوں میں بھی خبر موجود ہے کہ مسیح معود کے وقت میں تعاون پڑے گی سبحان اللہ سیز دیٹ ان قرآن اینڈ ان دا تورا اٹ از مینشن دے ول بی پلیگ ان دا ٹائم آف مسایا روحانی خزائن والیوم نائنٹین پیج نمبر فائیو ناؤ ان شاء اللہ وی وانٹ ٹو سی ان دا قرآن دیٹ ان دا ٹائم آف مسایا دے ول بی پلے فسٹ آف آل وی وانٹ ٹو سی دوز آیات دے ول یوز دیٹ دے ول بی a messiah and then we want to because they claim that quran say isa has died exactly End of story. Yes. yes absolutely <laughs> they claim that isa has died and now mirza is saying the quran says the messiah when he comes uh, there will be uh there will be a plague and the, the only messiah quran mentions is isa isa ibn yeah. maryam isa yeah. ibn maryam but they claim he died if he died yeah. he's not coming back it's not the messiah it's someone else right Who's, and who's, not by before before we were dealing with the problem of two muhammad now we got the problem of two messiah <laughs> yeah two messiahs absolutely and this messiah and now, obviously is more ashad yeah. akmal and aqua yeah this this messiah has unprecedented healing powers yes. even the ones even even the ones isa alayhi salam did not have yeah okay yeah so because he's claiming unprecedented okay so that means This Messiah is Ashad, Aqwa, and Akmal. Yeah. Not only more than the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, billah, but even more than Isa alayhi salam. Yeah. And Adnan, by some time, Wallahi, I really think that when this person was writing all of that, I mean, how you can dare to lie at this scale? Look at this one. Khuda Ta'ala ki tamam kitabo mein, eh, sorry, Khuda Ta'ala ki kitabo mein bohut tasri se biyan kiya. It means that he says that in the books of Allah, in the allah's scriptures in allah's revelation it is mentioned with details explicitly clearly what is it 
مسیح مود کے زمانے میں ضرور تعاون پڑے گی دے ول بی پلیگ ان دا ٹائم اف مسایا روحانی خزائن والیوم 18 پیج 390 اینڈ تصریح تصریح کمز فرام دا ورڈ صریح وچ مینز کلیئر ود اؤٹ اینی روم اف انٹرپریٹیشن یا کلیئر ایکسپلیسٹلی سٹیٹڈ کلیئرلی سٹیٹڈ ود اؤٹ اینی روم فار انٹرپریٹیشن دس از واٹ وی کال صریح صریح مینز ویری ویری کلیئر Exactly. There is no debate, there is no discussion on a, on a question when the word sarih is used. Allahu Akbar. Exactly. Subhanallah. And then, last one, inshallah, hadiths mein aya hai ke Masih Maud ke zahoor ke waqt mein mulk mein taun phoote gi. So basically, Quran, a hadith, all prophets, all scriptures, Mirza says that they all have one consensus. That they will be plagued in the time of Messiah and this one is Rani Khazain, volume 14, page 347. Now, again, what I'm trying to say is not only these are lies, but Mirza Ghulam Qadiani is fabricating these lies on a, for a very particular reason. And the reason is he wants to make them the signs of his truthfulness. So he's making the fabrication and lies as signs of his truthfulness. Just inshallah, I want to show you maybe one or two more categories. Look at this one, subhanallah, declaring the train, the train as a sign of his truthfulness. Look at this one, Rani Khazain, volume 20, page 25, Quran Sharif, Ahadith, or Pahli Kitab, let's go, everything is done, Quran, Ahadith, and all the previous books, everything is covered, that in this time, i.e. in the time of the Messiah, a new Sawari will be born, which will go from the fire, اور انہی دنوں میں اونٹ بیکار ہو جائیں گے یہ آخری حصہ جس اونٹ بیکار ہو جائیں گے والا حدیث صحیح مسلم میں موجود ہے وہ سواری ریل ہے وہ سواری ریل ہے جو پیدا ہو گئی ہے آئی وانٹ ٹو شو یو سم تھنگ ویری انٹرسٹنگ ویری سون آن دس پیدا ہو گئی ہے لک ایٹ دس ون روحانی خزائن والیوم نمبر فورٹین ایک منٹ ایک منٹ ریل تو پیدا ہو گئی تھی مرزا کی زندگی میں ہی لیکن اونٹ تو ابھی تک چل رہے ہیں نہیں 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 بھائی نہ نو لک بھائی لک ایٹ دس ون لک ایٹ دس ون یہاں تک کہ عرب اور اجم کے ایڈیٹران اخبار اور جرائد والے بھی اپنے پرچوں میں بول اٹھے کہ مکہ مدینہ کے درمیان جو ریل تیار ہو رہی ہے یہی اس پیشن گوئی کا ظہور ہے اللہ اکبر ناؤ ایوری ون نوز ایوری ون نوز دیٹ ایون دو دے واز اے پروجیکٹ which they try to you know construct the the, the rail track but it disappeared ottomans. it was only yeah the, the ottomans the ottomans were, were, were making it and that's the that's the, amazingly that's the line which was blown up by lawrence of arabia <laughs> lawrence of arabia you know one of the things he was doing he was blowing up train lines rail yeah. tracks yeah. to 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 impact the ottomans okay yeah. to impact the turks So when he launched the rebellion, so Mirza's patient Goyi was dismantled within 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 10 years after his death. He dies in yes. 1908, in 19, uh, between 1914 and 18, during the, uh, the First World War, the, 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 the rail track was no more. And it was only recently that the Saudi government made the, made the train track between uh, Mecca and Medina. It's very exactly. recent. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So that Now, never if, took place. Yeah, now if anybody is sincere, this one thing should be enough for you to see that Mirza Ghulam was not a prophet of God. Because if he was, Allah would have informed me, oh Mirza Ghulam Qadiani, don't say this, some, some, it will be blown away. <laughs> And camels are still being used all over yeah. Africa, Sudan, Chad, Niger, Sahara, the people living in towns and uh, villages throughout um, you know uh, 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 you know northern africa or say let's say in africa okay yeah. they are still using camels they are still using camels yes. okay for transportation now you can say the arabs are not using them anymore to the same extent but in africa camels are very much uh, the the lifeline of people people are still using camels for transportation so, and adnan by adnan by you know the one particular cleric who's mm. attacking the common people in the streets of Canada these days. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Who is not coming in the streams anymore? Wallahi, on camera he claimed that this hadith of new sawari it is about the aeroplane or cars. He yeah, said cars. With me, yeah. he said cars. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, so, and you can see that that's why Adnan Bai called him Mini Dajjal. The Mirza Gulam was lying, and now this guy is going a step further to lie because yeah. he knew he knew mm-hmm. that if he applied to the train. People can check it back. So he started to apply this one to aeroplanes and the cars. And the camels are still being used. It's been more yeah. than a hundred years. Camels are still being used in Libya, in Chad, in Niger, in Sudan, in Egypt, okay, uh, and uh, in uh, Mauritania, okay, places like Morocco. When I yeah. say they're being used, people are still using them for transportation to ride them to to travel. People are still using them to travel. Go and check. Yeah. Go and see. Yeah. Adnan now I want to show people, inshallah, one more category. Obviously, Mirza Ghulam Kadiani was not Isa ibn Maryam. He wanted people to believe that he is Isa ibn Maryam. So, how he played this game? First of all, look at the Quran. He says that Ruhani Khazain, volume 19, page 49, Isi Waqia ko Surah Tahreem me Batore Peshen Goi. Kamal Tasri se bayan kiya gaya. Note the word Tasri. Ke Isa ibn Maryam is ummat mein is tarah paida hooga. Ke pehle is ummat ka. Pehle koi fard is ummat ka Maryam banaya jayega. Phir iske baad is mein Maryam. Phir iske baad Maryam mein Isa ki roop hoon ki jayegi. He says that in Surah Tahreem of the Quran. This prophecy is mentioned. And it is mentioned in very clear words. That one individual from the Ummah will be made Maryam. And then the Ruh or the spirit or the soul of Isa will be blown into this individual. And that is how he will become Isa ibn Maryam. Not only this one. Then he went to the Hadith as well. Look at this one. Ruhani Khazain, volume 22, page 406. Ab waze ho ke a Hadith se nabviya mein. Ye peshen goi ki gai hai. کہ آ حضرت کی امت میں سے ایک شخص پیدا ہوگا لک ایڈس ون ایک شخص پیدا ہوگا جو عیسیٰ ابن مریم کہلائے گا اور نبی کے نام سے محسوم کیا جائے گا سبحان اللہ لک ایڈ دا لیول آف فیبریکیشن بنان بھائی ابسلوٹلی انبلیویبل ہی ویل بی بورن اور پیپل ویل کال ہم عیسیٰ ابن مریم ہوئز دات ون واز مرزا کوئی ویسی حدیث ویسی حدیث یا ویسی حدیث ویسی حدیث ابسلوٹلی کہ آن حضرت صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کی امت میں سے ایک شخص پیدا ہوگا اوکی the پیدا word for پیدا is اوکی والا دا یو لی دو رائٹ اوکی یہ that's the yeah کہ a person will be born from the امہ of رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم his name will be عیسیٰ ابن مریم who is that person yeah who is that person because the hadith we know from the Prophet وسلم, the Prophet said Isa will descend with two angels. He will yeah. descend. He will come from the heavens. Two angels will bring him down. And the hadith is very, very detailed. Okay? Exactly. It is very detailed. Nowhere does it say that he will be born again. Okay, let's say he's born. But is he born of Maryam? Where is Maryam? So that means Maryam is also going to be born again. This is yeah. the question now. Maryam is also going to be born again to give birth to another Isa. Okay? And Maryam, obviously, is not Chirag Bibi. Maryam is not Chirag Bibi. Chirag Bibi never claimed to be Maryam. Or Mirza never had the audacity to claim that my mother is Maryam. Did Mirza yeah. ever claim that my mother is Maryam? Okay? So he's attributing this hadith, so-called hadith, to the Prophet Wasallam. Mirza yeah. was an absolute liar. That's why we don't have hesitation. When we call him Dajjal, please don't be offended. Don't be offended. We have these reasons. Okay? This is not a prophet of Allah. This is not Allah doing this. Allah would never do this. If he sent this prophet, he would not make him a liar like this and a mocking, uh, you know, laughing stock for people in this way. Okay? Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Inshallah, I just want to end uh, maybe uh, with one or two, Inshallah. But, but look, what I'm trying to highlight in every single, because look, it was a challenge for me to combine or to collect or to present some of the lies. 
That's why I only try to collect them under the categories which Mirza Ghulam Qadiani was using for a specific purpose of establishing his claim. That he that the, the town is mentioned, the state is mentioned, the country is mentioned, subhanallah, he will be born, etc. Inshallah, I will end here, even though there's a plenty of material left. But let's see, inshallah, if there's any Qadiani cleric, any common Ahmadi. They want to come, they want to confront, you are more than welcome to join, inshallah. And uh, we will continue uh, in the meantime. But inshallah, from our side, now the floor is opened. Come, confront, challenge, and prove all of this and defend your profit. Let's see, inshallah, how far you can go. Adnan Bhai, uh, look at this one. حدیثوں میں صاف طور پہ بتلایا گیا ہے کہ مسیح مود کی تکفیر ہوگی علماء اس کو کافر ٹھرائیں گے اور کہیں گے کہ یہ کیسا مسیح ہے اس نے تو ہمارے دین کی بیخکنی کر دی روحانی خزائن والیم سیونٹین پیج ٹو تھرٹین he says that it is mentioned in احادیث very clearly that علماء will declare the مسیح as a کافر and they will say that what kind of messiah is this? He, is, he has destroyed our deen. Now, look at this one. Because all of this was happening to Mirza Ghulam Qadiani, instead of defending that, he fabricated a hadith about that. This is the point I want you to understand and to realize that he was fabricating hadith according to situation. Whatever was happening to him, he would convert or, or he would transform that into a hadith. Now, let's see inshallah what else he was saying. Look at this one. Adnanma, look at this one. Mirza Ghulam Qadiani himself says, volume 3, page 142, Sahih Muslim ki hadith mein ye lafz maujood hai ki Hazrat-e Masih jab aasman se utrenge to unka, lab, unka libas zard rang ka hoga. He says that in, now, they have to show us the hadith because Mirza Ghulam Qadiani is saying there is a hadith in Sahih Muslim that when Messiah will descend from the sky, Asman se utrenge, he will be having yellow clothing, right? And then he says, Kisi hadith se Sahih marfu muttasil se sabit nahi hai ke wo Asman se nazil hoga. Now we don't know that what to believe, what not to believe. First, he is saying that the hadith mentioned that Messiah will descend from the sky. And now he is saying that there is no hadith to mention that he will descend from the sky. Baaz ahadith mein sahib ne Maryam ke nazool ka lafz paaya jata hai. Lekin kisi hadith mein ye na paoge kis ka nazool asman se hoga. He says that there is no hadith which says that he will descend from the sky. First of all, we do have the hadith, number one. But that's not the point here. The point here is, Mirza Ghulam Qadiani initially saying, in, nine, in 1891, he said that Messiah will descend from the sky. And then, later on he's saying that there's no hadith which says that he will descend from the sky. Now, our question is, in which one of these two he was lying? One of them has to be a lie. There's no third option. Okay. Look at this one. He says that is ajiz ko hazrate basi se mushahabate tamma hai. Ruhani Khazain, volume 1, page 594. He says that I am absolutely and completely, I have absolute and complete resemblance with Isa ibn Maryam. Complete resemblance. And then he says in other uh, place, he says that uh, is, is Masih ko, i.e. Mirza Ghulam Qadiani ko, Ibn Maryam se ek pehlu se tashbih di gai hai. Now, before he was saying that I resemble to Isa Ibn Maryam in all aspects. Tashbih hai tamma. And now he is saying that it is only in one aspect. So, in which one of these two he was lying and there are many examples of this type. Let me quote you, inshallah, one last reference. And this will tell you how Mirza Ghulam Qadiani was going to deny the ahadith. Look at this one. 
روحانی خزائن والیم سیون پیج ٹو زیرو تھری بعض احادیث بتاتی ہیں کہ مسیح حکم عدل امام اور خلیفہ اللہ ہو کے آوے گا اور سب معاملہ اس کے اختیار میں ہوگا بجوز اس وحی کی جو چالیس برس تک اس پہ نازل ہوگی وہ کسی اور کا اتباع نہ کرے گا اور اسی وحی سے قرآن کے بعض احکام کو منسوخ کر دے گا اور کچھ زیادہ کرے گا رائٹ He does not need to obey anything. He can just follow whatever he wants to do. Because he says that اس کی وحی جو چالیس برس تک اس پہ نازل ہوگی اور کسی کا اتباع نہ کرے گا. Now, understand the point. Why he said this? Because when ulama, when the scholars, they said, look, Mirda Ghulam Qadiani, you are going against the entire Islamic tradition. Of, four, of 13 centuries. That's when he started to say this kind of thing. Look, he said, no, I don't have to follow anyone. I have the right. I am receiving revelation and I will go by my own revelation. Now, inshallah, uh, I will stop here because I don't want to make it like just one way traffic. Inshallah, we want to see from the other side as well that what they have to say so i believe that we have uh, ahmadi or qadiani with us yes who is this and uh, please introduce yourself and tell us that which reference you want to challenge or you want to discuss Do we have anyone? Okay, I think uh, his mic is not attached. Ahmed Bhai, if we have anyone uh, from the Qadiani community, inshallah, he's more than welcome to come. Okay, let's inshallah take our dear brother uh, A.K. Sheikh in the meantime and uh, inshallah we can proceed the discussion. Sheikh Sahib, Assalamu Alaikum. Wa Alaikum Assalam. Kaise hai aap log? Alhamdulillah, Sheikh Sahib, how are you? Good? Good, thank you. Actually, actually I'm not able to see you on the screen, so... جی میں جسٹ گیو می ون سیکنڈ آئی ایم ناٹ شیور دیٹ وائی از دیٹ دا کیس بٹ وی کین وی کین ہیئر یور وائس شیخ صاحب اف یو وانٹ ٹو جی بالکل ٹھیک ہے میں ویسے کہہ رہا ہوں مجھے مطلب اندازہ نہیں ہوا جی جی اپ کی بات صحیح ہے جی اپ کی بات صحیح ہے آئی کانٹ سی ایدر देयर इज डेफिनेटली समथिंग दैट मींस मेरा ख्याल है कि कैम को एक दफा ऑफ करके फिर ऑन अब मैंने ऑफ किया है कैम को तो ऑन हो गया سب سے پہلے تو امتیاز بھائی آپ کو اور بدنام رشید صاحب کو میں یقین کریں کہ میرے پاس الفاظ نہیں ہے کہ آپ کے یہ پروگرامس جو ہے نا وہ احمدیوں کے لیے مطلب اتنے مؤثر ہو رہے ہیں اور ان کے لیے جسے کہتے ہیں کہ راہ ہدایت اور راہ نجات کے طور پہ یہ کام کر رہے ہیں اونیسٹلی جو فیڈ بیک میرے پاس ہے اس میں ایک تو یہ ہے کہ پورے دلائل کے ساتھ اور پھر اوریجنل بکس میں سے آپ جو ان کو یہ کنٹرڈکشنس اور اپنا پوائنٹ آف ویو جو دیتے ہیں اور اس کا کمپیریزن کرتے ہیں اینڈ دا وے یو ایکسپلین دا تھنگس اس میں کوئی ایسی نہ تو آپ کی لینگویج ایسی ہے نہ اس کے اندر 
किसी को निशाना बनाया जाता है बल्कि जस्ट टू हेल्प देम के भाई आप अपनी बातों को समझ सकें और जो सवाल उठाते हैं ये चीज़ उनको तकवीत देती है कि अहमदी लोग भी फिर अपना सवाल उसी फॉर्मेट में लेके आते हैं जो अपने वो अहदेदार से पूछते हैं एक जी तो ये जी। बहुत बड़ी चीज है दूसरे प्रोग्राम करने वालों को भी आपसे ये सीखना चाहिए ये चीज जो है बड़ी अच्छी है अब सिलसिला ये कि जो आपने आज मतलब रखा है प्रोग्राम और जो चीजें आपने दी हैं अगर आपके कोई आएंगे एमडी दोस्त तो आप ले लीजिएगा मुझे बता के तो आप उनको ले आप करें बात जी जी आप करें बात शेख साहब आप करें बात तो उसमें ये चीज के आप इस चीज को रखते हुए मेरा ख्याल है कि जितना और कर सके और ये हफ्ते में एक ये काफी नहीं होगा ऑनेस्टली स्पीकिंग क्योंकि बड़ी जल्दी इनशाला आप देखेंगे कि जैसे हमारा पिछले आपकी स्ट्रीम में दो बहन भाई थे तो इनशा अल्लाह ताला ने और ऐसे फल जो हैं बिल्कुल पका के रखे हैं वो बड़ी जल्द आएंगे इनशाला इनशा सो ये चीज जो है ये बहुत फायदेमंद साबित हो रही है और वो लोग आपके मशहूर भी हैं आप इस आप इस सिलसिले को बिल्कुल रखें और मजीद लेके हैं जैसे मैंने आप सर्च किया है बाकी इसके ऊपर मैं इसलिए नहीं कोई ऐसा कमेंट करना चाह रहा मैं चाह रहा हूँ कि एम दी आए वो चीज आके बताएं वरना जी ये जी। तो वो जिसे कहते हैं ना कि एक ऐसा झूठ है जिसके लिए एक अंधा भी फॉर्म जान सकता है कि ये चीज क्या है इसके लिए चीज की जरूरत ही नहीं है शेख साहब देखे ना अगर तो अगर तो कोई आदमी वाकता तहकीक करना चाहता है सिर्फ एक बात को ले ले कि भाई क्या कुरान में कादियान है तो मिर्जा ने तो कहा ना कि अगर मेरी एक बात झूठी हो तो मैं फारिग हो जाऊंगा तो भाई कुरान में से कादियान दिखा दिया मिर्जा फारिग साहब हो जाएंगे इसमें तीसरी तो को बात उसमें इम्तियाज साहब वो ऐसे है कि वो जो लफज है उसने कश्मी रंग में दिखाया गया कर देते हैं ना वो एक ऐसा बड़ा मतलब वो डिसीव कर रहा है उसमें कि ये लोग भी आपको देंगे लेकिन सवाल ये पैदा होता है पहली चीज है कश्यप कौन दिखा रहा है हाँ जी कश्यप कौन दिखा रहा है अल्लाह ताला की जात की तरफ मंसूब कर रहा है मिर्जा गुलाम में अगर अल्लाह ताला की जात की तरफ कर रहा है तो फिर खुद सोचे कि क्या अल्लाह तला माज अल्लाह जो चीज नहीं है उसकी तरफ लेके जाएगा और अगर ये शैतान ने दिखाया है इसको तो इसको खुद सोचना चाहिए था और ये पीछे सारी बात उस पर आ जाती लेकिन मैं इस पर ना अपना प्रोग्राम्स के अंदर बता चुका हूँ कि ये शख्स बेसिकली बुनियादी तौर पे ये दहरिया था इस पर अल्लाह को यकीन था बड़े खुले दिल से अल्लाह की जात पे ये झूठ बांधा करता था ये शख्स ऐसे ही ये बिल्कुल इसकी ये पोजिशन शेख साहब देखे ना अब चलो एक तो बात होगी जी उसने कहा जी कुरान में लिखा हुआ है या हदीस में अब ये कहना कि खुदा के सारे रसूलों ने ये बात की और खुदा की सारी किताब ओ भाई खुदा के बंदे वो खुदा की सारी किताबें तेरे पास हैं चले ये नहीं लेकिन उसको दूसरों पे यकीन था ना कि आज तक किसी ने कुरान तो सही पढ़ा नहीं है तो दूसरों की किताबें कहाँ देखी होंगी तो कौन मुझसे पूछेगा ऐसे ही इम्तियाज साहब ये ना भूले उसकी वजह है वो जो दे रहा है आ, मुझे याद है जब मैं स्टडी का तो उस वक्त ये कहता था कि अगर किसी को बुखारी शरीफ की किताब देखने का इतफाक है तो वो उसका दीदार करना अपनी खुशकिस्मती समझते थे आप अंदाजा करें बात बुखारी की सिर्फ हो रही है चे जाए के, के दूसरी लहामी किताबों को कोई जान सकता सुबह ये शख्स मतलब चीजें रखता था मतलब इसके बातें इसको आती नहीं समझ लेकिन ये जानता था मैंने किस चीज को किस अंदाज में पेश करना है ये मैं झूठ बोल दू तो मेरा झूठ पकड़ा जा लेकिन अगर एक लम्हे के लिए भी उसे ये एहसास होता कि डाउन द रोड एक वक्त आ जाएगा वेन द एवरी थिंग विल बी ऑन देर टिप्स कि ये फौरी तौर पर ले लें यकीन करें ये कभी हिम्मत ना करता जी ये शख्स ने तो वक्त को महदूद ही अपनी जात तक रखा हुआ था कि ये दुनिया ही वक्त तक है कि जब तक exactly. मैं जिंदा हूँ ये एग्जैक्टली शेख साहब वी हैव सम वन रूमी द सेंट सो रूमी आर यू आर यू अहमदी और आर यू मुस्लिम नो नो आई एम 
my my name is Karim and I am the first person uh, we me and AK Sheikh were vlogging against the Qadianis since 2007. I was in US and he was in Canada. He knows me very well. Mashallah. Oh, Mashallah. oh Kareem, Kareem with love? Yep. <laughs> yes, oh, yes, sir. Alhamdulillah, both both Harris Sheikh Saab Zamane Bad B Sal Bad Apse Baturi. Kese up? Kareem bhai, uh, just one request, uh, if you can inshallah speak English, so because people, some can't understand Urdu. Kareem bhai. Yeah, uh, 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 Kareem with love, uh, Rumi. Brother Imtiaz is talking to you. Brother, uh, brother Kareem with love, can you can you hear me? Uh, I think his mic. I think uh, you his name Rumi. So, uh, yeah, the 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 yeah, name here. That when I started in the early, he was yeah. he was from India, and he at that time he was in the USA. Uh, he also was uh, like uh, on the YouTube and all that pro in program. Mm. I remember that. So it might be his connection is gone. Uh, yeah, I think some connection problem because um, he's still on the stage, but we can't hear him. I guess there's a connection problem. You know, Sheikh Saab, uh, like, like you mentioned before, that even if they want to open the exit of Kashif for this world, Qadian in the Quran, the question hmm. is, Kashif is just a tool. So right. the question would be still there, that through this Kashif, whatever Mirza Ghulam Qadiani discovered, Mm -hmm. Shows in the Quran. Yeah. But very <laughs> true. Very true. Yeah. Uh, 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 let me rejoin. I think uh, I'll rejoin you. Is okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No worries. No worries. And uh, I'm still waiting um, if this brother uh, Rumi, because brother Rumi's uh, mic is not working. So inshallah, we'll, we'll, we'll see again. Ahmed Bhai, are you there? Ahmed by Islam alaikum, are you there? Salam alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa salam, salam alaikum. Ahmed by, how are you? Alhamdulillah, how are you, Mtiaz by? Alhamdulillah, Ahmed by. Um, in the meantime, inshallah, if you want to share any of your thoughts. Yes, yeah, subhanallah, Mtiaz by. For, for us, like, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, this is like, again, one of those days where, where the argument is sealed tight, right? And we have seen that there have been big uh, warnings in the Quran and the hadith about those who lie against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and who lies, uh, lies against the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So Quran basically labels them the worst of the creatures uh, and uh, and puts the lana of, of Allah and his uh, messengers and the uh, Nas Ajma'in and all the people who do li'an, right? Yep. So, yep. Uh, and in the hadith, our, our, our children know this hadith. That whoever lies on the Prophet Muhammadan uh, uh, out of uh, out of his own will, right? He should find his place in the hellfire. Muhammadan, man Yeah. So this is what even our, our small children know. And uh, Subhanallah, our, uh, you you see and you meet our small children. They are very careful about about what they say about Allah Subhanahu wa Taala and what they say about the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And this exactly. is a clear-cut case of where somebody has actually no fear, no fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How can you so evidently lie upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and, and so openly lie about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and have no fear whatsoever? How, like, this is a very solid proof that Mirza didn't even have any belief on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He did not have any shame. He did not have any belief whatsoever. And these lies are, are there's there's no way you know the the normal Qadiani tactic is to is to go on semantics right they go break yeah. this and make this and this means this and that means this but these are subhanallah just like saying these things that for example Qadian is in, in the Quran like the Quran yeah. is in front of you subhanallah there's yeah. no way you can prove this right and and then Ahmed Mai, uh, Ahmed Mai, uh, yes you are definitely right uh, I think we have brother Rumi back brother Rumi okay. can you hear us. Yes, I can. I can. 
بسم اللہ السلام علیکم اخیرومی ہاؤ ار یو وعلیکم السلام ورحمت اللہ ایم ویری فائن تھینک یو می اینڈ اے کے شیخ وی ویر آئی واز آئی ہیو اسٹارٹڈ جسٹ فیو منتھس افٹر لائک اے کے شیخ واز ویری پاپولر ان 2007 اینڈ آئی جوائنڈ ہم اینڈ آئی واز آلسو بلاگنگ فار سم ٹائم آن دس ویری سبجیکٹ اینڈ لیٹ می کنکلوڈ مائی ایکسپیرینس that uh, Mirza Qadian ha- Qadiani has many claims. I have no problem with that claim. There are many, sec- uh, there are many sects and many, uh, many organi- organizations in the world. We have no problem with them. The only problem I have when he goes on saying that I am the second advent of the blessed Prophet Muhammad. Here it is unbearable. Yeah. And we can't bear this anymore. So that, exactly. that's, that's something, whenever I talk to a Qadiani, my, my personal, my very personal, that I raise just one question, that be happy with Isa ibn Maryam, but when you cross the boundary and come to our Prophet saying that I am Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Punar Janam, they, he's, they, he, he has written a philosophy about Punar Janma, driving yeah. from the Hindu literature, and he says that he is the Punar Janma of Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, nauz billah. So mm-hmm. this is my issue. I asked every Qadian in uh, uh, every Murabi. So that's mm-hmm. all I have to say. Go ahead. Jazakallah, brother. And uh, Adnan Bhai, we have uh, Sheikh Saab is also with us, inshallah, if you want to continue. And I can, inshallah, pray. Fajr Adnan Bhai. Yes, please go ahead, inshallah. Uh, we, have, uh, we have somebody with the name Usama. Usama, please tell us, are you Qadiani or Muslim? So inshallah, we can see if you... or Ahmadi or Qadiani. So inshallah, we can take you first. Usama, just inshallah, if you can turn on your camera and let us know in the backstage. You don't need to turn it on for the whole time. Just let us know if you are Qadiani or Muslim. So inshallah, we can take you as a priority if you are Qadiani because we want to hear f- from you as well. So Adnan, inshallah, you can and, continue. And one second, it might be, there might be someone else you might want to add. Uh, uh, Can you see uh, a brother called, uh, one second. Yeah, carry on. Carry on in Taz, bhai. Yeah, uh, Adnan, bhai. Uh, Sheikh Saab, Sheikh Saab and Mashallah, one of the Muslims. Assalamu alaikum, Adnan, bhai. Kaisi hai? Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, Sheikh Saab. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Sorry, I think there is something wrong because I'm not that expert. My camera is not uh, uh, connecting. But it's okay. Inshallah. Uh, no problem, Inshallah. Try your best yeah. and uh, whatever you. internet Thank you have. Thank up, you. So uh, nice always, you. Uh, always yeah. have uh, okay. pleasure having you. Okay. And may Thank Allah you. bless you. It's nice life. to see you, Kareem. It's nice to see you. My pleasure. My pleasure, Sheikh Saab. Yeah. Today's, uh, today's stream has been very, very interesting for myself as well. Uh, mm. You know, I mean, we read these quotes in isolation. But when you put them together, This is like an accumulative case against Mirza, you know. It's, yeah. so, it's so overwhelming. The evidence is so much that yes. it is just unbelievable. It is incredible that True. people still believe in this man. Having heard all of this, they see all of this evidence, uh, and they still believe that he, he, he was a true prophet of God. So this is I'm sorry to interrupt you. The Ahmadis, believe me, They have a hair and say knowledge. They never touched the books. Believe me. They were believing whatever their office bearer or their khalifa, their amirs, their qaids were saying. They were just blindly believing on them. And they never touched this. So believe, believe it. They are thankful to you guys that you are providing a such logical and in a nice way these references, these are quotations from his own book. Believe me, it's a great job. And, and this, is, this, is, this is the least we can do, uh, Sheikh Saab, because mm-hmm. it, it is only fair to look into the teachings and the writings of the person mm-hmm. they are projecting to the world as a prophet. Okay, they're going to Africa, they're getting converts in places like Ghana, okay, and they are deceiving those poor people. They have no idea who this man is, and they cannot read Urdu. 
they cannot read out yeah. those people those people cannot possibly go into mirza's books because rohani khazain has not been translated uh completely there are few booklets and pamphlets here and there they selected there are selected only yeah. the pages they have done yeah he said yeah. just like the quranic translation from selected verses that their deception actually and as you mentioned that they have not translated if they have translated to the africans or other than whatever this urdu language their books they told everyone that hulam ahmed was the mahdi this is the deception they never used the word prophet even prophet they did not tell their own people who were living in qadian or in pakistan rawa etc believe me my parents never knew that he is a prophet all the all the they were they were the sahaba of mirza gulam ahmed they, they were not told that. your parents were not told that he claimed to be a prophet no wow they believed him only in imam mahdi wow unbelievable this is i mean look the, to this day sheikh saab when there's so much technology books have been scanned they are easily available over, on the websites anyone can download them and read them to this day i would say 90% of the qadianis the ahmadi community they are not aware of what's inside mirza's books i mean to be fair to be fair even the majority of the sunnis don't know what's in bukhari sahih al bukhari okay right. or sahih muslim okay they don't know majority majority of the muslims don't know what's in the books what's inside the books of hadith so we have to be fair when we criticize yes yes but, yes yeah. but when we bring stuff out outright lies clear lies that cannot be seen in any other way why do you then deny why do you just not say okay yeah you know what this is something i have to go and check And this is a big me. question this is a big yeah. question yeah. brother adnan the problem yeah. is only this one you are talking about the muslims whereas the ahmadis they claim themselves a muslim but they are not a part of islam they are a part of ahmadiyya cult and when you are talking the ahmadiyya cult this is the problem that they cannot come out of this it's very hard for them this is a cult yes it's, it's a easy from one school of thought going to another school of thought but when you are a member of cult you are this you've been deceived this is not that easy for ahmadis now these programs which are helping them which are telling them that look here is black here is white believe me no the muslims have to open their arms to welcome them so that they will come out of a cult and they will come in a free society i agree yeah. i agree that the muslim community Good. at large has to be less hostile and more accepting and, and welcoming them with the open arm exactly don't push them away if they have questions don't get angry at the questions actually explain to them with love and compassion have the confidence and 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 not every single molvi or every single muslim dai should deal with them because they are not aware of what they're dealing with right right so they 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 should be specialists who talk to the ahmadi community people who know what 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 what's inside mirza's books people who can actually talk to them and show them that look look this is what it is right instead of uh hating on them instead of you know just cursing them and just takfiring them i don't think that's the that's the solution although Believe yeah we the common muslim common muslim cannot imagine how much sacrifice their lives the amadi when they will try to come out of this cult yeah and join the mainstream islam believe yeah. me yeah they are taking a very very sensitive they are at the sensitive point and stage when they are talking to their families that look we are convinced and we want to leave this cult they face so much hardship within the community that they cannot make a decision that easily as we can say sitting over here and talking over here oh yes they should leave the cult they should come out of they should look in this reference and then they should make a decision it's for him it's a matter of life and death 
believe absolutely. me. Absolutely. Absolutely. And and one must realize that for someone to leave uh, a system that they have followed for the most of, yeah. for the most part of their lives it's not easy it's you have hard. to you have to be um, have to have empathy yeah. you really have to feel um these are like newborn babies you know oh, they yes. have just it's like it's like uh leaving your mother you know because the jamaat has been everything for them um so for them to walk away with leaving behind all the childhood memories and and growing up into a system uh, it's, it's it's very tough that's yes. why we need we need that's why we need more ex ahmadis to come forward and um, alhamdulillah there are organizations there are yeah. there are groups of people who are actually looking into it uh, to accommodate and comfort other ex ahmadis who are leaving the cult yeah. so that they yes. can be they can be received by people who understand the situation better okay Unfortunately, unfortunately, most Muslims are not aware of the challenges the the, the Qadianis and the Ahmadis face when they want to leave. So it's 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 not an easy thing. So that's why we need more ex Ahmadis like yourself, elders like yourself, people who have knowledge and experience to advise the Muslims that guys, this is what you do and this is what you do not do. So um, this is very very important. Once Imtiaz Bai comes back, shakes up, we will open the floor and see if there is someone available i doubt it i really i doubt that one of these qadiani marabis will turn up to face these questions i don't think they have any answers they they have nothing they have absolutely nothing and they, this is why they've been avoiding these streams because the heat as they say is turned on you know it's getting hotter and hotter for them yes ji sorry imtiaz bhai mujhe call aa gayi thi to main just uh, for the benefit of those uh, ahmadis who are like uh, not old many but they are not so much familiar with the english language or to understand so for their help i will say few words in urdu hmm. please go Dekhe, ahead wo baat ye karte hain ke hamare jo bacche biyahe hue hain hamare bachchon ki jo shaadiyan hui hui hain is is cult ke andar तो हमारे बच्चों के आगे जो ससुराल हैं जो एक्सटेंडेड फैमिलीज हैं हमारे लिए कोई भी फैसला ओपनली करना इतना आसान नहीं है एक तो हम अपनी उस कम्युनिटी को छोड़ेंगे जिसमें हम पले बड़े दूसरे जो हमारे अपने रिलेटिव्स हैं जो रिश्तेदारियां जहां पे की हुई हैं उनका जो फेस करना पड़ता है जो वो बातें करते हैं कि जी आपके बच्चों को डाइवोर्स हो जाएगी हम छोड़ देंगे ये होगा वो होगा उनके लिए यकीन करें ये जो सोशल मामलात हैं ये बहुत मतलब उनके पांव की अब समझे रुकावट बने हुए हैं किसी चीज को भी वहां से निकलने के लिए सो इन चीजों को भी मद्देनजर रखते हुए बहुत से ऐसे उनको हल हमें देने पड़ेंगे कि देखें बात सुने हिम्मत तो आपने बहरल करनी है अपनी आखिरत के लिए लेकिन सोसाइटी के अंदर इन जिस तरह आप वहां थे आपके लिए थे यहाँ पे भी आपको मिलेंगे बिल्कुल लोग मिलेंगे जो वेलकम करेंगे और आपको पूरा मतलब मॉरली जिसे कहना चाहिए बाकी अपने लिहाज से तो हर चीज से वो बड़े अच्छे लोग हैं लेकिन मॉरली वो लोग आपके साथ होंगे इस चीज की तरफ भी इनकरेज करना इस तरफ पे इस पे भी बातें करनी इस मामले इशू को भी लेके चलना जो है इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आई थिंक जी जी शेख साहब बिल्कुल आपने ये ना बहुत आ, अच्छी बात की है क्योंकि मेरे ख्याल है कि दलाइल के हवाले से तो जब कोई आदमी थोड़ी सी भी तहकीक करेगा ना तो बात तो बिल्कुल वाजे है लेकिन वही आप वाली बात है कि उनको इस तरह का एक दिया गया ना तासुर कि भाई आप इसमें से निकल के किस फिर में जाओगे इस तो वो फिर लोग कहते हैं हाँ यार वाकई तो बड़ा क्वेश्चन है कि इस्लाम के तो बड़े फिरके हम कहाँ जाएंगे so i think your point sheikh sahab is very valid uh, that we need to uh, educate and inshallah adnan bhai if you uh, think inshallah we can do a program maybe inshallah specifically on this topic that yeah. those people who are thinking and inshallah they are convinced that this is a lie it's a fabrication and they want to leave the cult so what are the possible questions inshallah we can we can address them and those people who have left already the sheikh sahab and other people they can guide them inshallah on the issue as yeah, well inshallah yeah people like sheikh sahab dr ezhar bashir yeah all, all the brothers and sisters who want to come and yeah. join us you know please you most welcome to join us and tell us what we need to do 
because we, yep. we, 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 we look up to you for that guidance because you okay. have been there. You have been there. You understand it more. We don't claim to be experts on how to deal with X. Uh, I'm 24 these. seven there. Adnan, bhai. I'm 24 seven. So you, my you, number you're, is a public. You, my you, number you, is public. Alhamdulillah, you are an asset for us. Wallahi, seriously, you are an asset. And you, you're doing an amazing job helping so many people. May Allah bless you. And, um, uh, you know, it's, it's it's indispensable, this help. Oh. So so I think, uh, Tiaz Bhai, we should open the floor and see if there is uh, any Kadiani. Yeah, bhai, we already opened the floor, but they can clearly see that it's a death for them to come here. <laughs> <laughs> Adnan Bhai, who are you calling? <laughs> And they, are watching, in... they are watching, they are watching, they are watching. They are listening to you. They are listening. Yeah. They are Absolutely. Watching. Absolutely. Every single one of them is watching. But all the... now the majority of the Ahmadis, they are watching. Anyone comes and they would like to discuss anything. Believe me, they will have no way to run away from you guys. That's why nobody is daring to come and talk a word here. And you know, Shaks have the point is, for example, as we all know, after we finish the stream, then they will sit on their channel, they will talk for hours and hours. Look, if you are so confident, come now. Yeah. And Shaks, I would especially mention we have this brother. Wallah, Shaks, I am speaking my heart. I really feel for this brother Saeed. I'm not sure that you know why he is still in this cult because. Inshallah, let me take him on the stage. Inshallah, Sayyid, uh, are you on this? Sayyid, Salaam Alaikum. Walaikum Salaam. Sayyid, uh, please tell us that what is stopping you from leaving the cult? For what topic I am? Can you please fix your mic, Sayyid, because we can't hear you. It's, it's noise and uh say sab aapko ye cult chhodne mein kaun si dishwari pesh aa rahi hai tamam ye cheeze dekhte hue har cheez jo wazeh ho chuki hai sa uh please uh, uh, we, we can hear you but there is uh, i think your your youtube tab is open because we can hear the the, the echo as well yeah i think i Speaker is on TV and my mic is on laptop. Somehow I'm using TV for this. Uh, no, you need to fix that, Said, because people can't hear you properly. You need to fix that. Shall you can come back. No, inshallah. We'll take you back. No problem at all. Inshallah. We'll take you back. Inshallah. You can fix it. You can fix it. Inshallah. No problem. I come with the other laptop, but I, okay. I cannot open my camera. Okay. Take your time, brother, please, because in this way, people won't be able to understand properly because there's echo yeah. and yeah. I come back. No worries, inshallah. No worries. You are more than welcome to come back, Saeed. So, Shaykh Saab, uh, let yeah. me uh, take, sure. inshallah, that, uh, you use this time because uh, when I was making wudu for my salah, I could hear that you were saying something about the Mahdi. Now, Shaykh Saab, a lot of people don't know that Mirza Ghulam Qadiani had said something very clearly about Imam Mahdi and let me inshallah display on the screen so people can see and they can verify everything. Now, hmm. what Mirza Ghulam Qadiani is saying here, and uh, uh, Sheikh Sab, as you know, this uh, yeah. Burahine Ahmadiyya Hissa Panjam and especially the Zamima, the, hmm. the, the appendix, it was written towards the last part of Mirza Ghulam Qadiani's life and he says that uh, in volume 21, page 356, Mera ye dawa nahi hai ke mein wo mahdi hun jo misdaak min waladi Fatima wa min itrati wagaira hai. Balke mera dawa to masih maud honne ka hai. Or masih maud ke liye kisi muhaddis ka call nahi ke wo bani Fatima wagaira mein se hooga. Now, he says that I do not claim to be the mahdi which will be from the progeny of Sayyida Fatima radiallahu ta'ala anha. He says that rather my claim is I am the promised Messiah. And then he further says that in case of promised Messiah, no muhaddis has mentioned that he has to be or he will be from the progeny of Fatima. Mirza, now the was, such, Mirza yeah. was such a fool. 
that he's saying no muhaddis said that the promised messiah will be from the progeny of fatima but the quran says the promised messiah is from banu israel the, <laughs> the, the, the quran is saying i mean you don't need a muhaddis the quran yeah. is saying that isa ibn maryam is from banu israel but don't forget brother adnan because he have made a claim that i am the mahdi and promised yeah. messiah yes yeah. absolutely he's, yeah. he's putting three in one and two in one yeah, so yeah, yeah that's absolutely. why that's absolutely. why and you know adnan by adnan by the actual point i want to make is the next one hmm. he says that jaisa ke tamam muhaddisin kehte hain aur main bhi kehta hu ke mahdi e maud ke bare mein jis qadar hadithe hain wo tamam majroo <laughs> और मखदूश है इनमें से एक भी सही नहीं है नाउ द क्वेश्चन इज इफ नन ऑफ द अहदीस ऑफ महदी एज ही सेइंग इज ऑथेंटिक देन हाउ ही वाज महदी व्हिच महदी ही वाज व्हेन व्हाय ही क्लेम्ड हिमसेल्फ महदी एग्जैक्टली एग्जैक्टली एंड 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 व्हाट ही इज क्लेमिंग हियर इज सो जाहिल इट्स अनबिलीवेबल इन फैक्ट द स्कॉलर्स ऑफ हदीस दे क्लेम दैट रिपोर्ट्स अबाउट महदी रीच तवातुर यस they are not sahi there is not one hadith that is sahi that mentions mahdi by name there is the, they reach the level of hasan okay and uh, put together all these reports uh, it is impossible for them to be a lie okay so this is the opinion of the hadith scholars on this matter and mirza i know where he was influenced where he was taking this influence from mm-hmm. uh, you see what you have to understand is at this very time uh, there was another movement going on in india in the subcontinent and that was questioning the veracity of the hadith literature okay uh, it started with sir sayyid ahmed khan then later on uh, abdullah chakralwi there was a there yeah. was an individual yeah. called abdullah chakralwi and jiraj puri yes, abdullah chakralwi tamanna amadi yes yeah and 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 people. even even uh, farahi uh, hamiduddin yeah. farahi hamid hamiduddin farahi farahi yeah. saab they all were influenced by this thought that actually emerged from the indian subcontinent mm-hmm. okay it didn't come from anywhere else in the world from morocco to bangladesh the entire stretch of the this was a product of colonialism and sir sayed was uh, with all his good intentions and all his great deeds you know otherwise he 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 basically came up with this idea and mirza was in his naturalism in his denial of miracles and his opinions on the hadith are actually adopted from that very school of thought or that strand and that the trend. miracle and the miracle and the miracles that that's naturalism you yeah, know yeah. he became a naturalist yeah, yeah. so so this is very very well established that mirza his thoughts did not necessarily come from a, 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 apart from his lies his lies mm-hmm. came directly from his brain his mind okay the lies he was making up but these kind of influences these opinions they are not from a vacuum he was actually reading literature of the time and he was putting out those things those ideas uh, in his own writings claiming to be a scholar or or, or yeah. you know yeah adnan bhai you know adnan bhai i want people to think about this simple question there are two personalities one is mahdi and one is the messiah yes. now with regard to mahdi mirza gulam qadiani as is clearly on the screen right now he said that there is not a single hadith which is authentic or reliable on the topic of mahdi so basically mm. mahdi is out of the picture now yes. now yes. we 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 left with one personality the messiah mm. mirza gulam qadiani says according to quran isa has died now the question mm. is dead cannot come back mm. So mm. who was mirza gulam qadiani because the hadith of mahdi are gone according to himself mirza himself because mm. they are not authentic and yeah. the dead the dead person cannot come back subhanallah why he was then what what was the claim amir then there was no claim left yeah he was he was full of contradictions he would make a claim and then he would dismantle it himself by saying other things uh, so it's, it's it's clear that mirza was all over the place and uh, his mind wasn't working uh, right all the time and when it was working right he would just make up lies okay uh, look all of this list we put up is there no one out there who wants to challenge us no one out there who wants to question us on uh, on this that oh no you made this ha- you made this up you're lying this is out of context mirza did not say that qadian is mentioned in the quran we want to see where qadian is in the quran i am very interested i am actually hmm. very curious 
where the city of Qadian is actually mentioned in the Quran. Okay. And you know, Even, Adnan, by I am really waiting because I know the argument of, of Mirza Ghulam Qadiani. I really want somebody to come and present that. Qadian yes. is, is my village too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, look, look, if if it's in the Quran, if it's in the Quran, then as they say in the Arabic language, Allah Rasi. Okay. Hamari Sar Ankhopar. Okay. If it's mentioned in the Quran as a holy site of Islam, then we will surrender. We have to surrender. The Quran says you you follow Allah and His Messenger. And if Allah has mm -hmm. said Qadian is a place, the only places we know in the Quran mentioned are, of course, uh, uh, you know, Makkah is mentioned as Bakka. Okay. The mm -hmm. word Makkah is not in the Quran. The word we have is Bakka. Okay. And uh, also, uh, references to Medina. Uh, as far yeah. as I remember, um, uh, subhanallah. Are there any uh, it is there, you know, when the when the Munafikun said that once they go back, they will yeah. uh, expel, you know, the humiliated one. Yes, yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. there are references. But where is Qadian? Where is Qadian? I want Adnan, where... by your favorite, your favorite hadith is on the screen right now. When Mirza Ghulam Qadiani fabricated the hadith about the black prophet. If you want to read for the people. <laughs> yeah, this is this is Ek Martava A Hazrat Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam se dusre mulkon ke ambiya ki nisbat sawal kiya gaya. To aap ne yehi farmaya ke har ek mulk mein akhuda taala ke nabi guzre hain aur farmaya ke kaan of hind nabi an aswad allawni ismuhu kahinan yani hind mein ek nabi guzra hai jo siyah rang tha aur naam uska kahin tha yani kanhaiya so, so, so look, this is Rohani Khazain, volume 23, okay, uh, Cheshmai Marfat, page 382. And here Mirza is saying that the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was once asked about prophets from other lands. And he said, the Prophet said, now Mirza is yeah. attributing something to the Prophet, that the Prophet said, that there was, and he quotes the Arabic words. It's not even paraphrasing. He is Mirza is actually attributing Arabic words to the Prophet. There was a prophet, a black-skinned prophet uh, in India, and his name was Kahin. Yani Kanhaya. Kanhaya, as we know him, the Indian deity, yeah. the Hindus worship. And we don't even know if this was a real person. There is no evidence of Hindu mythology. Uh, we've been discussing this on uh, Dawah streams, you know. No, but that, brother yeah. Adnan, brother yeah. Adnan, the question is this: Is there, is there in any book of Hadith? No. What the Mirza has mentioned these words in English? Is there any kind of thing? Absolutely no. Absolutely none. You so, know, absolutely so, nothing. Not so even, not even. What a, not what even a white the, lie is this? Yes, yes, absolute lie. Not even in the most dubious of books of hadith. Oh, right. You know, the, 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 we we have categorizations, right? Yes. Even the lowest level hadith books like that have many fabrications, hmm. right? Not even in those books. And I asked Razi on one of the streams that can you present anything, anything from anyone? Mm -hmm. attributing this information to the prophet oh, he said there is a book i said which book he said there's a book called uh, uh hamdan tarikh hamdan right mm -hmm. so i said okay present it present it where is it we want to see it does it actually say that the prophet muhammad said this and he said yes so, stuff. and i asked him what are the words what are the words mm -hmm. and he said qala nabiyun he actually added the words <laughs> to the to the to the to the attribution. So I asked him, can you show it to us? Can you please turn on your screen and show it to us? And then he said, No, the word Kala Nabiun are not there. I added them. I added them because they assumed. They assumed. So, so the junior and senior both are liars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's and Adnan by, Adnan by today I want uh, to make another uh, information in your knowledge look at this one and other hadith which Mirza Ghulam Qadiani fabricated look at this one if you okay. want to read this one 
ओके और इसमें एक और अजमत यह है कि रसूल अल्लाह सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम की पेशन गोई भी इसकी इसके पूरे होने से पूरी हो गई क्योंकि आपने फरमाया था कि ईसाइयों और अहले इस्लाम में आखिरी जमाना में एक झगड़ा होगा ईसाई कहेंगे कि हम हक पर हैं और मुसलमान कहेंगे कि हम कहेंगे कि हक हम में जाहिर हुआ इस वक्त ईसाइयों के लिए शैतान आवाज देगा कि हक आल ईसा के साथ है और मुसलमानों के लिए आसमान से आवाज आएगी कि हक आल मोहम्मद सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम के साथ है ओके सो हेर मिर्जा इज एट्रीब्यूटिंग अनदर लाइ टू द प्रोफेट सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम सेइंग दैट नियर द एंड टाइम्स द प्रोफेट सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम सेड द प्रोफेट सेड नियर द एंड टाइम्स देयर विल बी अ वॉर अ कॉन्फ्लिक्ट बिटवीन द क्रिश्चियंस एंड द मुस्लिम्स एंड व्हाइल दे विल बी फाइटिंग दैट दे विल दे विल दे विल डिस्प्यूट विद ईच अदर द क्रिश्चियंस विल क्लेम दैट द ट्रूथ इज विद विद अस the muslims say that the truth is with us and then while this dispute will be going on shaitan will call upon the christians for uh, saying that the truth is with the christians and then there was a voice that will come from the uh, from the heavens uh, that the truth is with the the believers or the followers or the family of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam okay so now the question is where is this report yes. where is it mm. where is it we want to see it okay if it's not there and it, it's not only this one there is a list of reports yeah. there is a yeah. list of attributions directly to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and mirza himself said that anyone who attributes a lie to allah in his messenger deliberately is worse than monkeys and pigs yes is worse so by his own indictment yes. Mirza is worse than monkeys and pigs. I'm not saying this. Look, I'm not saying this. I don't mean to insult anyone, but this is applying Mirza's own standard. On no, his brother, writing. Imtiaz showed the reference that what yes. he was saying. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So if these reports are there, we request we beg that Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala give us the reports. Yeah. Absolutely. So if these reports are there, we request we beg from the Qadiani Murabbis to come and help us save our souls, save us yeah. from Jahannam. We, if if in your eyes we are lost. we are misguided we are calling upon you there are hundreds of people watching right now this stream live and thousands will watch later on when it goes on our channel so do you want to save these people or do you want to leave them in misguidance come and tell us where are adnan bhai we adnan bhai i think we have a uh, ahmadi uh, yes so inshallah i have placed a hadith on the screen everybody can see and inshallah we want to see this hadith today okay uh, unknown who are you Assalamu alaikum Wa salam wa ala man ittaba halula who is who is speaking uh, I would prefer if if possible to keep uh, stay anonymous if possible No problem you you're most welcome you're okay, most welcome Okay thank you very much first no of all I would like to say um uh to AK Sheikh Saab thank you very much that's how I first started discovering I'm I'm Karamadi and I I was so I'm pretty young I'm um I was I came across one of AK Sheikh Saab's videos I'm Pakistani but Urdu of course um, as I grew up in uh the west so it wasn't easy to understand so okay. took some time uh, and then I came across your uh, Adnan Saab your videos much easier to understand given they're in English so now I just have a couple questions in terms of so I I haven't really said anything to my family yet I inshallah want to bring everybody with me not just myself inshallah. alone to the right path inshallah. so inshallah so that's i just wanted to know i'm kind of wondering what steps can i take um who can i maybe see or talk to and get a more clear understanding of everything okay look um bismillahir rahmanir rahim thank you for joining the stream i uh, admire your courage and your uh, your you know your hunger for truth yes you've yes. been watching you've been watching you're listening you're you're assessing and uh, congratulations on this step and Thank you. it's it's only a step in the right direction alhamdulillah yes yes so so you have a number of options to talk to brother muhammad intiaz is available uh, yes. doctor uh, our sheikh ak sheikh is also available our elder our respected elder he's been helping a lot of people he has a lot of experience in answering questions as well and myself personally uh, i would like to apologize because i'm absolutely completely occupied i'm traveling a lot uh, brother imtiaz yes. knows uh, my my routine but even i myself will make uh, if if needed 
although first first of all you won't need me because brother imtiaz and AK, yes. you know they these are mashallah giants yeah. in, in in this field and they have libraries uh, so this is not specifically necessarily my field okay uh, but i have alhamdulillah relatively good knowledge uh, on this uh, this this topic enough yes. to know enough to know that mirza could not possibly be a, a prophet of god exactly okay yeah. So, and, so you're most welcome to stay in touch with these uh, two respected individuals. And yeah. Sorry, if if I could ask, uh, the best yeah. way to contact is one question, and the second question is, um, so of course, as you know, um, bringing this to my elders, parents, and aunts and uncles, it's a little bit difficult for them to yeah. understand, we, right? We so, understand. Yeah. Um, I was thinking myself, uh, Adnan Sab, I saw one of your videos, and I think it was you said that. <laughs> how can you believe in something if you don't believe the founder of the movement right mm -hmm. so maybe a few, few because when you're sitting in front of somebody sometimes it's hard to get it across yes. so maybe if if there's a guide or some some website or a blog you have where there's certain points where i can bring and and present them and say this is my reasoning and not get too deep into it because there's no point in going wasting too much time when it's it's yeah. clear clearly there yeah. right yes the, the, look, if i can add something yes, here please please yeah. please please go ahead take so yeah. first of all my dear brother uh, as adnan bhai said that we are very pleased may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala complete his uh favor on you on your family and all the ahmadis yeah. by guiding them to the path of islam alhamdulillah so my brother uh you are more than welcome on whichever topic we have covered so far, if you need the same presentation, any references, you have any particular question, brother, reach out to us, inshallah. We are always happy to help the people like you, alhamdulillah, who are sincere in their research. And now I would say yes. one important thing, my dear brother. Yes. Obviously, uh, saving your family is definitely important. With regard yes. to your own, because Quran says that that save your own self and to your family your ahl from the fire so my dear brother yeah. with regard to your own self are you now clear that alhamdulillah this this path of islam is the path and this qadiani cult or qadianism it is not islam are you clear on this one 110 percent clear Allah alhamdulillah. 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 Allah has blessed and brother, you. And my dear brother, if you want to, for example, you know, many, many people uh, watching and listening right now, would you like to give some advice to those people who are at the verge? They are sincere. Mm. They are doing the research, but they still can't take the decision if you can help them as well. Okay. So in that sense, I, I can say maybe because you, you are born into it. This is all you know all your life. You're, you go to the masjid, you have your people around you. It's very hard. It's it's un, it's an uncomfortable, it's an unknown feeling, right? Um, yeah. So all I can say is try to look at it from an outside point of view. Maybe step back. Um, it's hard. It is very hard. For me, it was hard in the beginning as well. But try to look at it from an outsider, right? As from an outsider's point of view and compare the both and, and see. Look at the arguments. And because the thing is with with Ahmadis, it's I've seen it is they're blind, right? It's like their heart is blind, or I don't know exactly what it is, mm -hmm. but they don't want to see the clear facts that are in front of them. So maybe just step back and compare the two, and and that's that's the advice I would I would have. And brother, if you don't mind, what was that one thing in particular that really helped you take the decision and to leave the cult? Um, the one there was one video Adnan Saab had um, where the same video about the Mirza himself because I got into um, the Khalifas and this and that. But when I saw the arguments on the Khalifa himself and the um, the contradictions with what he had said, that is when I really realized, okay, no, this is this is incorrect. This is not mm -hmm. the right way. And um, yeah, there's there's a couple other things that are not coming on the top of my head right now, but there was one or two main things that really pushed me in this direction. Mm -hmm. And brother, if you don't mind, how long ago you took your shahada? Uh, so I haven't taken it yet. So Bismillah, then let's do it now. Yes. 
Uh, that is okay that is uh, actually uh, i'm glad you asked because i i don't know how that works either i wanted to ask an imam at a masjid but i wasn't i was i, I didn't have it in me to ask so um how does imam, that work imam, imam, that Adnan, uh, imam Shem, Adnan is here he, he he will he will say you just repeat after him inshallah that will work inshallah okay so um I'm at work now, but yeah, let's do it. And, no, uh, no, it takes it takes literally it takes thirty seconds. Yeah, yeah. You, so it's just you, a shout you, right? you, yeah. you renew your oath yeah. with Allah, yeah. and okay. this is a new beginning. You are a newborn child. You are a new Muslim now. That doesn't mean you don't have any knowledge of Islam or you have to learn yes. going something. No, no. This is a new beginning in the sense that you're rejecting Mirza as a liar. Yep. Okay, and you're yep. affirming your belief that there is only one God who deserves to be worshipped, and the last. And final prophet of Allah is Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. That's it, Salam. and that's it. You're a Muslim. It's a new beginning. Okay. Okay. If you don't mind, I'm just at work now. Can I just quickly close the door so that I don't get interrupted? If you can. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No seconds. problem. Okay. Yeah. Just yeah. Sure. Go ahead. Go ahead. Inshallah. Inshallah. And Allah bless you, my brother. Amen. Uh, Amen. And those of you who are watching right now, brothers and sisters, and you're still thinking about taking the right step. Look, life. Time doesn't wait for anyone. And, uh, and you know, we can die any time in our lives. So we have to be very serious about our end, our salvation. At least correct your beliefs so that you can be rewarded for the little good deeds you may be doing. Your prayer, your salah, your juma, your reading of the Quran, your fasting, your charity, your sadaqah. It will be accepted so long as you are Muslim and your belief is correct. But if you believe in another prophet after Muhammad Rasulullah sure. who was a liar, then all your salah, all your fasting, all your uh, sadaqat and khairat and zakat, every every good you may be doing is going to be wasted. It's going. You may be a very good person, but if your belief is incorrect, just like Mother Teresa, people ask this question about Mother Teresa. What's going to happen to her? She was a Trinitarian. Sorry, like it or not, the Quran clearly states that you will not go to paradise. If you ask, if you make partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if you commit shirk, you're not going to paradise. And this is stated by Isa alayhi salam. Okay? Allah is quoting Isa alayhi salam. He said to the Israelites, Ya Bani Israel, U'budullaha rabbi wa rabbakum, innahu man yushrik billah, faqad harram allahu alayhi al-jannah, wa ma'wahu nar wa ma'lid dhalimina min insar. O Israelites, worship one God, your Lord and my Lord. And do not ascribe partners with him. Those who do it, they will find no helpers and they will be in hellfire. And they will uh, jan Jannah will be made haram upon them. Okay? So so if your belief is incorrect and they, you're praying and you're fasting and you're you know, doing all... It's all, it's, all going to, it's all going to waste, unfortunately. Because you have lost the basic, the core of uh, your, your relationship, your connection with your creator, which is Tawheed, which is oneness. Which is devotion, pure devotion to Him. Okay, so it's very, very important for you to understand and realize um, <clears throat> that that's a long thirty-second. Where is he gone, my brother? G -G, brother? No, sorry, I was just he's waiting back, for you to finish. Back. Yeah, so yeah, you're yeah. back. So that's it. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. First okay. topic: Khairat. Allah says in the Quran, "Don't delay a good deed. Follow. Repeat yeah. after me, Inshallah." Okay, Bismillah. Ashhadu. Ashhadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa ashadu. Wa ashadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Rasulullah. Rasulullah. I bear witness. I bear witness. That Allah alone deserves to be worshipped. That Allah alone deserves to be worshipped. And Muhammad is his last and final prophet. And that Muhammad is his last and final prophet. So there is Allah no prophet Allah. after him. And there's no prophet after him. And uh, Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani was a liar. And Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani was a liar. May Allah bless you yes. and may Allah accept from you. May Allah strengthen you. May Allah make you Amen. a beacon of light for your family, Jizak. your entire progeny. May Allah make you the source of forgiveness and guidance for your entire family so that you can take as many people as possible with you to Jannah. You know, you're a very special person. You're a very no, special you are brother, person. No, you are brother in a free world from a cult. Absolutely. Exactly. You, Absolutely. Are, you are in paradise from a hell. 
So you yes, are sir. Yes. in this world and in the hereafter, inshallah. Here. Inshallah. Yes. And you know, uh, brother, like uh, yes. like I said before, my dear brother, inshallah, uh, if you reach out to us uh, through email, um, you can find on the channel uh, info uh, the dialogue of imtiaz at gmail.com. Inshallah, brother, whatever reference you need, I will send you every single presentation. And if you talk to your family, they have any question, inshallah, brother, I am always available as Adnan Bai said. Alhamdulillah, if they will be, it will, if it will be needed, inshallah, Adnan Bhai will be available as well, inshallah. Ji, ji, inshallah. And sorry, what was the email? Uh, in uh, it, the, everything is like just like just like the one word. Uh, if somebody can display on the screen, please, uh, my request to the moderators, if you can uh, display the email address, please. Uh, yeah. Info. Yeah, yeah, you can see now, brother. Okay. Info. Take a picture. Of me. Info the dialogue. Yes, with Intiaz at Gmail. Yeah, you can, you, can take the, you can take the photo, the inshallah. Email address yes, I got it. Life. That's why I want Yeah, I know I got it now. Yeah, perfect. I would like to say uh, Jazakallah again. Thank you so much. Yeah. I didn't expect it. I was just at work. I saw the stream pop up on my YouTube. And uh, if listen, you would need, I, if you would need the contact of Brother Intiaz or Adnan, you have my number, you have my contact. Just let me know and I'll pass it. Absolutely. My, my beloved brother, before you go, I have a little piece of advice. Go home today or tonight. Okay. This is the ghusl of purity, you know, like when you make ghusl. Okay. Make ghusl with Nia that you're, you're making a ghusl as new Muslim uh, to enter Islam uh, and then pray to rakat just to thank Allah for this tawfiq yeah. and for this step that Allah gave you. It's, you know, the courage and tawfiq is from Allah. It's not your own doing Jeez. necessarily. There is something Jeez. good about you that Allah guided you to this. There is something yes. Allah likes about you. There is a quality, there's a characteristic. Only Allah knows we don't know what it is. He Jeez. guided you, he guided you to, to do this and he gave you the courage. So thank Allah for the blessing. And then Alhamdulillah, after that, strengthen yourself you have the emails Inshallah, you have the, yes. the contact stay in touch any questions anything you don't understand you want to know more uh inshallah we are at your service and if yeah. you need to talk inshallah. to me anytime feel free to ask him to ask by he will he will organize it inshallah inshallah, inshallah. thank yeah, you so we're in much. touch okay may allah bless you allah bless Ameen. you and women very happy Ameen. to have you and, and make dua for all of us by the way before you go, inshallah inshallah make dua yes. for Dr. Yeah. AK Sheikh. uh make dua for me because you are now very close to Allah, you're like a newborn baby. Gee, gee. Like, yes. I, 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 I don't know if you understand the concept, but it's, it's no, no, of course. Yeah, yeah no, so I feel amazing. I, all three of us, and I wasn't expecting, team, but yes, inshallah. Team. Yeah, you know, there are so many Muslims commenting, they're so happy. Dr. Izhar, I saw his I'm, comment as well. He's very I'm, happy. May Allah bless you. Yeah. Inshallah, we'll I would speak say that. Uh, I would yeah. say that if Izhar by is there, inshallah, Zarba, please, inshallah, join us if you are there. And in the meantime, brother, uh, if you have any question, you want to go now. He, he, I think he's working. He's, uh, he's at work. Okay. Okay, yeah, inshallah. Yeah, we okay. Yes. okay, inshallah. We take some. Exactly. Jazakallah, brother. Jazakallah. Allah bless you. Salam well, uh, Adnan, bhai, um, I take back uh, Sayyid. And like I said before, this Sayyid is a very good person. I'm speaking from my heart. I don't know that why he's stuck in the cult. I let you, inshallah, talk to him. Sayyid, you're on the stage Sayyid. now, brother. Sayyid, sir. Aap uh, okay, I I am in MDF because I born at MD, first of all, and okay. what I believe uh, after being an MD, I believe I am on truth. <laughs> so that's why I ask Allah Allah guidance also, just like ask Allah guidance every prayer. Maybe other matters, not religion matter, but other matters also I ask. Yes. If if Allah don't know, guide me, <laughs> I, I, I will after Have going you, after that. I will ask, I will, he, I prayed and if you guide me, it's up to you. 
Yes, Allah has already guided. Allah is already guiding you. I'll tell you how. Have you been watching this stream from the beginning? Did you watch it? No. I okay. It. Uh, okay. Okay. You, if you if you watch this stream, this is how Allah is guiding you by making this content available to you for you to assess black and white evidence that Mirza could not be could not have been even a truthful person, let alone a prophet of God. Hmm. If he wasn't truthful, he was lying, making up things. For, may, perhaps you can help us. Mirza claimed that Qadian is mentioned with Makkah and Medina in the Quran. Now, have you ever seen Qadian mentioned in the Quran? Um, I, I think uh, it's not the way you understand his writings. No, no, no look, look. <laughs> Our understand we are as human as you are, we are as intelligent as you are. Okay, okay. Quran Quran mentioned Holy Prophet in the Quran and Holy Prophet coming second time in the Quran that no, he will not. come second time. Not brother else. Sayyid, brother Sayyid, let's say look at this one. My brother, let's discuss the Qadian. The question are done by a very simple question Is there Qadian in the Quran? Simple question. Firstly, firstly, Mirza mentioned three places, Makkah, Medina and Qadian. We know Makkah is there. We know there are references to Medina, direct references to Medina. Where is Qadian in the Quran? Yeah. I say it's the second coming of Holy Prophet. He is referring not the actual the place he's referring. No, Brother Said, Brother Said, the very first thing Brother Adnan asked you, that Mirza Ghulam Ahmed saying in his words that Makkah, Medina, and Qadian is mentioned in Quran. Do you believe that the Quran, which starts with Alham and finishes with Wanas, have you read anywhere in Quran the Qadian is mentioned? Simple yes or no. First of all, this no no no. This simple. was yeah. happened in Kashaf, not reality. Okay, okay. Yes, Kashaf. This, yes, this, yes. This Kashaf. Writing, explaining in Kashaf, not a reality. He said in he, he but, in Kashaf he heard like this. He said like this in Kashaf, not in reality. No 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 okay. no. no, he no just okay. Write, okay 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 okay. So the Quran you have in your home. Do you see Qadian in that Quran? Forget it about here, Kashaf and all this. First of all, please, you, please, you... please answer this. The Quran you have in your home, whether it's Tafsir e Sagir or any other, did you ever see Qadian word in Quran? It's a place. Qadian is a place. Qadian yeah. is in Quran mentioned. Have you seen in Quran? I understand his question and answer directly, please, uh, Said Bai. I'm saying you are your understanding is wrong. Okay, okay. Gonna... My understanding will be wrong, but my question is this: uh, simply forget everything. Have you ever seen word Quran? Uh, Qadian in Quran. It's not the place name in Quran. Place name is not like that in Quran. Okay. So That's in Quran, it. in Quran, the Qadian is not mentioned. Okay, good. Now, you know the Mirza Sab is the prophet according to you, and the prophets never tells a lie. Is that right? First of all, it's a no, brother, brother, brother. Let's we establish the ground first. Who are the prophets who always speaks the truth? And especially when they are saying that Allah is the guider, Allah is the teacher, Allah is showing me something, Allah is telling me something. Now Mirza Saab is saying Allah showed me the kashaf. And in kashfi condition, Allah showed me the three names in Quran. Makkah, 
Medina and Qadian. Is Mirza Saab is lying or telling the truth? Just tell me. Mirza Saab is telling the truth. Can I explain? No, no, just a second. You can after that. So Mirza Saab is telling the truth and we have to see the truth that in, in Quran, we have to see that Qadian, Makkah and Medina. Let, let, me, I, let me let me let give me give him a okay okay. What, what, okay listen to brother adnan what he's saying yes brother adnan look um said sab quran in surah araf uh, verse 157 makes a claim about prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam it states it states a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem bismillahir rahmanir rahim the Quran makes a claim that the Jews and the Christians find him mentioned with them in the Torah and the Injil. Okay? Now, if the Christians and Jews come to us and ask us, show us, your Quran made a claim. Either your Quran is a lie or we'll find Muhammad mentioned with us in the scriptures so what do we do we go to the scriptures and we show them an arabian prophet we show them a prophet of god mentioned with specific characteristics who will come from arabia okay it is there in isaiah 42 and then uh, we have references to isa alayhi salam foretelling the coming of another person another prophet figure after him so we, we give a number of examples, so many. I have recently finished a book. Uh, I co-authored a book on this very topic with two other authors. It's going to be out very soon. It's called Abraham Fulfilled. You can read it when it comes out, inshallah. So we give references. We give specific details about the claim of the Quran. Now, we are doing the same thing to you. Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani said, you know what that means? Word by word translation is three cities have been mentioned with honor inside the Quran. Makkah or Medina or Qadian. Okay, if it's a kashf about Qadian, then Makkah and Medina should also not be mentioned by name. Do you agree? Because Mirza mentions three locations. Mirza mentions three locations, Makkah, Medina, and Qadian. And he's saying that all three of them are Darj. The word he used is Darj, mentioned, put down. Okay? Now you're saying, oh, it's a kashf. Okay. If it's a kashf, that means you're claiming that the name is not there. The meaning is, but that should also apply to Makkah and Medina. Not only Qadian, but Makkah and Medina are mentioned directly. They are mentioned directly. We are asking about Qadian. For some reason, you're saying Kash only applies to Qadian, not Makkah and Medina. How is that consistent? Good point. Good point. And explain. How is that? So your Kash, your Kash claim doesn't help you. If it's Kash, then it should be kash for all three locations. Because Mirza is putting Qadian next to Makkah and Medina. He's saying Makkah, Medina and Qadian. Three cities are mentioned in the Quran. You, you are trying to find a way out of this by using the kash claim. You're saying kash, we are kashtha. This is only a vision. No, it's, it's not a my vision. Give me one, one Give me. It's not my explanation. Give me one minute, please. So, so firstly, firstly, Let's establish. Makkah is mentioned in the Quran by name, yes? It's not about the names or the cities. It's about Holy Prophet. Okay, okay, wait, brother, 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 Saeed. Answer my question directly so that we can save time. Is Makkah mentioned in the Quran in multiple places? Directly Holy and indirectly? Holy Prophet attached to Makkah. You know that. Holy Prophet. Brother, brother, answer, answer my question. <laughs> is Makkah <laughs> mentioned in the Quran directly and indirectly? Is Makkah mentioned in the Quran? Both are mentioned. Both are mentioned. Okay. I, I, I give it a shot. Both Makkah Medina names are there. Okay. 
So you accept you accepting that Makkah and Medina are there in the Quran. I we guess. are asking I you, sure I guess. I am accepting. Are, brother, we're asking you to show us Qadian directly or indirectly. Okay, indirectly I can show. Directly I cannot show. Okay, okay. Show me. Show me. In when you say indirectly, you're telling us that a town in India, Punjab, is refer referenced in the Quran. Holy Prophet Sallallahu lived in Makkah. He lived in Medina, and Qadian is the place where he came in his in Akhirin, second coming. So this is is mentioned as a second coming, nothing else. Brother, this is what you're claiming. This is what Mirza is claiming. We don't accept this claim. So when he says Qadian is mentioned, this is a circular argument. You're saying it's true because Mirza mentioned it. And because Mirza is, Mirza is mentioned in the Quran, Mirza is true. And Mirza is true because Quran mentions it. Quran is true because Mirza mentions it. So this is like a circular argument. We need specific mention of Qadian in the Quran. For the last 1,400 years, Muslims have been reading the Quran, writing commentaries upon commentaries, volumes upon volumes, not one scholar of Islam. Isn't this a scary thing to, for you to think about? Is this a joke for you? Is your life a joke? I, you, but, you're just you. You choose to die in this cult because your parents are Qadiani. Is that is that what it is? Holy Prophet Sallallahu mentioned in Quran. That's all the story. Holy Prophet Sallallahu Yeah, that's man. Muhammad. That's Muhammad bin Abdullah Al Hashmi Al Qurashi. Yes, we know him. He's mentioned in the Quran by name. We know Muhammad bin Abdullah bin uh, Abdul Muttalib bin Hashim bin Abd Manaf. We know him. We know his entire lineage, right? Up to Adnan. We know who he is. He's Qurashi, he's Hashmi. Okay? Where is Mirza or Qadian mentioned in the Quran, brother? You're claiming that Qadian, uh, Qadian, Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani was the second coming of uh, Muhammad Rasulullah. Uh, actually, that doesn't help you. You're going to land yourself in a bigger problem. Now, if you start to claim that, then according to Mirza himself, the second coming was better than the first one. Aqwa, Ashad, and Akmal. Yeah, it's a holy prophet. When he, when all the world accept him, he will be Aqwa. So, 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 do you believe? Do you believe when the prophet came back in Mirza's body, or Mirza's form, he he was better. He was Aqwa, Ashad, and Akmal. When Christians will accept him, then he will be strong. You're not answering that my question. <laughs> Said by Said by look, it seems you don't want to change. It seems you have decided that you want to die a Qadiani. Then we cannot help you. But if you are truly seeking, if you are truly sincere and you don't care about the consequences of leaving the cult, then you know what the truth is. You know, Mirza, I mean, this is one example. This is one example. We we presented a whole list of references. Where, 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 where did the prophet say that there will be a prophet from India, black skinned? Where did the prophet say this? Imtiaz, by you, you muted, you muted. Have to give. Imtiaz, by you have to unmute. Imtiaz, by you Imtiaz, by unmute. Kar le. Ji, sorry, Jazakallah khair. Uh, okay, Adnan, by let's see, inshallah, if he's sincere. Let's see, let it give you inshallah, one more chance. Okay, brother, uh, let me make it a bit bigger, and I want you to read for all the people. So let's see, inshallah, uh, what we can draw from here. So can you please read, brother uh, Said? Please read this one. No, no, no. Hulam Qadir. Sorry, from this world, Hulam Qadir. Which was the Mirza's brother, Hulam Qadir? Please read this one. मेरे करीब बैठ का बुलंद आवाज़ कुरान क्रीम सी पा रहे थे और पढ़ते पढ़ते उन्होंने निशिक्रात को पढ़ा इन्ना अजल ना हो करीबन मिन कादियाँ मिन कादियाँ मिन कादियाँ तो मैं मैंने सुनकर बहुत तर्जब किया कि क्या कादियाँ के नाम भी क्रांति पे लिखा हुआ है तब उन्होंने कहा कि ये देखो लिखा हुआ है तब मैंने नजर डालकर जो देखा तो मुलुम हुआ कि फिर ठीक है क्रांति के ताईं सफ़े में शायद करीब निसफ़ के मौके पर जही अदामी बात देखी हुई मौजूद है तब मैंने अपने दिल में कहा कि हाँ वाकई तोरपा कादर के नाम 
कासिम में दर्ज है अब मैंने कहा तीन शहरों का नाम अजहर के साथ कासिम में दर्ज किया गया है मक्का मदीना और दादिया ये कसफ था Yeah, now this is this is brother page number one hundred and forty and Rohani Khazan volume three. Adnan, boy, can you please translate this one for the people? Adnan, please this one. Ghulam Qadir. So Ghulam Qadir, my close friend, was sitting and reading the Quran. Ghulam Qadir was reading the Quran, sitting next to me in loud voice. Okay. 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 Inna anzalnahu kariban min al-qadiyan that we revealed it close to qadiyan. So, I have listened to it very much. When I heard these words, I became very astonished. That the name of qadiyan is also written in the Quran Sharif. That is qadiyan also mentioned in the Quran. This is Mirza talking now about this. Then they said that this is written in the Quran. He said, "Look at this. It is actually written in the Quran." Tab maine nazar dal kar jo dekha, and then I saw, uh, I looked at it. To malum hua ke fil hakikat Quran Sharif ke daein safa me, and then I realized that in reality, on the the right page of the Quran, ne shayad kareeb nis ke ne perhaps near the the half near the half of the Quran. के मौका पर यही इलामी बारत लिखी है एंड इट इज एंड दिस दिस इंस्पायर्ड सेंटेंस और स्टेटमेंट हैज इज रिटन देयर तब मैंने अपने दिल में कहा देन आई सेड इन माय हार्ट कि हां वाकई तौर पर कादियान का नाम कुरान शरीफ में दर्ज है दैट इन रियलिटी कादियान इज एक्चुअली मेंशन इन द कुरान दिस इज द ट्रांसलेशन एंड इट एक्चुअली मेंशंस द अरबिक वर्स दैट कादियानी is attributing to allah yeah Inna now adnan bhai yeah. yeah now adnan bhai the question is mirza ghulam qadiani is saying that fil haqeeqat in reality on the page of the quran allah close allah. to the half of the page this is mentioned now this uh, said was trying to say oh it was nabi muhammad this and that mirza ghulam qadiani is quoting the actual verse as well in Absolutely. this verse The wait, clearly wait, wait. world Qadian is mentioned now. Wait, Sayyid, wait, wait, wait. I am yeah. sure you have Quran at your home. No, 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 wait, wait, oh. wait, 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 wait. Go, yeah. Garj, no need for going home. We all know. My question is now to Sayyid. Sayyid, if you are truly sincere, if you are truly sincere, then things things will change here right now. Mirza Ghulam Ahmed Qadiani is saying, "Fil haqiqat, in reality, these words are in the Quran." Inna anzalnahu kariban min al qadiyan. Can you show me these words in the Quran? And Mirza is not saying this is a dream. Mirza is not saying it's a dream. He's saying fil hakikat Quran Sharif ke daein safa. And he's even giving the page on the right page near the half of the Quran. Half of the page of that. Half of the page. Half of the page. Yeah. I said in my heart. He did not speak anything. I said in my heart. His feelings speak when he was. In Kasaf, his feeling was speaking to him. He felt like that, but not brother. Oh, brother. Bhai. oh, my brother! Oh, my brother! Oh, Allah ke bande! Oh, God ke bande! Ilhami ibarat, ilhami ibarat, likhi vi maujood hai. Open it. Oh, my dear brother! Is ka kya kare? Ilhami. When he saw in Kasaf that oh, bhai, which was oh, bhai Kasaf, oh bhai Kasaf, oh bhai Kasaf, oh bhai Kasaf, it says that <laughs> Ilhami Ibarat likhi hui maujood hai. Let's deal with this one, and then we can go further, inshallah. Do you agree that in the Quran this text is is found? You agree? Did he, did he ever said it with his mouth? Oh bhai Ilhami, okay, okay, you translate this one. It says that. कुरान फिल हकीकत कुरान शरीफ के दाएं सफा में शायद करीब निस के मौका पर यही इलामी इबारत लिखी हुई मौजूद है इसे इन रियलिटी इन द कुरान ऑन द राइट पेज क्लोज टू द हाफ ऑफ द पेज दिस इंस्पायर्ड टेक्स्ट इज फाउंड 
his heart speak like this forget Not forget the heart like forget the heart what he's saying in his heart wo apne dil mein ye keh raha hai ki ha waqi taur pe likha hai ha what he's saying in his heart is it is actually written He's yeah. not denying what he's 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 claiming it's written, and then he's saying it's actually written, and he also says in his heart that it's actually written. So where's yeah. the problem? Where's the problem? He Sayed, said in that, Sayed, he said, Sayed, Sayed, Sayed. He said in that that kind of uh, imagination, not in reality. Say yeah, there is no imagination here. There's no imagination here. He's saying fil hakikat Quran Sharif ke daish safa me. शायद करीब निस्क के मौका पर यही इलामी इबारत लिखी हुई है इन रियालिटी दिस इज रिटर्न ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड ने हाफ इन रियालिटी दिस इंस्पायर्ड सेंटेंस और स्टेटमेंट इज रिटर्न और तब मैंने अपने दिल में कहा एंड देन आई सेड इन माई हार्ट कि हाँ वाकई यस इन रियालिटी पर कादयान का नाम कुरान शरीफ में दर्ज है the name of the city of qadian is mentioned in the quran all yeah. he's saying in his heart is that it is actually there yeah this is the writings about imagination not what happened in that imagination that story say say oh say say you know what is kashif what is kashif something you can imagine something no no can... no no wait 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 For example, when you imagine something, is oh, that kashif? Oh, yeah, I mean, third day. Look, look, wait, wait. Where is the word kashif here? Or vision? Or dream? Yeah, There's visa. Nothing... Visa is the right word here. Ha? Huh? No, visa. kash niche li kash niche likha hua hai na? Wo upar he is describing an incident. Kash kash is later. What he is saying that Golam Kadir. My brother Ghulam Qadir was reading the Quran in loud voice next to me, and then he read these words. Mirza is actually describing the words he heard. He read these words: "Inna anzalnahu kariban min al Qadian." Then he said, "I got astonished. I heard these words, and I got shocked and surprised. And then I asked him, 'Where is this?' And he said, 'Look at this. His brother is showing him in." physical reality look at these words in the anzalnahu kariban min al qadian so he said i looked at it mm. and then i realized fil haqiqat in reality is written there and then i said in my heart that it's actually written there oh, oh. okay brother adnan one second I, I, please I, one I, second I, brother said brother said do you believe that this kashif was from the god or from the satan i i am guessing his brother was not alive even that time then it no, started no no when you are reading <laughs> this when you are reading this mirza sahab these words whatever he has written do you think that this kashif was from the god or from satan yes good question that's why i am explaining it because what I... what you thinking what is your thinking is it from god or from shaitan if you know my expression it's about the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in oh, india then his second coming was <laughs> adnan bhai is just wasting time now acha acha said bhai aapko sheikh sahab ka sawal samajh nahi aaya did Achha. you not understand he is asking it's... मतलब अभी फिर और बर मेहरबानी ये चीज देखें कि उनके बड़े भाई गुलाम कादर उनके करीब बैठे हुए कुरान ऊंची आवाज में पढ़ रहे थे उसकी तलावत कर रहे थे जब मिर्जा साहब के कानों में ये बा, बात पड़ी इन्ना अंजल ना करीब मिनल कादियान ठीक है तो ये उन्होंने सुन के तो सरप्राइज हुए कि ये कादियान का नाम कुरान शरीफ में क्योंकि कुरान शरीफ की तलावत कर रहे हैं वो पढ़ रहे हैं तब उन्होंने कहा कि भाई ये 
भाई ने कहा कि देखो ये तो कहते हैं कि जब मैंने नजर डाल के देखा तो मुझे नजर आया कि कुरान के अंदर मतलब उनके दाएं सफे के ऊपर और सफे के दरमियान में निसफ के करीब ये इल्हामी इबारत लिखी हुई है मतलब ये कि उन्हें अल्फाज नहीं नजर आए इल्हामी इबारत ये चीज जेल में रखे ठीक हो गया तो फिर कहते हैं कि मैंने अपने दिल में ख्याल किया कि हाँ वाक्य कुरान के अंदर तो कादियान का नाम दर्ज है ठीक हो गई ये बात यहां तक ठीक है अच्छा ये कश्यप मैंने पूछा है ये अल्लाह की तरफ से था या शैतान की तरफ से था मुझे सिर्फ ये बता दें yeah, आप आपको try to understand this question. He's asking, this was, this... This was uh, uh, post few questions, not back. Okay. Let me, oh, brother, let me brother, brother, wait, wait, wait. I'm going to get the answer. No, no, I'm, yeah. I'm, look. He's asking, this kash or this vision, was it from God or Satan? Simple question, yaar. Simple. It was not from Satan. Okay. <laughs> so, it was from God? Not by let me rephrase the no, question. No, no. Let me rephrase the question. I, I'm not uh, sure. Say, say, I'm say, not, he's not sure. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, no, no, just one second. Yeah. Just one second. Oh, say, oh, okay, say, entity <laughs> okay, say, say, look at this one. What Mirza Ghulam Kadiani saw in this Kashif was that right or wrong? Good. First Very of all, we, we also see Kashif. रॉन्ग कश्यपॉइंट And, and one thing I will say, brother Said, in the eyes, to brother yeah. Said, that brother Said, try to talk to your family and tell them this is my understanding and this was the question. What you guys think, and take that there also understanding of your family, like your wife, your your son and daughter, your father, whoever they are, your siblings, talk to them and tell them this is my understanding. What you guys about think. and when you will have the same thinking you will have unanimously one decision but if you will find the different than differ than you then you have to think so please talk to them and then let's we talk some other time about this one and you will have enough time to think on this one yeah okay understanding which jamaat has given to you for just for one moment just read the text as an independent thinker just read the text and think for yourself anyhow said uh we have a lot of duas for you may allah guide you brother yeah. and your yeah. family 
it's very hard to proceed you know in this way the discussion that when you can clearly see something but you know you're still not uh, willing to acknowledge that but anyhow inshallah our duas for you brother inshallah. and you are more than welcome to come back in the future as well thank you sir thank you very much is there any other brother out there or yeah uh, ali mirza uh, mirza ali is there let's see inshallah uh, what <coughs> ali mirza has to say adnan bhai uh, if you are back inshallah you can proceed with uh, ali mirza ji ali bhai assalam alaikum kaise hain janab ha ja theek hai अलहमदुल्लाइन फ्रेंड्स So, so Ali Bhai, Sahib and Adnan Sahib and Muhammad Insaf Sahib. Thank you, thank, 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 you. thank, you. thank you, thank you very thank much, Ali. Most welcome, most welcome as always, and uh, and it's our pl- pleasure having you, Ali Bhai. Uh, today we are discussing some of the lies, as we claim they are lies, of Mirza Saab. Okay, we read some quotes <laughs> from Mirza Saab. One of the one of the things we are mentioning, or discussing right now, and we can go straight into it. That Mirza Saab claimed that Qadian. is mentioned with makkah and medina in the quran okay uh, with honor and it's actually there and then we presented the full quote where mirza claims that uh, ghulam qadir uh, his brother was reading the quran to him and then he read these words in anzalnahu qariban min al qadian which is not in the quran then he said then mirza said it is fil haqiqat it is there so do you believe that acha pehle ye zahar hai main sun chuka hu sorry i have heard i already listened what was uh, going on before i think uh, if we will not repeat some of the things and then we will just talk about uh, uh, directly on the on the useful points and then try to drive something by taking equal time not mm-hmm. equal time at least uh, you three persons are on one side <laughs> mean on on the side of one one kind of thinking and maybe i'll be agree on some of the points and i'll be disagree on some of the points then i think uh, at least uh, at least uh, a reasonable time should be given to me yeah yeah absolutely go ahead as long as you stick to the topic and give answers yeah. to us uh, uh yeah because- the main you know definitely when i will talk about some point then i'll present my own view Maybe okay. we will be agree or not agree. Agree. Okay, no problem. At least uh, at let's... that time, let me speak for a reasonable time. If you will cut me, then I cannot. Uh, I mean. Uh, okay. Uh, present, present what I uh, what I am uh, thinking about. Okay. Ali, before you start, I just have one request. Yeah. I hope that you will agree with us. We always give you opportunity to speak, right? Yeah. Is that right, Ali? Yeah, yeah, right. But in last okay. stream, maybe now, that was yeah. my mistake, or you forgot. Okay, when I was leaving, then last uh, norm- normally you are giving me last few minutes just to conclude. Then and la- in my last stream, which was in Urdu, then uh, I left without you know concluding what I want to say uh, say at that time. Then later on, I I thought okay, at least I must request a uh, uh, few minutes uh, from all of your friends to conclude uh, my I mean uh, point of view. So that's why okay, I, Ali, we, anyway. yeah, Ali, we have respect for you as a human being, but I would be very clear with you: we cannot give this platform to preach Kadianiyat. I would be very honest definitely, with you. Definitely, definitely, definitely. We are look. You guys have like six, seven, eight, nine different channels. You can go and preach there. We'll ask you a question, and as long as you address the question, we'll let you speak. But I would not guarantee. If you if you will go off topic, I won't let you speak. Who will decide I am on the point or not? Okay. Who will decide? Because our we'll platform will decide. decide. Yes, who will decide? Yeah. You who are the opponent, they will decide. They should be no, a judge. No. We are not your opponents. We are not your opponents. No, no, we are no, just not my opponent. Discussing your 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 point of view is no. is the main. No. You are like a judge. What we, you are thinking that is correct. We're getting into unnecessary I, futile exercise. Uh, yeah, uh, but Ali, there will be no time for preaching. I'll be very honest with you. Yeah, yeah preaching. No, preaching. Oh, this preaching. is not preaching. This is this is like a platform. Platform. Yeah. Where you are talking about some issue, and I am. Let's come to the topic. Let's come to the topic. 
the people who let's come to the topic. Decide. Nobody need to decide. Let's come Ali. to the topic. Okay, Ali. what you have to say on the Qadian in the Quran? Yes. Firstly, do you do you do you believe it's there? Physically, you know, as long as this word is concerned, this word is not in 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 Quran. Kadian word is not there. Okay, good, good. Now we we're, we're making progress. Good, it's not there. So now it's established the word Kadian is not in the Quran. Okay, brilliant. No, as long as this word, Ka mean. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, we know the word. Don't but... saath, alif and dal, then ya, then noon. That's not uh, mean. Okay. Literally, that word is not in Quran. Okay, I, is it there in translation? Another word is used for Kadian. A word. Not sentence, one one. a word. One by one. Okay. Is then, there is there a mention of Kadian in another word that can be translated as Kadian? No, basically we are coming to that point. Yeah. What Mirza Ghulam Ahmed Kadiani and uh, I think la in last stream when I was using the word Alayhi Salam. Yes. And then uh, I, I think you are being hurt on that word. That's why if hey, I'll use word we, Sahib, then we, you will because, not be hurt. No, because, because I don't want to hurt you then. Yes, yes, correct. Because that I can that can I say I'm in my heart, or I will use the word sub. Yeah. Uh, mean I I will also take care of your, your feelings. Thank you very much. Because we, we don't want to express our feelings. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely, definitely. I don't because want to hurt, hurt someone's feelings. Yeah, 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 so, yeah, so it's only fair that we remain on neutral ground, which is very yeah, yeah. good. Thank, yeah. you. Thank you for that. We appreciate yeah. that. Yeah, now, good. now, now it's clear that the word Qadian is not in the Quran. We are both yeah. in agreement. Good. Now, Mirza Saab here in this quote on the screen is saying mm -hmm. that the word Qadian, not only the word, that verse. In Anzalahu Kariba Min Al Qadian. Okay. Uh, that we revealed him or it. We don't know what, what he means by that. Quran or himself. Kariba Min Al Qadian. Uh, that we sent him near Qadian. And Mirza is saying, or Mirza Saab is saying, Fil Hakikat Quran Shrif Milikawe. Do you believe that? Do you agree with that? Fil Hakikat bit. Fil Hakikat means actually reality, in reality. Okay, before uh, I start, I think I must open the same book. Then I will have to understand uh, the things before, you know, after reading before and after. Then I think it will be easy for me, you you, you say what basically I understood and what uh, the person who has uh, written this willing to say that what he is willing to I mean uh, what he is understanding from these words or what he want to say from these words but i think i i would uh, i would like to understand uh, from the same book then then better i, I will i will uh, i will say according to my understanding about the about this point uh, on which you are talking about okay ali just a quick question do you know this thing before yeah yeah, yeah. so just tell us that what you used to think before. I mean, basically, uh, there are many good and such kind of things which uh, are uh, related to revelations on uh, Mirza Sahib. Okay, as long as uh, revelations are concerned, we Ahmadi believe our our belief is that uh, revelations. There are, you know, three kinds of revelations as mentioned in the Quran. Anyway, that is another discussion. But as, as long as the revelations are concerned, they are purely from the God. Okay. If those revelations are from the God, then definitely we, 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 we cannot uh, negate that. Uh, but with understanding, not, not blindly understanding. Okay, but it, and if there is a if there is a revelation, so definitely there will be a description uh, before and after. So I will have to. So this uh, is that, yeah, according, yeah. According to Mirza, according to Mirza, this is a revelation. Yeah, this is a revelation. Yeah. Yes. In this, the, is, this is not his own concluded. I mean, and, uh, dried words. This is revelation. And he's, saying, and he's yeah. saying it's in the Quran. He did not say the same words are in the Quran. But no, he felt, he felt in the Ali Bhai, Ali Bhai, Ali Bhai, he says that Phil Hakikat, Phil Hakikat, Quran e Sharif, Ke Dai Safa me, Shayd Kareeb Nis Ke Moka pe, Yehi Ilhami Ibarat Likhi Mojude. He says that in reality, 
in the Quran on the right page, close to the half of the page, this revealed text is found. Let me read now. Let me open the same book. Then I'll, I'll, I mean, I, I you can open the, this. Yeah, is, this is that. also, by the way, by the way, this is also a book. Okay, what I'm asking let you, me, Ali, you said I'll, before, I'll open a book. I will not take you much time. I will that's take, fine. That's fine, time. Ali. I will that's take fine. No time, problem. But you will give me, yeah, Ali. No problem. Look, the, the, the point is, the point is, you earlier said that it is not that this exact text is there. But Mirza Ghulam Karyani is saying, no, this exact text is there. Let me read that now. No, why, why you are in a hurry? Let me read then conclude from that same read, same, same, same text. Uh, I'll tell you why, why, why we're in a hurry. Because we are aware of uh, the, the time-wasting uh, phenomenon Basically, that found. The you were talking uh, on one issue from more than half an hour from the previous guy and you, yeah. and you did not conclude anything from that. No, 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 because he was playing games. He was not giving okay. that. Then, I mean, then you will say about me, I'm playing games. You can say yeah, about yeah. him. I mean, he is playing if, games. if you cannot read black and white Urdu and actually have get, get get go away with the same understanding as us, then you're clearly playing because there are three people here we cannot possibly all be liars and deliberately you are miss not the, you are not the authenticity or you are not the authorized person which uh, which can be 100% uh, trust <laughs> ali i know uh, look ali look yeah. all we are trying to highlight is just Let few me... minutes before you said that this exact text is not in the quran mirza ghulam qadiani said that ye ilha, yehi ilhami ibarat likhi maujood hai that this very revealed text is found uh, is, is that is can that correct well, no no wait wait, wait, wait. ali ali is that translation correct but can i open the book please then but we don't uh, have time he... ali we don't have time half an hour 20 minutes 15 minutes no 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 no, no. i will take the same time but you will give me but at, at least I must read uh, the, the not much many many yes. pages. How, how much? How much do you want to read? Let me know how much you want at to read. At least at least a few lines before. Okay, okay please go that. ahead. Hey, can yeah. you bring it down? Can yeah. you bring? It yeah, down? yeah. I yes. do it now. Yes, I do it now. Yes. No, I will. I will open the same book, please. Then I can. I will. I will have to check uh, the headings of that book at least. Brother Ali, I will not take your much time. I will not take your much time. I will take the same time what you will give me. So at least I will I will say on the basis of uh, some meaning. Okay, Ali, go ahead. Meaning. Please take your time. Take your yeah. time. Tell yeah. us. Yeah. Go ahead. Open the book. Open the book. Thank you very much. Yeah. I, I really Please appreciate. tell us. Yeah. Yes. And can I open the same book? Uh, please, uh, Mintya Sai. What is the name of that book? Bhai, this is. Uh, let me give you the page number as well. Yeah. So this is uh, Ruhani Khazain, Volume Three, Page One Hundred and Forty. The name of the book is uh, what? By yeah. Ruhani Khazain, Volume Three, Page One Forty. Okay, all you yeah. need to open is Ruhani Khazain. Ali, why you gonna I'll waste? Just, no, 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 I'll just. You can talk uh, three persons together. Then I'll just open. Okay, why? <laughs> why finding? Uh, if there is, uh, is there someone else in the back? Bring them in. Yeah. While no, Ali, why for the page when he's ready, we'll go yeah. back. Yeah. Let, let's Inshallah. Let's no, 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 one page number. One four zero. One four zero. Okay, okay. Okay, Ali, why you stay there? You read three, four pages. Yeah, you that's good. In that's the game, nice. and you ready? Tell us to come back. We'll come back thanks. to you. Thanks. Okay. Th thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Let's, okay. Okay. Brilliant. So, so go back and read it three or four times, and come back to us and tell yeah, us what. Yeah. You yeah. That's good. That's good. yeah. That's good. Okay. Yeah, you can come back when you're ready. Let us know. Because okay. I think uh, we Mike have. Uh, coming reading. Mike, he, he's there. He's there on the backstage. Inshallah, he's there. I can see him. He's there. Okay. okay, we have uh, this here. I am Lord Sen. So, are you Kadiani? Please tell us. Okay, let me take him on the. Give me one second, brother. Sorry, just give me one second. Yeah, right, guys, how are you doing? Ah, uh, good, bro. How are you? Yeah, I'm really good. I I've only got a, a short while. There's a UFC starting term, so I've got to be really quick. Um. What just tell us really about yourself. Uh, just tell us, are you Muslim, Qadiani, or something else? I'm Christian. I run a, a Christian channel. Uh, here okay. I'm okay. So I just okay. Um, yeah. it, it was just, um, I think a lot of Muslims believe that Muhammad is mentioned in the Bible, prophesied in the Bible. Yes. This is not a topic today. 
But oh. regardless, we do, yes. And if you want to read more about it, a book is coming out very soon. It's titled oh. April Fulfilled. It's a very detailed book. You can oh. go and read it. Yeah, you can I, go and read, read that book. Yes, I, no, no, I listen to a lot of your work. I didn't, we just realized who you are. Um, so you've obviously talked about it. Uh, the, the if it's better, I go so that the comforter can come, Mohammed. Yeah, I mean, the de- the fantastic. De- yeah, can, the we, can we just go through a few verses? Sorry, can we just go through a few verses of those? No, 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 because this stream is specifically for the Ahmadis, Qadianis, yeah, uh, and we're not uh, dealing with Christians at the moment. So if yeah. you want to discuss with me. Uh, it will have to be another uh, another platform. Uh, you can come to Speakers Corner if you're in the UK. I, I came to Speakers Corner two weeks ago. There's okay. lots of debates. I, I debated uh, Zishan, Hashim, and yeah. um, Mansur. I think some of my videos are on there. So you, okay. could, you could watch them. I, okay. I, I, yeah. So why don't you do this? Read my book, which is coming out very soon, before you talk to me about it. Uh, at least understand our perspective and our, our interpretation of those verses. It's... Uh, <laughs> It's, it's a, titled Abraham Fulfilled. It's uh, it's due out. It's due to be out very soon. So uh, watch this space. John fourteen twenty six. Yeah, you use that one, don't you? So so I um, I don't have Can time. Can Muhammad to... be inside you? Sorry. Can Muhammad be inside you? Okay. So, <laughs> my brother, uh, my brother, look. We're, we're trying. We're trying Adnan, to my already, Adnan, 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 my already explained to you. That you are more than welcome to come to Speaker's Corner or you can discuss some other platform. Today's stream is with the Kadianis. No offense, brother. Okay. Thank okay. you very much. So is Thank, inside. You. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Ali, uh, Ali, are you ready? Okay. He's not ready yet. No problem. We have uh, Nasir. Uh, are you able to hear me? Yes. Yes, we are. Nasir, are you Qadiani? Uh, yes, I'm Amadi Muslim, and uh, we've spoken before on your stream. Um, uh, yeah, I can remember. I can remember. Yeah. We, we Welcome, Nasir. Welcome, Thank Nasir. You. Appreciate it. Um, I want so, to... Nasir, uh, because we're already discussing a point, so we just want to stick with that point. So, if you have something to say on this one, please go ahead. Yes, absolutely. And, and I've been following the past um, little while. And uh, yeah. from, please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, from my understanding of your critique, you are focusing on the words fil hakika, fil hakika. And from this, you're deriving that this, uh, that Mirza Ghulam Ahmed al-Islam genuinely thought or perceived or believed that these words in the Anzal Nahu Kariba Min Al-Qadiyan are actually mentioned in the Holy Quran as per this ibadat, as per this uh, quotation. Is that a fair okay. summary? I would say that you give us your perspective. Then shall have a lock talk for you. No, I'm, I'm asking, your I wanted to make sure that I understood you correctly. So yes or no? We want to, no, no, that's fine. No problem. We want to hear you that what do you think about this passage? So if you're, if, okay, I think maybe you're, I don't know why you're not answering. No, no, it's not about answer, um, brother. Think... Look, we want we want to hear from you. It may be the case that we both agree on something. Okay, we don't want, we, need, we just don't need to go, you know, in something we can agree. Okay, we want to listen from you what you have to say. Okay, so um, I think that this passage is being misrepresented, honestly, mm-hmm. and I think it's being selectively um, shown in, mm-hmm. as opposed to its entirety. Um, mm-hmm. the, as you know, this is a footnote, um, and these are maybe seven, eight lines from a longer footnote. Mm-hmm. Um, and if you're trying to tell the audience or the listeners that uh, this was his genuine belief that these words are found in the Holy Quran, then mm-hmm. I think that is an error on your part. It, and I'm saying okay. this, it could be a genuine error. I'm not saying that you're doing it maliciously or anything like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, it could be a very... because. We all can make mistakes. We are insan. We are human. Let's see, let's see. Can you give us your perspective, please? So my perspective on this would be the same as what Mirza Ghulam Ahmed's perspective was on this, which he has mm-hmm. mentioned a few pages before. Mm-hmm. Which is what? Uh, who is this? Adnan Saib? Yes, that's me. Yes. Okay. okay. So Adnan Saib, um, I believe on page 139, this discussion starts on the okay. same book. And on that 
page, he clearly mentions that Qadian is not mentioned in the Quran. And okay. it's not mentioned in his words. So how can it be that these words are true? He's bringing up the, the question. He's um, starting the discussion. Okay. So I don't know if you're going to look at page 139 or not, but that's where the discussion starts. And he makes that very clear. Okay, are we going to look at that or no? Nasi, or look, I, Nasi, look, Nasi, Nasi, look at this one. You, you are more than welcome if you want to go off stage to read all of those pages. We, what we want to know from you is, in this text, in the light of what you read after all the four pages, explain to us this passage. Okay, no problem. And, and, so and if what you, in this passage... Let's say what you're saying is true. Is this not a direct contradiction? Yes. Is this not... Is that uh, no, so that's, if, you, if you were to... Look at the passage, you would see the entire explanation, which is very clear to me, at least. Um, <laughs> but what? even in this passage, if we if we take your just if we were to just look at this passage alone and we look at it through your lens, then there are um, clear problems with your interpretation of it. OK, okay. Explain for example, this. so from 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 what I, my original question was very important for my um, dialogue here. And if you would answer that for me, it would make it easier for me to under, to okay, really okay. understand. Let me quickly give so you... So from our point of view... Let, let, let me give you our, expert, our perspective on Mirza and his, 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 his writings. We believe that Mirza was an extremely confused personality, riddled with contradictions and misinformation, misconceptions, okay, misrepresentations, outright lies, Mirza was a combination of all these things. Okay. Mirza would write one thing on one page. On the very next page, he would contradict himself directly. We can present multiple examples of that. So, to say the least, Mirza was okay. the. Lead. No, right, that wasn't my question. Yeah, my question the, the, the was. So, so we, we're, we're trying to use this against Mirza to show that. Oh, I understand not only... that. My question yeah. was specific about this quotation. Because you yeah, mentioned well, the I, words I, I, I'm coming, many I'm times. Coming, I'm coming to this quot quotation. Okay. I'm saying okay, sure. no Mirza is writing here to take his words at face value. He's writing, Fil haqeeqat Quran Sharif ke daayin safa mein shayid kareeb nis ke mokha par yehi ilhami ibarat likhi hai. Okay. So this is, these are categorical words. Mirza is saying, in reality, on the right side of the page, of the Quran, near the half, near, near half of it, this uh, rev this revelation is uh, is stated, okay. And on top, mm -hmm. on top, before before he says that, he says that it was read to him, and then he was surprised to hear these words, and then he asked, "Is this really written in the Quran?" And his brother showed it to him, and he saw it, and he says, "Fil hakikat Quran me in reality, is there? We just we just astounded by these words. So you can tell us now what. No, no, what, I, I think no. I, I needed that um, clarification. Sorry. Yeah, thank you. No, I appreciate you clarifying that because I needed to know that clarification in order to make sure that I understood Nasi, it correctly. Nasi, just really one thing, brother. Nasi, just one thing, brother. Well, it's been last almost ten minutes. All you are saying repeatedly that there is something in other pages which can explain this passage. My request is, because you know all those other pages, please explain to us this passage in the light of the other pages, please. Yes, please, get, 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 yeah, so, get the crux, yes. Our concern is this. Okay. This is our concern that Mirza is claiming that these words are in the Quran. And yeah. we're saying they're not there. Okay, so I, I, you know, I'm your guest here, so I would appreciate some, some courtesy and some Yes, patience. please. Yes, please go. <laughs> not uh, hot-headed or anything like that. I like to have a dialogue and not monologue. Um, so yeah. you have, in this passage, you're explaining that Mirza Ghulam Qadir, his brother, sat beside him and read the Quran to him, correct? Yeah. Okay. This is the first, and this is the first um, folly or mistake on your part, I believe. Okay. Because when this happened, at the when this incident occurred, Mirza Ghulam Qadir had already passed away. Okay. Okay. Uzal al okay. is written in 1891. Okay. Mirza Ghulam Qadir passed away in 1883. 
Okay. Okay. So mm -hmm. at the point of this revelation, Mirza Ghulam Qadir has already passed away. Okay. Which means that if you are taking this literally, that means that not only is Mirza Ghulam Ahmed saying that these words are in the Quran, but it also means oh, that Mirza Ghulam yes. Qadir has come back to life so, and so is reading I, the Quran to him. Fine, fine. Um, are you saying... Are you no, the reason I'm saying this is because you're not looking at the previous pages. So if okay. we're only going to highlight this portion, then this is the big... Uh, mistake that you've made and from a historical point of view I, I think believe you're a historian it's important to make sure that we have that detailed yeah. okay 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 As brother Imtiaz I want to ask uh, brother Nasir one thing yeah brother yeah. Nasir if you could Sorry, please tell us when if Mirza Ghulam Ahmed knew if Mirza Ghulam Ahmed knew that in Quran there is no word Qadian right what was the purpose stating and writing over here or telling the people that whatever the cause for this and that, yeah. what was in his mind to write these words here? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so this is mm -hmm. just, just to add to Sheikh Saab's words. It is it is not important as to uh, whether Mirza Ghulam Qadir uh, was actually reading the Quran to him not or not. What is important here is that Mirza himself wrote this very passage in, uh, in, 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 in an awakened form. He was fully awakened. What he, message he, he wants was, to convey to the people? Exactly. What kind of a message? He was conscious. He was, conscious. Uh, he was, he, he was awake. Obviously, he mm -hmm. wrote this, right? Mirza wrote this at some point. So he's documenting this for a reason. What is he trying to achieve? When he says, that Makkah, Medina, and Qadian are mentioned in the Quran. And of course, we read that earlier. So, so that in case you try to misrepresent us or accuse us of not actually understanding the, 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 the passage itself, because the word Kash is there, the second last word is Kash. Okay. So Mirza himself is writing later on that this was this is this is what he was told in Kash. We are saying on top of this, if if when he was writing this, was that writing a kashf or was that was that writing in reality? Clearly, it was reality. He was physically writing using physical ink, a physical pen, a physical paper. And then it was physically published by the Qadiani Jamaat. And it's still published to this day. What is he Mirza trying to do here? And he's saying, Phil Hakikat Quran me likhawe. And he's writing it in, in, in a conscious form. I mean, he's, he's he's fully awake when he's writing this. Correct? Yeah. So, um, so I think when when he's right wait, wait when he's writing this in his fully awakened or you know when he's fully conscious in that form when he writes fil hakikat Quran Sharif me likha hua hai, what is he trying to do here? Tell us. Yeah. So I think let me ask you um, a question for, just to clarify as well. Um, you have mentioned that you have quoted a previous portion of this um, footnote, and I agree with you. You did quote a previous portion with this. No, no, not not previous. Actually, uh, going down. Uh, I believe it was before this passage. The Let's see, that is, okay, please, make sure, please make your point. So, am, am I safe to assume that you have read this entire footnote? Yes. Nasir, can brother, you brother, Nasir, and... brother Nasir, it's just, uh, believe me, playing with the words. No, I'm the not playing with the, the words. No, should, the, point is, the point is only this. Brother, the the point is only this one, Brother Nasir. Mirza Ghulam Ahmed knew, as you know, that in Quran there is no such word Qadian, right? Is that right? But that's what you're claiming. That's what he's saying, right? Brother Nasir, you know that there is no word of Qadian in Quran. Is that right? Brother Nasir, what happened to you? Where are you? Hello? <laughs> Brother Nasir, are you there? He's trying to find from the Quran. I, are, you, a, are you trying to open no, the Quran? Wait, I'm curious. No, he's not opening the Quran. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I think I think he knows he knows that it's not there. Uh, again, we don't know, but uh, of course, without being sarcastic. He, okay. And by the way, he he himself is gone. Nobody removed yeah. him. He himself yeah. is gone. So, okay. so Nasir, 
Nasir, Nasir clearly got stuck in this. He, he, he thought he thought he's gonna he's gonna try to corner us by using these. Uh, you haven't read the context. You haven't read the foot, footnote. But again, when we like A.K. Shakespeare, when it comes to the crux of the matter, okay. If you know that the word Qadian is not in the Quran, clearly Mirza knew this as well. What is he trying to do here? What, what, he, he, what he wants to give the message, what he wants to yeah, say what, about this. Exactly, exactly. exactly. As, as Brother Adnan told him in the beginning, in his opening statement, that Mirza Ghulam Ahmed, a confused person, completely lost and he wants to confuse the others. Believe me, his all books, there is a repetition and all these things. You know, Brother Imtiaz, you have a lot of, and Brother Adnan, about Mirza Ghulam Ahmed, that he says that Allah never let me, if I'm on some misunderstanding or some mistake, Allah not let me for a shorter time to be on that. And he cleared me, right? On every now, now I give you a one thing, please keep in, in your presentations the next one that in Khutbah al Hamiya there is a one phrase, one sentence in Khutbah al Hamiya. He says, or such much mira rab mere saath hai, bachpan se lekar meri lahat tak. No, the MDs normally say, oh, Mirza Sahib, when they said that there is no Nabi, or when he was believing that Hadrat Isa was alive, when Allah told him, when Allah guided him, he changed, right? Here he's claiming that from my birth to the graveyard, Allah is with me. Let's go. No, the Arabic yes. is this one. Wa inna rabbi mai ila yomin lahdi wa min yomin mahad. O banda khuda jab wo padaish se leke kabar tak uske saath hai. To aap log keh rahe ho ke wo jab Allah ne usse thik kar diya. Allah ne to bachpan uske saath hai. Phir Allah kiyo nahi usko thik karta ra bachpan se hi. Absolutely. Or ye, ye, these questions are very important. Um, you can't just have your cake and eat it, as they say. You, you know, you can't claim one thing. They are playing words, to be honest. They are 100%. playing. And you know, shakes up for almost for almost for fifteen minutes. He was just saying there is something on other pages. Yeah. I said, look, you read all the ten yeah. pages. Tell us what this passage is saying. No, no. Look, we know that Mirza writes one thing on one page, and he contradicts it on the next page, and then he says something new on the third page, and then he has something else on the fourth page. He we always keeps the back door open. He where yes. he have to run away. Exactly. Okay. Now I think uh, Adnan by that uh, Ali uh, is ready. Ali, if you can just wave the hand if you are ready. Ali, uh, if you just wave the hand if you are ready to come on the stage. Ali, can you hear me? Ali Mirza? No, no, just, just wave the hand if you are ready to come because you, you, you wanted some time. Okay, thank you. No problem. Thank you very much. Yeah. So let me uh, share the screen again. So inshallah, we can continue from where we left off. Yes, Ali, uh, you wanted to explain this passage in the light of Reading all the other things around this passage. So, Bismillah, go ahead. How much time I have? One minute. <laughs> One minute is. Uh, give him, give him two minutes, uh, in yeah, yeah. Bhai, It's okay. Yeah, thank <laughs> you very much, uh, Sheikh Safar, for this your favor. Can I now speak? Okay, I give my why my one minute <laughs> to you. No problem. <laughs> You know, not I really appreciate. I, I, I am really thankful to you, Sheikh Saib, <coughs> for your uh, generous uh, behavior, attitude. <laughs> okay, now can I speak? <clears throat> no. We are waiting. <laughs> we are waiting. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, uh, when you will say yes, then I'll start my, you know, uh, speaking. So, okay. Uh, Ali, first of Ali, all, go uh, ahead, please. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, first of all, uh, you and me, we agree on that point. Okay, this is a revelation. This was not uh, mean a thing which uh, Mirza Sahib has uh, derived himself. 
And in his uh, dream or in his revelation, he has seen his uh, brother Kader. Okay. And Gulam Kader. Gulam, Gulam Kader. Yeah, Gulam Kader. He was reading Quran in the revelation, not in actual life. Okay. And then in the in the dream, he was reading Quran with the word Qadian. Okay. And then in the dream, his Hazrat Mirza Sahib thought that the date this word was actually uh, exist in the Quran. Okay, this is my first point. Now I'll just come to second point. As you know, Hazrat Imam Abu Hanifa, in his dream, he was standing on the Quran in the dream. Okay, you know that. But he was afraid. No, we don't know that. We no, don't know please, that. Please, please. Now let me just complete. And then he could not understand why I am standing on the Quran. And then he was collecting the bones of the body of in one of the dream, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa He was so afraid from that, then he uh, asked another uh, mean his, uh, in, uh, person about the explanation of that dream. And the third point, you know, Quran, uh, Allah Ta'ala sometimes, it is, this is Hadith Mubarak, and uh, Allah Ta'ala will say, when you know uh, in the time of um, during the time when the person will die and then Allah will ask him okay, I was uh, without cloth and you did not give me cloth I was <laughs> hungry and you did not uh, uh, give me mm. something to eat these are the things which need some explanation and the fourth point you know one time Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, he said I smell I mean, I, I, uh, uh, I felt the smell of God from Yemen, but that was not smell actually from the God. That was basically a person who loved with the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu So these are the things if, if you will take literally to them, then definitely you will drive. And same thing is being explained here. This was the dream. And this dream has been explained by Hazrat, Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmed Qadiani Sahib that these words, as he has explained in footnote in the previous page, that what I am saying, this is dream, these words are not actually, literally exist, exist in the Quran. So whenever something is a dream that needs some explanation, and he, he has mentioned that this is Tamsil, what I, what I'm talking about, that is tamsil, that is exemplary, that has relation with other city like Dmishk. And I think I have taken more than two minutes, and maybe you are not. I'm really thankful to that. Really no thankful. problem, brother in the Let me, me ask you. Yeah. Okay, let me now, ask you. There are there are many things okay. which no, no, I'm concluding within a few seconds. Okay. Okay. So if you will take them literally, so really we cannot reach the conclusion. Okay. We okay. must think okay, what uh, what he is talking about, mm -hmm. and then what explanation he is giving, Mr. Sahib. Okay. And we must uh, build uh, the foundation on the basis of all the revelation which has been revealed to the previous godly persons, Oliyah Karam. Then we can understand okay. these things. Okay. Otherwise, literally. We cannot understand. Thank you so much. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother Ali. Thank you so much. First of all, please clear me one thing: that yeah. is there a difference between Roya and Kashif? Khab or Kashif? I think. Uh, uh, mean. Uh, uh, is this uh, the 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 topic of today's discussion? Yeah, because you yeah. said, uh, yeah, Ali, because you said your first point was because Sheikh Saab want to discuss with you your first point because you said six points. Inshallah, I have note for all of them. Your first point was that this was a dream. Mirda Gulam Karyani says this was a kashaf. Now we want to understand, do you really know what is the difference or do you think are they same, khab and kashaf? Because you said it is dream no. or how? No, 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 mean... Uh... Uh, <clears throat> the dream of uh, uh, prophets is not mm -hmm. the same. Uh, yeah, it's yeah, not the like question, Ali. Ali, please Bro, understand the question. Yeah, don't say the Ali, different the, things. Yeah, please. Yeah, please. Yeah, yeah, Ali, the question is, Ali, the question is, you said that it was a dream. And dream in Urdu, 
we call either hop or ru'ya. There is the word hop or ru'ya in this one. Maybe, you know, I am not a person uh, of that level uh, of English literature. No, 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 no. I have not English literature. I have not said Ali Sahib. I have not said Roya. This is basically Urdu words. No. Ali Bhai, you claimed that this is a dream. You claimed, you claimed. Wait, wait, wait. Which word did you read in these pages that you are using as dream? Which word? These are basically revelations. Maybe I... Revelation is something. Revelation is not a dream. Yeah, yeah. Revelations, Revelations can come. Else. They can come through a dream, but they're not a dream. Revelations no, but, themselves but the, are. These were the. These were the. These were the things. So, so, so let's come what? to the crux of the matter. Okay. Let's, I mean, Sheikh Saab's question is very important. Yeah. Okay, the, but it's gonna it's gonna prolong the discussion, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, the, I'm the, I'm asking. Mirza is saying this is ilham. This is wahi. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Do you accept but, uh, that? Whatever he is saying, he is saying this is from God. Yes. So yes. this information, Inna Anzalnahu Kariban Min Al Qadian, is from Allah. Aapne, yes. Whatever you have said, Brother Ali, you based on the dream and the yeah. hub. Dream, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You, you based all that. But yeah. Mirza Saab has used the word Kashaf. The yeah. difference between the hub and Kashaf is this. Dream is completely when you are sleeping in a deep sleep. And Kashaf is when you are half sleep, half awakened. Did Correct. you get it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, if you have read Mirza Saab clearly, when he was in this condition, half awakened, half sleeping, he presented a paper to Allah for the sign and to sign Allah have thrown his pen and he got the red drips on his shirt. And when Mirza Saab is talking about the dream, Roya, about the two yellow sheets about Hadratisa, they are explaining or interpreting the yellow word into two illnesses. Now, you have to keep it in mind these things. Here, Mirza Saab has used the word kashf, that his brother is not in a kashf, kashfi condition, he is not seeing the kashf. Mirza Ghulam Ahmed is saying yep. for yep. himself. Keep it in mind. Yeah, I know that. So if you know, then he is reciting Quran loudly <clears throat> in which he used the word <clears throat> Kadiyan. In the kashf here. And Mirza Ghulam Ahmed looked at that. And he found the word Qadiyan and he said, in reality, I saw. Just like those, the red ink on his shirt. This condition is half sleeping, half awake. No, on the shirt, the red drops. What are the red drops in this? In this in so, you have not read that name that Abdullah Sunari gave. I know that. I know that. I, why, why, no, you are relating the other things. The no, main... you related that one about the ah, Roya. Check up. Check up one second. Check up one second. Yeah, you are okay, Ali, 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 wait. Ali, wait. Ali, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Let's stick with the point of why did you use the word hob or dream when, it, when this word was not there? Why did you do that? I was uh, translating in my own words, but actually these uh, these readings uh, are in Urdu, right? And this is not the question, Ali. The question is, why did you use the word dream? You you clearly know this much English, I'm sure. We all know this much English, that dream or harp or roya is something else and kashav is something else. Yeah, yeah, but I have not used uh, the same Urdu word. But okay, I must use uh, the word Kashaf instead. Revelation. Of, 
no no revelations are of three kinds according to quran but this is a type of revelation right yeah this is the type of revelation okay then use the word revelation next time in this passage don't use the word dream number one now simple question ali is we don't need to beat around the bush mirza ghulam qadiani is saying that according to his revelation in reality in the quran close to half of the page this text is found is it is this statement correct or not this statement is correct as long as the revelation is concerned if this statement is correct then show us in the quran no i am talking about as long as the revelation is concerned that's fine i accepted your point what i'm saying is there are two options ali if this revelation of inna anzalnahu qareeba min al qadiyan being found on the page of quran is if it is correct show us in the quran no 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 mean dreams are uh, revelations yes no dream here yes, yes, you give me a dream ay 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 revelations mean which are three yes. kinds of kashf of alham or wahi they needs explanation sometimes yes. same i will let you explain to... the first point mr gulam qadiani is making that this text is found in the quran it is clearly that in that after that you can explain that first of all you need to acknowledge either you show us in the quran or you need to acknowledge that this statement is wrong it's not in the quran you don't have third option okay do you know i have i don't know anything let's take the point brother please no, please point. i'm coming to that point let me please ask something from you as well i will i will let you ask any question but first let's please answer my question Now, look. if this is in, no, look, Mirza Ghulam Qadiyan is saying that Inna Anzalnahu Qareeb Min Al Qadiyan is in the Quran. If it is in the Quran, show us. If you and, can't and, show, at least, at least saying, you need to acknowledge it is in the Quran. And, and he's saying this, this is uh, this, this is, is not in the Quran. Yeah. This, yeah. this is not in the Quran. Okay. Okay. Wait. Wait. Okay. Now you are saying that it is not in the Quran, and Mirza Ghulam Qadiyan is saying it is in the Quran. Who's right? Who's wrong? but he is saying what was in the revelation he is saying that this revelation no, no, is in the quran no, no it does by one second it does by one second let me break it down let me break it down yeah. mirza has a vision kash yeah. or revelation call it what you like everything mirza, is mirza wait, wait 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 mirza has a kash vision revelation call it what you like that these words are in the quran in the in, in the, the vision oh, yeah in the vision in the vision which is from god right yeah, this vision is from many, god no wait, how wait, many wait, quran wait, are one, there one, one second hmm. it asked by one second this vision is from god right ali bhai is this vision from god yes it is from god the vision tells him that these words are in the quran in reality my dear but he has explained wait 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 step this is wait, before you before you explain to before you explain to me go, let's, go step, has, let's go step let's go step by step explained. yeah mirza is saying this is a kashf we all agree that it's a kashf mirza has written it it's a kashf yeah. okay kashf is a revelation you have already admitted so this is a revelation from god as per your claim because mirza was a prophet of god to you mirza's god reveals to him that this statement is in the quran okay so if mirza is a true prophet of god receiving true revelations you need to show us the statement in the quran now yeah. and uh, ali ali just one second please please look ali the very simple point is what mirza gulam qadiani was seeing in his vision or kashf was that true quran or a false quran because mirza gulam qadiani listen mirza ali listen please mirza gulam qadiani mirza gulam qadiani is seeing a quran in his kashf and in this quran this inna anzalnahu qareeb min al qadiyan is found now ali i'm sure that you agree with me there's only one quran either you see in the kashf in the dream or whatever a prophet cannot claim to have two quran so mirza gulam qadiani is saying that in the quran 
this this text is found inna anzalnahu qareeba min al-qadiyan so when were the gulam qadiyani saw that quran in the kashf was that a true quran or a false quran uh first uh, you tell me he has seen uh, in his vision uh, his brother gulam qadir okay sorry the mirza sahib has seen in his vision his uh, elder brother have you answered my question ali i'm coming if, to if, here. if, if you are sincere here. wait ali wait wait if you are sincere i will let you ask any question i promise to you but first you need to answer my question how yeah, many quran are there i'm coming okay, to okay how, how many quran are wait ali, ali wait 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 how many quran are there let me build the ground my dear i, I will let you build how many quran are there Quran is only one. Only one. When Mirza Ghulam Qadiani saw a Quran in the vision, was that same one Quran or different Quran? How many gods are there? Subhanallah. Ali, can you please answer the question? No, you said there's only one question Quran. My question Ali, wait, Ali, wait. Ali, no, Ali, look, no need to be emotional. You said there's only one Quran yeah. and Mirza Ghulam Qadiani is seeing a Quran in his kashif and in that Quran, there is a verse inna anzalnahu qareeba min al qadiyan now you agree with me either you see in a kashif or in re in real life whatever there's only one quran now you are trying to hide behind the word kashif or whatever My, okay. it's only one quran it's only one quran is this is this line found in the quran these lines are not found in the quran in the real and why mirza gulam qadiyani said they are found in the quran no I'll, can I explain that Yes, please. How many times? How much time you are giving me? One Ali, minute? please answer the question. Okay, one minute. Can I have one minute? Please, go ahead. Yeah, at least I must complete my statement. I have time. Okay, I, your, your time start now. Please go ahead. That's good. Thanks. <clears throat> Mirza Sahib has seen his elder brother Qadir in the dream, but actually he was not his elder brother his name Qadr, Ghulam Qadr, and he has uh, in Tamsil related his uh, his uh, his uh, brother to Qadr Mutlaq, God. I mean, basically, he was Qadr Mutlaq, which he has explained there. Not his brother, but he was God. And God was reading the Quran, he has explained there. Allah. I mean, even his brother was oh, not oh, real brother. Jaan, oh, by John, Ghulam Qadir or Qadir me aapko, Al Qadir me fark nahi aapko pata cha. He pata. has explained, my dear. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. This is Ghulam Qadir. So is Mirza, call, is Mirza calling God Ghulam Qadir? No, 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 no. Hmm. The explanation of the vision. Listen, listen, the more you will dig, the deeper you will go and and the, me, and the yeah, more yeah. difficult it will be you are just not by let him speak for one minute and not let him okay. speak okay, okay. Ali, please okay. go ahead okay okay, okay. Yeah. ali go ahead go ahead in ali. the previous page the completely and in very easy word he has explained what i am saying is not literal that is tamseel he has related kadian to dimishik he has related his brother to God, Qadir Mutlaq. And he has related this Quran that was in the dream. That was not the real Quran. He has given oh, wow. seal to that. And I have given a example that when Abu Hanifa, Imam Abu Hanifa -Islam, was collecting the boons of Holy Prophet -Islam, that you cannot take literal, my dear. If you, will you take them literal, that's why these many many oliyas who are who was uh, mean seen visions and Ali, you don't need to defend the oliyas your point is finished this, let me let this me is not that. relevant to this one check the one minute check the one minute things are okay, relevant Ali, to this if Ali, look, Ali, look, Ali, Ali, look you made your point and now the answer you have given to us subhanallah you said that the quran mirza gulam ka look, look you said that the quran was being recited by al qadir allah and subhanallah and then you said but that was not the real quran my what do you mean by that my dear is, is that what real quran when how many quran are oh bhai how many quran are there 
No, when Hazrat Amar oh, Wait, how many Quran are there? One. Okay, when Allah was, according to you, when Allah was reciting the Quran, was that true Quran or a false Quran? My dear, that was in oh, bhai, When Allah was reciting the Quran, was that true Quran or a false Quran? Okay, now when Hazrat Amar Abu Hanifah. When Allah was reciting Ali, no, no, Ali, no, it's enough. In the dream, when Allah was, look, you said Allah was the one. Not Hulam Qadir, Al Qadir was reciting the Quran. And previously you admitted that is only one Quran. So when Allah was reciting the Quran, when Al Qadir was reciting the Quran, was that a true Quran or a false Quran? Do I have one question from you? No. First answer my question. False or true? When Al Qadir was reciting the Quran, was that true Quran or false Quran? My simple answer is vision is when Al Qadir was reciting the Quran, was that true Quran or false Quran? But the things were true. When Al Qadir was reciting Quran, was it true Quran or false Quran? My dear, why you are uh, just. No, no, uh, Ali, wait, Ali, wait, please. Respect our time as well. Ali, wait, please answer the question. When Al Qadir was reciting the Quran, was that true Quran or false? First, you gave me answer my question. Then I will answer. Do you want to answer? You want to go? No. Mean one question I have. When Al Qadir was reciting the Quran, was that true or false Quran? No, no. You are not. Are you when Al Qadir was of, reciting the Quran, of was that true or false? Okay, uh, you gave me gave me answer of uh, one my question. When Al Qadir was reciting the Quran, was it true Quran or false Quran? One Quran. That when Quran, Al Qadir was reciting yeah. Quran, was that, that true Quran, Quran or false Quran? That the things were true, but that was in vision. So you said that it was true Quran, right? No, no, the Quran in vision. Why? If you see Quran in vision, is that true Quran or false Quran? In explanation, both are true. If you see Quran in vision, is it the true Quran literally, or false Quran? Literally, the two are different, but in explanation, both are same. How many Quran are there? Quran is one. Okay. So where, when Al Qadir was reciting Quran, he was reciting that same one Quran, right? You are making vision with Ali. Him. There is only one Quran. There is only one Quran. You know that. And when Al Qadir no, was no, reciting no. Quran, was Al Qadir reciting that same one Quran or not? My Why are you hesitant, Ali? Why are you hesitant, Ali? I am not telling. hesitating. I am not so hesitating. just simply say there is why only you, one Quran why, and true Quran. My dear, why you are not sometimes giving answer which is related to this question? Ali, bhai. You, know, you believe no, on that. No, you Ali. believe when, on when that. Al Qadir was reciting the Quran, Ali, simple question. When Al Qadir, you said there is only one Quran. My simple question is when Al Qadir was reciting the Quran, was Al Qadir reciting that same one Quran? or not i told you my dear many times okay, that both qurans literally were not same you said that you look to wait 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 you said there's only one quran, no, you're, saying quran. Saying both, quran. you're saying yeah. both quran no, no. you just there said there are quran. one quran but there are many many explanation about that oh bhai no, i am asking you the quran which allah was reciting was that same one true quran or not Literally not. So Allah was reciting a different Quran? A metaphorical Quran. As long as meaning, Quran. As long as meaning and explanation is Ali, 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 how many Quran are there? One. Okay, when Al Qadir was reciting Quran, was Al Qadir reciting same one true Quran or not? No. How many Quran are there? One. Okay, when Al Qadir was reciting Quran, which Quran Al Qadir was reciting? As long as explanation is concerned. Which Quran Al Qadir was reciting, not reciting. Ali, Ali, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Enough, enough of this. Wait, wait, wait. Ali, bhai, it's time for you. It's time for you to accept. You are your, wasting your... much time. No, no, no. Ali, bhai, uh, can you? It's yeah. time for you to admit and accept that you are upon kufr deliberately. 
वो कहते हैं ना कि खुद जान बूझ के कुफर करना जान बूझ के नोइंग वर्ल्ड ठीक है ब्रदर ब्रदर वेट अली 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 भाई यस यस इट इज क्लियर नाउ टू एवरीवन लिसनिंग एंड वाचिंग दैट यू आर डिलीबरेटली दैट गाय केम and he left the stream as soon as he realized that he doesn't have answers he just went quiet left the stream now you're giving you're not giving answers to straight questions there is only one quran we all know that okay and in that quran these words are not there so mirza is claiming from a revelation that these words are there and they're not there even if it's a vision so in 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 his vision mirza is receiving a new quran or mirza is receiving an addition to the quran at least admit that much okay do you accept that mirza in his vision his revelation received an additional verse to the quran yes or no uh adran bhai now uh, i think if you will give a answer of my question first so then uh, the answer of uh, my okay, question go, will be go ahead what's your question yeah, will be will be come in the answer uh, okay what's your question yeah, what's your question, question very quickly that, yeah okay, there was a, a vision and uh, that vision is being related to imam abu hanifa okay i'll Our stop imam you there I'll, i'll deal with you and he imam was uh, imam abu, abu hanifa imam abu hanifa is not source of our religion Imam Abu Hanifa was one of the imams. Uh, with the, okay, Imam Abu Hanifa was one of the imams. No, 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 no. He no, is no. not. No, 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 no. Wait, wait. Mirza Ghulam Ahmed Qadiani is a prophet to you. Imam Abu Hanifa is not a prophet to us. Adnan, I reject... ask him this. Adnan, I yeah. ask yeah. him so, this question. So, so don't go there. We are not Adnan, relating personalities. Imam Abu Hanifa. Ali, we are not relating personalities. We are relating. Ali, wait. You all wait, please. Is did Imam Abu Hanifa receive revelation? Did he? Yes. Good question. Tell us that vision. Did Imam Abu Hanifa receive yeah, revelation? Yeah, it's a waste of time. It's a waste of time. Imtiaz Bhai, it's a waste of time. Maybe we can get take someone else in. Ali Bhai, thank you so much for joining us. So uh, Ali, think, before think you go, good. before you go, Ali, you are all banking at one point of Abu Hanifa, and you know very well. Imam Abu Hanifa did not receive revelation. Mirza Ghulam Qadiani received revelation. These two yes. things are different. We don't believe Imam Abu Hanifa to be a prophet. We don't. You're muted. You're muted. Ali, you're, you're muted, muted, Ali. Khan. I think you are. You want to go, Ali, or if you want to, because you said that you want to say something before going. I only I I even though you, even though you I have been very dishonest. Listen, listen. Today you have been very dishonest. I have to say this. Okay, I let you speak still. No problem. Now definitely you will take another person. Then uh, in the last, uh, I mean, uh, a couple, not a couple of minutes, maybe in last seconds, I will just conclude. Uh, Uh, on that point yeah, my dear visions always need explanation briefly speaking okay uh, thank you very much okay okay thank, thank you. you so much but to take my one word vision the let of me the one prophet let vision me speak after ali ali, ali bhai yeah. please vision of the prophet is always true yeah keep it in mind yeah yeah it's revelation is a revelation i trust you no it does not the explanation mm. now if you will explain and he will z will abc will different doesn't make sense to any sense little sense or uh, need explanation uh, i think it's enough for today no, let me come, let me, no, yeah. no 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 we are not we, we don't want Why to continue Ali? for it's the sake of today. allah yeah. for the sake of allah just remember one thing either you recite either a prophet recite in a vision or kashaf or reality there's only one quran and in that one quran this verse is not found case so, is simple simple very simple no for them it's not simple no no it's for them yeah, yeah for them. of course enough yeah. for them for, for them for them it's, it's they've been exposed to this kufr for the first time in their lives they've never been challenged like this before they don't know what to do Okay, they're trying to be clever. They're trying to spin. Uh, they want they to make... play on both sides. Yeah, 
Yeah, they are they are trying to make excuses for a very difficult person to defend. So we have to be we have to be patient. I we request from all the audience to be patient because I know people get frustrated by repeated questioning and mm. repeated answers, same answers, same questions. We are doing this exercise to show you yeah. that these people, many of them, they don't want to believe. They know it's kufr. They know it's bakwas. They know it's gibberish. It's rubbish. Okay. They still want to defend it. But there are those who want to believe. And there are those who are coming to accept Islam. There are those who are coming to actually reject Islam. Mm -hmm. So let it be. We're not going to guide everyone. We're not going to convince everyone. If Rasulullah, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu the most sincere man to walk the planet, okay, uh, could not convince everyone in his own family, who mm. the hell are we? Who are we? Exactly. Right? We can only we can only try. We can only yeah. try to yeah. show. So I think I think if it's a if it's a Fezani Ahmadiyat, this obviously has brought some fast to us. Okay, please share the fast. Maybe we should move on to another lie of Mirza and 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 discuss that now. Move on to the Sarkari Muslim. I am what do you mean, Sarkari Muslim? Sarkari Muslim always lies. Aap Urdu mein baat karenge ya English mein karenge? Agar Urdu mein karenge. English mein. English. Imran, uh, Imran, just listen one point. I know that you are used to some different platforms. You are here for the first time. Okay. Uh -huh. No gas lighting, no nothing. Okay. Hmm. You are you only came here for a discussion. Let's discuss, agree or disagree. There's no need to go off topic. Okay. So now uh, no, if he if he doesn't stay on topic, we will okay, we will ask him to leave. No problem. There's no problem. Yeah. Politely. And yeah. Fazan Saab, Sarkari yeah. Muslim Hamlogni, uh, we are not Sarkari Muslim. We're not government Muslims. Mirza Ghulam Qadiani was the British colonial government Muslim, as he claimed. Himself. You can ask okay. uh, uh, Snau Lamrat Sari. Hello, yeah. uh, Imran. Please answer this one. Okay, it's yeah. on the screen right now. Let me let me display, and we don't, you know, you yeah. to go off topic. Okay, please read the hadith and show us the from the hadith, please. Read this one. Read this one. Translate this one, and then show us the hadith. Mm -hmm. Imran, can you please can you please read and translate for the viewers and then show us? जी जी पढ़े अब वाज़े हो के अहदीसें नबिया में ये पेश गई की गई है कि आ हज़रत सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम की उम्मत में से एक शख्स पैदा होगा जो ईसा इब्ने मरियम कहलाएगा और नबी के नाम से मासूम किया जाएगा। Now translate it. और ईसा और इब्ने मरियम के नाम से Isa or Ibn Maryam Kalaga, Nabig and Amsa Masum Kiajaga. Mary English is neither perfect Let me translate for you. Let me translate for you so you can know, people can know what the what is mentioned here. Okay. Abwazeho, let it be clear. Ahadis and Nabuya may a Pishin Goiki Gaye. There's a prophecy in Ahadis. Ahazrat. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ki ummat me se ek shaks peda hoga. Now, this is the prophecy that a person will be born. A person hmm. will be born in the ummah of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That's the first point. Jo Isa or Ibn Maryam kehlaega. It means that he won't be Isa and Ibn Maryam. He will be called only as Isa and Ibn Maryam. That is second point. Third point is. Hmm. Or Nabi ke naam se mausoom kiya jayega, which means that he is not a prophet, but he will be called as a prophet. Okay. Now there are three things. Let's go one by one. First, you need to bring the hadith. Inshallah, I can share the screen as well. If you want to share the screen, no problem. The first point is a person will be born in the ummah of Prophet Muhammad according to the hadith. Show us the hadith. ठीक. जितनी भी हदीसें हैं जिनमें ईसा इब्न मरियम के आने का जिक्र है. We want to see one hadith, जी not जी uh, Muslim ki jo tahtar, tahtar hai. Aap usko khol Okay, read it. Read it. Chale, main deta, main khol, main deta. And you need to read this particular uh, text in that one that hmm. a person will be born in the Ummah of Prophet Muhammad. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. 
Now it says that there is a prophecy in a hadith. And what is the prophecy? The first point of the prophecy is a person will be born in the Ummah of Prophet Muhammad. Either shows this, this first part or acknowledge that this is not found in the hadith. One of two things. Ji. अब आपकी बात कंप्लीट हो गया तो मुझे बोलने no, दें फिर जी बात नहीं ना भाई बात ही क्वेश्चन है क्वेश्चन है तो क्वेश्चन का जवाब बोलने देंगे तो दूंगा ना अदनान भाई आप, अदनान भाई, भाई म्यूट है आपका अदनान भाई म्यूट सॉरी आपने जहां पर ये जो किताब का हवाला लगाया है ये बात ये बयान की जा रही है मफूमन एग्जैक्ट ये नहीं कहा जा रहा कि हदीस में ये अल्फाज हैं यहां पर कहीं लिखा हुआ है कि हदीस में ये अल्फाज यहां तो ये नहीं लिखा जा रहा है ये लिखा हुआ है बयान कर रहे हैं हदीसों का मफूम अच्छा मैं आपको इस तरह की इबारतें हजारों दे सकता हूं अहमद रजा खान बरेलवी साहब की कुतब से दे सकता हूं उस्ना अल्लाह अमरी साहब के दे सकता हूं ओ मेरे भाई ओ अहमद रजा बरेलवी भाई ओ भाई आपके पास आपके पास कुछ भी नहीं है मिर्जे को बचाने के लिए अभी दे रहे हैं कुछ मतलब क्या नहीं है एक मिनट एक मिनट आप भागेंगे पूरी दुनिया में हम भागेंगे कि आप भागेंगे यार हम इधर बैठे हुए यार कोई लड़ाई नहीं अदनान भाई ये सिर्फ टाइम जाया आपको डाइवर्ट करने लड़ाई झगड़े के लिए कि आप अपनी माँ से हट जाएं क्योंकि जैसा मैंने आपसे अर्ज किया था दिस दिस प्रोग्राम्स एक्चुअली वर्किंग वेरी डीपली एंड अहमदीज आर स्केयर्ड दैट इफ दे विल लिसन यू गाइस मोर दे विल हैव ए लॉट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम सो दे वॉन्ट टू डाइवर्ट so let's we not waste on the time shak sab how shak sab how unfortunate is there it clearly says that in a hadith there's a prophecy that a person will be born he says right. no it's mafhum yeah. subhanallah izar bhai assalam alaikum wa alaikum assalam how are you my brothers alhamdulillah bhai mai isha i i had gone for isha when my other son alhamdulillah all three of my sons are now not ahmadis Alhamdulillah. One of my sons in London said, uh, "Baba, you should go." And uh, you know, I I wanted to say uh, first of all that I feel sorry for people like Nasir or and uh, uh, Ali Saab. Ali. Um, uh, I, I either Ali is naive, or he's trying to waste your precious time, because uh, I have always given the example. If you ask the Ahmadis, you know. Uh, where does the sun rise from every morning uh, they will give you a complete run around and give you a history in astronomy a lesson in astronomy and in that fog uh, the initial question will disappear yeah. and so the example is like that but if you allow me i want to give another example of which is please, very important mm -hmm. recently you may have heard that in pakistan the ahmadis made a big fuss that in rabwa their publication uh, their press has been uh, sealed and they're not allowed to print quran and very few people know the reason for that and i did some research because i have with me uh, and uh, uh, i'm sure uh, sheikh saab will know as well uh, molvi mohammad ali who was the one of the instigators of the lahori jamaat yeah yeah one of the more intelligent of the ahmadis because the intelligent educated ahmadis left as you may know uh, sheikh saab will know from yeah. the history um the uh, qadiani jamaat and left mirza bashiruddin to run the roost in in yes. qadian so firstly molvi muhammad ali was a man who mirza ghulam ahmed regarded as his right hand man he actually yes. gave him a house to stay in yes he arranged his marriage he was the first editor of a very interesting magazine called review of religion and his english was so good that the um, most people thought that mirza saab has an englishman hidden somewhere in his house who's mm -hmm. actually writing these articles mm -hmm. but to come to the point i want to make mirza uh, sahab and molvi nuruddin commissioned molvi muhammad ali to translate the quran in english mm -hmm. and i have to say that that translation is very similar to our translation in that uh, take for example surah baqara you know this is the second uh, surah of our quran sharif and uh, the fourth ayat according to ahmadis if my ahmadi brothers and sisters are listening that will be your fifth ayat because you yeah. count bismillah yeah in they include the bismillah yeah. but interestingly mm -hmm. molvi muhammad ali did not include did not. bismillah yeah 
تو بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ولزین یومنون بما انزلہ علیکا و ما انزلہ من قبلک و بالآخرت ہم یقنون So this is very clear ayat which means which translates and those who believe this Allah Ta'ala is talking about people who will be rewarded and who believe in that which has been revealed to thee Azu Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and that which was revealed before thee i.e. the true Torah and the true Injil and of the hereafter Akhira is hereafter and mm. Mirza uh, and Mawlvi Muhammad Ali actually specifically says and he confirmed it with Mawlvi Nuruddin because when this by the time this translation came Mawlvi Nuruddin was the Khalifa mm. that for this ayat hereafter or Akhira cannot mean anything else but the mm. hereafter yes, yes. Mm. Mm. so what did the Ahmadis do for which they are being prosecuted in Pakistan Mirza Tahir in his new edition made that translation as follows now listen akhira even i don't know arabic but i know akhri akhira means the end yes hereafter mirza tahir got this translated into aur jo maud baaton pe yakeen rakhte yes. hain yani which means akhira has certainly been translated into and those who also believe in that which is yet to come and uski taf- and the tafsir of that that the ahmadis make is that that to come was none other than Mirza Ghulam Ahmed. <laughs> Mirza Ghulam Ahmed also features in Surah Juma, chapter yes. 62. And this is the worst translation. You know, I have many, many brothers where I live who are scholars, I would say, in, in, in Quran. Our own Imam, Alhamdulillah, he's from Gaza. Please pray for him because 21 of his family members have died and yet he stands straight every day. Five Jamaat. His name is Imam Ibrahim. Please pray for him. So, and he's got sabr, such sabr that he was showing me photos of his family who have died and I started crying and he was smiling. He said, his heart, why are you crying? These are shuhada. Hmm. I, I was digressing. So I've asked many of my Ahmadi, uh, non-Ahmadi uh, Muslim Arab speakers who know the Arabic language like the back of their hand. And he was laughing almost. He, all he says was subhanallah. When I tell him about Muhammad Begum, he says subhanallah. When I tell him about uh, this mistranslation, he says, Subhanallah. Uh, and when I tell him about Surah Juma, uh, they regard the Akhirina Minhum as Mirza Ghulam Ahmed, who is to come. Mm. Oh, bhai. Mm. Uh, you know, it is simple Arabic. It basically means that at the time of Azu Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, to start mm. with, Ahmadis, uh, sorry, uh, uh, Muslims were mostly Arabs. And later on, others will join us. Yeah, yes, Who yes. are those others? They are the Persians, for example. Then they yeah. go on about Salman Farsi. He put his hand yeah. on his... Bhai, Imam Abu Hanifa was Persian. Imam yeah. Ghazali was Persian. Yes. Mirza Ghulam Ahmed wasn't even Persian. You know what Mirza Ghulam Ahmed said about that? He said that, Mujhe ilham hua ke mein Persian. Astaghfirullah. Mm. <laughs> then he says, Mujhe ilham hua ke I'm related to Hazrat Fatima. Mm. Eh? Yeah. So, Ahmadis will create out of nothing yeah. a whole scene. Yeah. And the poor, uh, ordinary Ahmadis, and I'm uh, Alhamdulillah, the other good news is that uh, thanks to Imtiaz Bhai and Adnan Bhai's uh, live streams, one Ahmadi from, uh, I was, I'm pleased to say, ex Ahmadi now from England, and another mm-hmm. ex Ahmadi lady from America have, Alhamdulillah, taken the shahada and are Allah no longer Allah. Ahmadis. Allah. And uh, Allah. please pray for my family as well. So, Imtiaz Bhai and Adnan Bhai and Sheikh Saab, Quran Sharif, the mistranslation and misinterpretation of the Quran Sharif is a great sin. gunah hmm. kabira And what they say then is that, look, somebody else did this tafsir. Yeah. I, don't, hmm. I don't care if somebody else did a wrong tafsir. Quran Sharif also says, even in Surah Baqarah, that there will be people who will mistranslate and misinterpret the Quran, mm. you know, and this is what they did with the Torah and with the Anjil. So my, uh, my dear Ahmadi brothers and sisters, please, please open your eyes, read these texts. I suggest go and read Mirza uh, Maulvi Muhammad Ali. You know, if anyone was closer to Sunni Islam, it was Maulvi Muhammad Ali. Sadly, he also believed that Mirza Saab was the promised Messiah, which is where his kufr comes. Yes. So may Allah give hidayat and Again, I was listening um, on the way back on the radio, your live stream, and someone called Nasir or Nasir. And yeah. you asked him a very simple question. Mm. 
And uh, I think I, to give him the benefit of doubt, maybe it was technical problems. Mm -hmm. But uh, mm -hmm. I request <laughs> Nasser to contact me through Imtiaz Bai or any other Ahmadi uh, Ahmadis yes. who have any questions. Yes. And yeah. please pray for there are many Ahmadis who are in regular contact with me now, thanks to these my Mashi, Mashi, who I am trying to give tabligh. And please pray that Allah, Allah gives them hidayat. Amin, amin. amin. Yeah. You know, Izhar, by look how how strange is that? The, the the point is Ali Mirza was acknowledging again and again that there is only one Quran. Now either Mirza read in Kashif, Ilham, Khabar, Khob, whatever. There's only one Quran. And in that one Quran, this verse is not found. Case closed. Yes, absolutely. And I've just seen a comment that Muhammad Ali's Quran was sold from the Woking Mosque. Is correct that the Woking Mosque was uh, taken over by uh, uh, Malvi Muhammad Ali. What yes. is very interesting, there's a very good book by one of the Lahoris called A Mighty Striving, mm. which is the biography of uh, Malvi Muhammad Ali. And okay. if Ahmadis read that book, forget about me, forget about Imtiaz Bhai, Adnan Bhai, A.K. Sheikh Saab, it proves, he proves that Mirza Ghulam Ahmad was not a prophet. Right. He, you know, and uh, they give so many references. And earlier on, Sheikh Saab had said that in the Khutbah al Hamia, Mirza Sahib said that I have not been on error and Allah has been with me and guided me since my, chi since my childhood. So the excuse and the ruse that Ahmadis put forward that, oh, at that time, Mirza Saab didn't know that Hazrat Isa was uh, still alive, uh, uh, dead, sorry. At that time, Mirza Saab didn't know that more prophets would come in. But later on, Allah Ta'ala, by later on, 1901, that's a seven years before he died, he makes uh, again an ambiguous, totally confusing pamphlet called Ek Galti Ka Azala, in which he has completely mind-bogglingly oh. confused everyone. Mm. And in the end, and also, has there ever been a prophet uh, 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 ever sent by Allah who claimed his prophethood when one of his followers questioned whether he's a prophet or not? Mm. If you read the first paragraph of that, A Ghaltika Zala, which Ahmadi says is a book, but it's a 25 page pamphlet. Mm. 16 pages. <laughs> yes, yeah, 16. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, thank you for mm. correcting me. So, in the beginning, he says, the reason I'm writing this is because one of my MD followers asked another MD followers, is Mirza Saab a prophet? Mm. And so, therefore, I'm writing. So, has there ever been a prophet? All mm. prophets are messengers of Allah Ta'ala, who no longer there will be no other messengers who came. Uh, in Urdu, we say, Babange, the hell, they used to announce that mm. they are the prophet of Allah. Yes. Aunt so, Uttala, so, Uttala so, stood yes. on a hill and, and said, you know, you know, uh, as as you said, Izhar that in 1901 to 2, he is writing a Ghalti ka Izala. Ten years before that, he was writing Izala to Oham. Yes. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> every great. ten years, he need to correct himself every ten years. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So, and then, remember, you talked about Kadian as mentioned in a false... Uh, first of all, I was very shocked that Mr. Ali, uh, Astaghfirullah, Nauzubillah, it's even hard to say that, regards his brother and compares him with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yeah. Yes. Uh, this, this, this is bordering on shirk. Ghulam Qadir ko Al Qadir bina diya. And Ghulam. I think this was the same Ghulam Qadir who Mirza Saab proudly said fought with the yes. British against the yeah. Muslims yeah. and yeah. the Indians yeah. in the 1857 mutiny. So he's nowhere near Allah. But the point I was this, trying this is, to make... This is the same thing as the Christians. They say the son of God is God. Exactly. Jesus, exactly. Jesus is the son of God exactly. and he's also God. Mm -hmm. so, I sometimes Quran, wonder Quran if Mirza Qadir Saab was a hidden Christian because yes. he, he just <laughs> loved he, the Bible. He was, he was the atheist. No. Yes. Yes. And, yeah, but yeah. coming on a serious matter, the last point I wanted to make was Qadian uh, was mentioned in that false kashif <laughs> as, as Nauzubillah mentioned in the Quran. Remember there's a hadith that the Mahdi will be buried in Medina. Yeah. And Mirza Saab died in Lahore, and yeah. um, uh, he, uh, the, the uh, Ahmadis also say that Lahore is like Medina. Why Lahore? How is Lahore Medina? <laughs> you know, so these are the sort of uh, con uh, confusing uh, misinformation, oh. misinterpretations that Ahmadis have flooded the internet with. They have this thing called, M Achha, people who are in discussion with me, and I respect them, Whenever I mention a topic, we discuss things topic by topic. I take prophecies, I take the claim of uh, Mirza Saab as prophet, and I take Mafate Masih. These three things I take, 
And when I give them a prophecy, immediately within seconds, the naive Ahmadi will come back with any answers. By any answers, well, they don't even read it. Yes. And it is they think that because any answers has provided an answer, then that should be correct. And then I have to read the whole thing and then give them more information that this any answers is a further delusion and misinterpretation of yes, the absolutely. question. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Imtiaz Bhai has put up a very interesting quote here, which yeah. reads, Pehle nabiyon ki kitabon aur hadith nabiyah mein likha hai, Masih Mohud ke zahur ke wakt, ye intashar, intashar e nuraniyat, is had tak hoga ke orton ko bhi ilham shuru ho jayega, aur na balik bachche nabuot karenge, aur awamun na surhul kudus se bolenge. Okay. So, this is, <laughs> this is also another claim by Mirza Sahib, that... Yeah. It is it is written in uh, previous uh, the books of the previous prophets, uh, and also mentioned in the hadith and the Okay, that when Masih Mahud appears, uh, women will receive revelations, and even uh, uh, infants will uh, claim prophethood, and general normal people will be talking to Ruhul Qudus, which is Jibrail. Okay, so I mean, look, this guy who came before uh, Dr. Izar uh, came on the stream, he was saying that this is all uh, mafum. Okay, where's the mafum in this? Where are those? <laughs> where are those hadiths where these things are mentioned? That women will receive revelations and nabalik uh, infants will claim prophethood. So this is Mirza. Adnan bhai, Adnan bhai, the question is the question to Ahmed is. Name for us that one Nabalik Bacha who became Nabi. Yes. Astaghfirullah. Yeah. Uh, Adnan Bhai, they will have an answer. Wait five uh, days or so, there will be an answer. And it will yes. be completely mind-boggling nonsense. Yes. A total mass of confusion uh, is just suddenly yeah, thrust will, upon us. They will say this is not to be taken literally. They will probably put up a kid somewhere like... Uh, no, in Adnan, Bhai, in, in, Adnan Bhai, they will say, believe me, they, I tell you, Hmm. That the Mirza wrote in his book that hmm. Hazrat Isa spoke in hmm. cradle. Yes. But my son talked from the mother's womb. Hmm. Is that the son who was married when he was seven years old to a two year old? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's another very interesting story because <laughs> yes. that that girl eventually caught the eye of the second Khalifa, yes. who okay. then married her when she was 15, saying that she's a widow. And in mm. Punjabi culture, people don't usually marry widows. So I'm doing her a favor mm. by marrying her. And guess mm. whose son was that woman's son? Was Mirza mm. Tahir Ahmed. OK. So Mirza Tahir is, uh, is that uh, that woman's uh, uh, son. So this is a very interesting story, Adnan Bhai. Mirza mm. Sahib claimed, remember the Muslim mouth prophecy. Mm -hmm. So firstly, there was this obsession with male progeny throughout mm -hmm. Ahmadi history. Even mm -hmm. Khalifa, the fourth Khalifa made a homeopathic medicine. And mm -hmm. he said that if a woman takes it after conception, mm -hmm. after mm -hmm. the act has happened and mm -hmm. the, babe, the, the embryo is implanted, mm -hmm. take this homeopathy and it will become a boy. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, the story about <laughs> Mirza Mubarak is that Mirza Saab got this son, which sadly and very unfortunate, at the age of seven or eight, he became very unwell. Probably by the with the plague, we don't know what it was. Mm -hmm. And so there's an old uh, uh, Punjabi um, Sheikh Saab might know uh, uh, rasam or ritual that if a child is very unwell, do a nikah with a girl. So they found this two-year-old girl mm. and they did a nikah with him mm. thinking that this will save the boy. Unfortunately, um, it is Allah's he will. Couldn't, he couldn't survive. He didn't survive, sadly, mm. Mm. and uh, which is very unfortunate for any mm. parent. But mm. the girl who was only two or three years old became a widow. Mm. Mm. Now, 15 years later, she was seen and spotted by guess whom? Mirza Bashiruddin mm. Mahmood Ahmed, the second mm. Khalifa. And mm. he said, Ke ye ladki kaun hai? because she was wearing white clothes, mm. because she had become technically a widow. Mm. So mm. uh, this is the kind of shenanigans. And Mirza Saab was very superstitious. Mm. Once mm. Imam Deen, you know, Imam Deen was his cousin against whom he had major rifts. And Imam mm. Deen started his own uh, cult. 
Yes. Called the um, and he was the preacher for the Churas, the Churas. Chude 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 yeah. Chude and, <laughs> but Imam Deen became uh, <laughs> developed a very high fever, and Imam okay. Deen's wife came to Mirza because Mirza was a self-proclaimed physician as well. Hmm. He was hmm. a quack actually; it was quackery. Hmm. And hmm. you know the treatment he gave? He hmm. said, "Ke slaughter a, a hen, and this is not a joke, and tie it to his head." And that's the treatment for this. So he also this is more. The, this is this is more like a satanic ritual. Uh, no, than, I have always it. said that if I ever Allah gives me the chance, I'd like to make a Netflix series about the life of Mirza Ghulam yeah. Ahmed. It will be a hit, honestly. Hmm. Hmm. It would be. It would for be sure, a comedy as well. Sure. It would be a <laughs> comedy as well. I mean, yeah, he, but, you know, but, when he was trying to kill Abdullah Atham, he actually went outside of Qadian and threw some. Uh, some dal, <laughs> dal. Some yeah, stuff in chane, on chane, which, chane, on chane, which, chane, so this is very interesting. Abdullah <laughs> Atam was supposed to die on the fifth of September, or yeah. thereabouts, because that was the fifteen-month prophecy. Mirza had uh, Saab had early uh, lost a debate to Abdullah Atam, yeah, hmm. because Abdullah Atam was a Christian convert hmm. who who debated with him. They call it the Jange Azim, but it was no hmm. such thing. So hmm. What Jange happened Mukaddas. was that Jange Jange Mukaddas. Mukaddas. Jange Mukaddas. Jange Mukaddas. Jange Mukaddas. Sorry, the holy, war. Or, yeah, the holy war. The holy war. So, what did the the coup uh, de grace or the final coup de grace to Mirza Saab was that Atam said to him that you claim to be Jesus for the second hmm. coming of Jesus, hmm. and Mirza Saab said yes. So he brought these cripples and blind people, and he said Jesus used to make these people well. Why don't you do that? Mm. And that was the end of the debate. Mm. So Mirza mm. Saab then said that within 15 months, this man will die. Mm. So on the appointed date, when Abdullah Atam was supposed to die, mm. somebody's wife had a dream. One of his mm. followers' wife had a dream that get this black dal. You know, there's a dal type of dal. Yeah. And mm. read Alam Tara Kef on it so mm. many times. And yeah. then throw it into an abandoned well. Mm. And don't look back and just don't race back. back towards Kadian. <laughs> so Mirza Saab said that we've got to do this. And mm. there were people who actually fell for this. Mm. They took mm. this dal, mm. I don't know how many grains, and mm. on each grain they read Alam Tara Kef, then went to an abandoned well, threw the thing, the dal in the well, and then they came running back uh, without looking towards the well. My, fa my, my father's family, my father's family was involved in that. Oh, it's interesting. <laughs> wow. so, um, Abdullah Seriously. Atam didn't die. Yeah. Mm. So many Ahmadis then left uh, Mirza Saab's following. Mm. Mm. And guess what excuse they had then? Mm. Mirza mm. Saab came out of his room into the masjid. And he said, why are you guys disappointed and crying? Allah mm. has told me that Abdullah Atam in his heart has begged <laughs> forgiveness. <laughs> Subhanallah. You know, Just I can believe anything. Mirza Saab could sell um, an Inuit, a refrigerator or a freezer. Hmm. Or, hmm. You know, that's the sort of... You know, yeah, Izar, I mean, bhai, Izar bhai, because you mentioned about uh, the Prophet, now this is the acknowledgement and admission of Mirza Bashiruddin Mahmood himself. He says that, Ahmadiyya Jamaat mein mein dekha hai ke jis kisi ka damaag kharaab ho jata hai wo nabi aur wali ban jata hai no. he says that in ahmadiyya jamaat mm. second mm. caliph says in ahmadiyya jamaat i have seen that if somebody has gone crazy he becomes a prophet or a saint hamare madrasa mein khalifa hamse awwal ke zamana mein ek chaprasi tha jiska naam mohammad bakhsh tha iske dimag mein naqsh paida hua isne kehna shuru kiya mujhe ilam hota hai what i'm trying to say is if somebody else as ahmadi claims to be ilham or prophet they say your damag is kharab, you're crazy, okay? And when they themselves claim, that is true. <laughs> it's a business. Yeah. It's the Mirza family business. My business. dear yeah. family, friends, uh, brothers and sisters, I implore you to research the Mirza family. One of the um, uh, girls who's in touch with me, who's an Ahmadi, I won't tell you which country because she's very scared. Her family is very, um, uh, you know, what do you call in Urdu, Qatar Ahmadi. Yeah. And... Um, so she is now asking me about, because in Pakistan, you see, the Jamaat was told not to mention the case of Bibi Nida. Um, mm. And so she's now asking me, do you have any proof? 
I simply said to her, look, I will send you an audio recording mm. and, uh, of this girl and I will send you an audio recording of her mother and mm. you decide yourself. Mm. And remember one thing, that within 24 hours, they took down an article from mm. Al-Islam yeah. Mm. which criticized the need for four witnesses in cases of sexual assault. Yeah. Mm. And Mirza, because Mirza Saab in his audio uh, denied that and he mm. refuted that claim, which was the... And that article was written against Ziaul Haq when he introduced the Hudud ordinance. Mm. So mm. I've done a lot of research in it and inshallah mm. one day I will write uh, about inshallah. this. Uh, but uh, Ahmadis really do not have... Uh, they, they are on a hiding to nothing. Uh, they, they cannot answer any of the questions. Their murabbis have given up and these poor chaps like Mirza Ali and Nasir, they come and they get completely confused. I, it is Mirza yeah. Masroor's job. If he really claims to be the Khalifa, he should come on our line and I'm sure you will treat him with greatest respect. Yes, and, of course. And, and, and answer. So again, I challenge with your permission, Mirza Masroor Ahmed, please come on or give Adnan by Imtiaz by Maybe invite me as well to MTA. We will have a debate. I'll be willing to come to that debate and let the Ahmadis decide. Oh, yeah. or we can we can go to any of the markers. Uh, I don't mind. Yes. Uh, yes. We can go to the markers, organize a meeting mm -hmm. with them. We should, as long as there are cameras there, so that we can actually. Why don't we do in. that? Why don't yeah. we do that? Bismillah. Yeah. yeah. Bismillah. Open. We are open. No, I, doctor, I, I, they I, are they are very much scared. I tell you, to be honest, mm -hmm. I was in London. And I just, uh, I was making a joke mm. and I called Rafiq Ayat that mm. I want to see the Masjid Mubarak. They made the new one, the, mm. their Khalifa's house in Telford, Islamabad. Mm. Mm. And the person who was receiving the phone call, he said, why you didn't write us? I just said, I have, I just made up my mind here to see that one. Are you empty? I said, I was. He said, what do you mean you was? I said, I was. Your name, I told him A.K. Sheikh. As soon mm. as he's A.K. Sheikh, I said, mm. his whole office was like in a panic. Okay, what is this? And this, the guy said, oh, hold on, hold on. And they mm. talked and he said, okay, give us your number. We will call you back and I'll speak to Amir Saab, like Rafiq Ayat. Mm. They called the Rafiq Ayat. And they said, Ek Sheikh is here in London and he wants to visit the Masjid Mubarak. He said, okay, let me call my cabinet, like their Majlis Se Amala. Mm. And he called them and they talked with each other. They said, oh, should we allow him or not, this and that. One of them said, better you talk to Hazur. Amir Sab, talk to Hazur means Masroor. Because if he will come to know after that, that we allowed or we refused, mm. he, maybe he will be angry. Mm. <clears throat> they call the Masroor. When Masroor is a Masroor, call his own majlis -e amla And they <laughs> sat together. Now they were discussing all this one, that could we allow him to come or no? One of them said, Hazur, maybe he will go in the press because you know that last time he gave the here interview to the Ikra <clears throat> channel. So better is this one. Let's we let him see. Mm. They said, okay. They called me and they said, how many Malvis coming with you? I said, no Malvis <laughs> coming. I'm the only one. <clears throat> okay, tell us where. I said, you just let me know. I will be there at your place. They said, no, 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 no. We will take you. <laughs> okay. Masroor sent the Mercedes car with the four bodyguards mm. and might be you guys know he's active on the Twitter mm. Mm. that is uh, Ataul Manan. He's like uh, Amure Kharjiyas in charge. Mm. They came. And they were ordered not to talk to him. <laughs> and everybody was quiet. And I was like, first five, 10 minutes, I became upset. I said, what's wrong? I said, did the Masroor told you guys not to talk to me or you guys mm. hate me so much? Mm. Mm. So like this one. Meanwhile, a telephone came. Now I have no problem to saying his name. Uh, you guys might be know. He's a well-known person in England, Janab Taha Qureshi. Mm. Mm. Because we were 
in contact. He told me, please, Sheikh Saab, we are concerned. He called me, Sheikh Saab, are you okay? I said, I'm in a way. So are you okay? So I used the word. I said, they can't do anything. Don't worry about me. And then Ataul Man, uh, Manan, he said, Sheikh Saab, what are you saying? I said, you haven't read the Mirza Saab. Mirza Saab used this word. So if you would have read that one, you wouldn't mind that. Mm. Now the thing started. He started talking to me and all that. Well, we reach over there. The guards are standing. Believe me, you won't believe. Every after 10 yards, there is a one guy with the walkie-talkie standing. Oh, his car is here. He's like walking there. He's going there. He's this and that. There's a lot of panic. Oh, a lot of panic and the protocol. Mm. Believe me, mm. I was like that. And they were saying, okay, whatever you want to see. I said, okay, I would like to have some pictures. They said, sorry, you give us, we will take your pictures, but you can't take. I said, mm. what's wrong with it? My mm. device. Mm. That, no, we will take. You please can't take the pictures. We mm. will take. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> After that, I said, okay, that's enough. No, we want to offer you something, refreshment. I said, no, that's fine. I don't need. They said, why? I said, maybe you'll poison me. Then they said, what are you talking? <laughs> I said, if you don't trust me, how should I will trust you? Mm. Mm. Well, they said, okay, we want to take you to the dinner for this and that. I said, that's enough. They dropped me back. They are so much scared. If mm -hmm. you call them, they're here. Nobody will come. About the Masroor, I will say mm. that uh, Adnan Bhai, Dr. Sahib, even you are in Tiaz. Believe me, you are here. Masroor is here. Mm. You just tell your any student, go, mm. Masroor can't face that. Mm. Masroor have no knowledge about Islam. Mm. Masroor mm. have no knowledge about his own MDF. You saw yeah. that talking to Yeah, yeah Nidha, absolutely. He's, he's made to so Nidha, many blunders. Yeah, there is yeah. nothing. Hmm. Yeah, but as I say, on a serious note, um, I would beg, uh, plead my Ahmadi brothers and sisters to contact their murabis if they are really in search of the truth. You know, even your Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Saab used to, uh, although he used to do written debates, uh, Khalifa Tahir accepted a mubahila which he lost. Hmm. I would respectfully ask Mirza Masur Ahmad, I will host him in my house in Scotland. And we will invite him to Azbai and everybody else. And we can, I'll organize a venue if you want to do it on a neutral venue. Hmm? I'm happy to come on MTA. I will simply ask some respectful questions. And uh, we should have a discussion because this is a matter of Iman. Absolutely. If you think that I am wrong, they call me a Murtad. You know, Murtad hmm. is a very strong word. It means yes. someone who's left Islam. Alhamdulillah, yeah. I found Islam. We spent the whole of Ramadan in a great spiritual experience, me and my son and my wife. Mm -hmm. And Alhamdulillah, we are, um, uh, we Dr. are very Sir, this satisfied. This is for us, Iman. This is for us, Iman. For them, it's a business. Dr. Sir, they will mm -hmm. never face. They will never come. Well, yes. I've been telling that. And my other uh, family members who are still parting with their well-earned money uh, mm -hmm. is that they should give it to other um, uh, you know, charities uh, that are actually doing things for our Muslim brethren. No, Mirza other, never did. Other, Mirza Ghulami never hypocrisy. even to the Sir Sayyid begged him. Yeah. He I mean, the other the hypocrisy, uh, Sheikh mm -hmm. Saab, is mm -hmm. that on the one hand, they call me a Muslim. On the other mm -hmm. hand, they call me a Murtad. Mm -hmm. We have so many times I have spoken to Ahmadis who have uh, been completely confused hmm. and I've shown them evidence that according to your theology hmm. anybody who doesn't believe even according to your Mirza Bashiruddin who had never heard the name of Mirza Ghulam Ahmed hmm. Uh, hmm. Uh, is not so he they did takfir on the whole of uh, almost two billion of Muslims hmm. and Azur Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam I think there's a hadith correct me if I quote it wrong but its meaning is that my ummah my followers will never stand on error Yes, uh, in Ijma. So mm -hmm. that in itself rules out the Qadianis, Ahmadis. Yes. I say Qadianis not as a derogatory term, so please mm. don't be offended by that. It's, it's a geographical... Distinguish it from the Lahoris. Yes, yes. 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 And because... the Janabis, uh, Jambis, and the Green Ahmadis. Uh, my father mm. was a very good friend of Mirza Rafi Ahmad. I don't know if uh, Sheikh Saab will know the story. Oh, that, uh, 
me and him have like at the time of the election of uh, Mirza Tahir. Yes. Big fight. Big yes. fight. Yes, he was put under the... house arrest. He was put yeah. under house arrest. Mm. Um, he was uh, a stepbrother of Mirza Tahir Ahmed. Yes. I have the a correspondence was... with him. I met him personally yes. many times. Yeah. He was a he was a humble sort of decent type of man, but extremely yes. rich. Uh, mm. He was an extremely wealthy man. I don't know where his wealth came from. Well, but whenever he, he used a, to well, come he was to a Edinburgh, Quran student. Well, he was a Quran student, and uh, his uh, recitation was very great. He was mm. better. Yeah. yeah, and he actually used to stay in one of the top hotels in Edinburgh. I remember yeah. that and as a child. Is hard uh, by but, as you. Is Arbai because you mentioned about the the wealth of uh, this Rafiuddin, as you know, and Sheikh Sab and Nabi know as well. Mirza Ghulam Qadiani, he wanted people to call him as Raise Qadian, and mm. he said that his property at that time was more mm. than ten thousand rupees, yeah. which means that just imagine in eight in 1890, 10,000 rupees mean like ten millions. He was a millionaire, and he never paid the cost. But mm. he he also when he want to publish the book at Barahin Ahmadiyya he begged for yeah. the money. Yeah. Now the question is he did I not know, pay yeah. the, he did not pay the cut. Yes. Yeah. Which is first? Which is first? I also yeah. heard. I don't know if this is true that he never led a Juma prayer because you know you oh, have Khudbate Khudbate Juma collections of Mirza yeah. Nuruddin Malvi Nuruddin yeah. and all the rest of the Khalifas, but I've never seen any Khudbat of Juma. He, Mirza never, Ulam he, he was, was not a public kef, speaker. He was never mutkif. He never yeah. led a prayer, Juma prayer. He never paid a zakat. He never went for the Hajj. And he never did it. He never is did it because zakat, zakat is not owed to prophets. Could it and be no, because <laughs> no? He is the one who did the best atat of Rasul, God the prophethood. Yeah, yeah, so and never paid zakat. Yeah. <laughs> And 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 the fact that he was going a hundred times to the toilet, I don't know how he kept his wudu to play praise namaz as well, you know. Uh, well, it's, it's, he it's regarded like Allah, that Allah again. This was an interpretation of the hadith about the two garments. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. And he, he had, had a migraine, and he used to get uh, his. Not a migraine. No, no. The word in Urdu he has used malia holia and mira, and mm. those two are khafkan, pagalpan. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> yes. And checks up, yes. you know, uh, is our by uh, understand. Uh, I want people to understand go, this point go, that Mirza Ghulam Qadiani, after the death of Bashir Awal, hmm. uh, in I think 1891, that's when he he just gone crazy. He started to make all of these claims. And and you know his uh, his claim that uh, the two garments in the Hadith actually refer to two conditions he had. One yeah, is yeah. the uh, top and heading, head, uh, yeah, top, lower top part and upper part. Yeah, yeah exactly. I'm aware of that. The yeah. upper part is the headaches, yeah, and the lower part is lose his loose bowels, yeah. basically. Yeah. yeah, he couldn't he couldn't control his uh, his urine. The, um, and, the yeah. other thing is that I've read Hakikatul Wahi, which uh, mm -hmm. you may have read as well. Yeah, and again, coming back to the obsession with male progeny, there was one of his uh, opponents, a Muslim called Sadullah. Uh -huh. You know, I was reading the translation and to my son, him. He and he was very well. he was hysterical with laughter because mm -hmm. the man was crazy. Because what he said was, "Kesadullah's son, he had got engaged, and he said, I 'I'm praying that the, he will never get married.' Now, mm. why why involve the son? It's a bit like you know, the Israelis are killing the children and yeah, grandchildren yeah, yeah. or politicians. Mm. So mm. it doesn't make any sense. But poor Sadullah. Um, he, in, instead of arguing with religious evidence and doctrine and Quran and Hadith, he became very personal. Mm -hmm. And then you may recall, uh, and Sheikh Saab might know that, that in 1899, he was taken to a magistrate's court along with Sanaullah, yes. uh, uh, along with Muhammad Hussain Batalwi. And very the magistrate's very name, very ironically, was Dawi, James Dawi. <laughs> And he had to give an undertaking that as from that now, I, I will course. never make any death prediction, prediction. not yeah. even that, or prediction of infamy. Now, what yeah. kind of a prophet suddenly gets convinced to stop making his prophecies because of a British uh, colonial Judge. magistrate? A, I've when, got a copy when, of that. I've yes, got a yes, copy of when that. Being a, being a prophet, if he can say, okay, 
if you don't like that I should use the word Nabi for me, okay, make it muhaddas. No, being having being a claimant of the prophethood, how he has the right to say Allah is if he is giving you the prophet. You don't go back, yes. you don't go back on that. You don't go back on or that. You can go back for that. No, uh, there's so much we have talked about so many yes, other know, things Arvai, from just, the topic. Arvai, I just want to mention one thing because as everyone knows, Mirza Ghulam Qadiani especially emphasized against jihad. Okay. Hmm. Now the question is, as you can see in this quotation, he was willing to die for the for the Britons. He says hmm. that Lihaza uh, uh हमारे खानदान ने सरकारे अंग्रेजी की राह में अपने खून बहाने और जान देने से फर्क नहीं किया और ना अब फर्क है वेल जिहाद फॉर द ब्रिटिश नॉट अगेंस्ट द ब्रिटिश सुभान अल्लाह ही इज विलिंग ही इज विलिंग टू फाइट एंड टू गिव हिज ब्लड सैक्रिफाइस हिज ब्लड फॉर द सेक ऑफ ब्रिटन बट फॉर मुस्लिम और यू जिहाद इज हराम सुभान अल्लाह बट यू नो सॉरी कैरी ऑन I was, I was going to say, if you put aside his claims to prophethood and being the, the promised Messiah and the Mahdi, if you just take his character when it comes to his desire to serve the colonial rule in India, that alone renders him um, Absolutely. highly... Absolutely. Uh, that, 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 yeah, disqualifies him from any yeah. decent claim. Any, uh, any Ahmadi who questions yeah. me who's contacted me recently, quite a few have done. Yeah. I asked them two questions mm. that firstly, think and reflect on the support he gave to the colonialists. Yeah. Only today I was reading a book and Adnan Bai has an interest in history on the mm. Jallianwala Bar Bar massacre. Yes, a massacre. Was, yeah, that, was that freedom of practicing religion? Mm. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. That was a massacre, cold blood. And massacre. after, a, yeah, that was a horrible massacre. Even though the vast majority who died were Sikhs, but this yes. claim, this false claim that the uh, the British allowed us to practice freedom of religion is bunkum. The Sikhs uh, had and, taken and, away and, his land. And it mm. doesn't stop there. You know, the G General Dyer who gave the order to kill uh, um, and target, don't spare any men, women and children. You know, Absolutely. he actually ordered specifically and 1600 rounds were fired. Okay, and when the case was brought to the to the colonial establishment, he was acquitted. And one of the one of the dark marks on Rudyard Kipling's uh, profile is that he actually defended uh, Dyer. Dyer. Okay, and and when Dyer came to Britain, funds were raised to actually help him out to 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 basically um, hail him as a hero. So this was the colonial establishment, and these are the kind of things this this Jamaat was uh, actually backing, even even against the Ottomans. Uh, the role of the Jamaat was very and the Boer very, War, the Boer yeah, the War, the War, oh, absolutely. The Boer, yeah. Where they were, yeah. the British yeah. invented the concentration yeah. camps. The first Trans concentration Trans camps Trans that caused in Transvaal. Trans Trans yeah, Trans they, I think they they gathered funds for them as well. Okay. And when yeah. Iraq, when Iraq yeah. was conquered by the British, yeah. there was a decoration. Even the, even the victory of Transvaal, they lightened that the Qadian. Uh, mm. Just imagine, mm. just mm. like, mm. just like the Khilafat e Usmania, when yeah. over, they did the uh, also they uh, delivered uh, the uh, mitai or something like that, and the Chiraga, they did Chiraga. the lightning. So. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So this was this was clearly a, a colonial cult. You know, it was initiated as a colonial. I'm cult. more and more convinced that that is yeah. true. Yeah. I, yeah. I used to when I was an Ahmadi, I mm. used to say, "Yes, some Malvion." You know, we were taught that "Yes, some Malvion ka propaganda." Mm. Then I read mm. the Majmua Istiharat where he offered to spy for the British, even made a spreadsheet, and then also the uh, Star of M uh, India, the uh, the. Kaisari, uh, yes, uh, Kaisari. Kaisari, thank you very much. Yeah. That yeah. is such a obsequious, servile um, uh, tribute to the Queen under whose regime millions of uh, uh, Muslims all over the world. And the other thing that's very interesting is Britain was not the only colonial power. What about France and what yes. they did in Algeria and Morocco and yes. Tunisia? Yes. Where was Mirza Sahab there? Why didn't he yes. ever condemn them? Yeah, uh, he probably didn't even know about that mm -hmm. yeah, because yeah. this is a very Punjab, uh, pinned oriented yes. cult yeah. where most of the people were 
in Kadian and thereabouts. My own grandfather, my nana, who was a genius poet, sadly, mm. he was impressionable at the age of 16. Mm. Uh, some murabbi got hold of him and mm. he got converted. All the rest of his relatives, I remember his older brother, we used to visit them in a place called Gujranwala. I was a little kid and he was a doctor. Well, and I'm just your, digressing your a bit. Your nana's name, doctor, your nana's name? Uh, Akbar Khan, sir. Akbar Khan is from Kalanor. He was from uh, Kalanor. Oh, like he was a poet, and his uh, one of his great uh, Akbar was his name. Asghar was his takhallus. So one of his poetry. One of his poetry is "Barahe in kisari khud ko main asghar hi kehta hu." Hmm. Mean out of modesty, I call myself small. Hmm. Magar kuch mehraba asghar ko Akbar Khan kehte hain. Wow. So, because he was born in Kalanor, where Akbar mm. the king was coronated, mm. his yeah. father. But sadly, yeah. he got misguided. And mm. I tell you what the Ahmadis did with him. Mm. He made a very good poetry about Hazrat Yusuf's, uh, the chapter of Hazrat Yusuf. Mm. And he presented it to the second Khalifa. And he basically told him to just uh, get lost. Because, you see, they didn't want to be seen as if somebody else can also write something about the Quran. Mm. Because they wanted to keep it yeah. very in-house. But mm. I have great respect for him that sadly he, if he, you know, if they had been alive, my parents, I would have absolutely convinced them. Even the Nida case would have been enough for my parents to have changed. Mm. But mm. Allah's will is Allah's will. Please yeah, pray absolutely. for the Maghfirat. Yeah. Absolutely. Qadr Allah, we, we have a, yeah. We yeah. have, I think, uh, in the backstage, uh, one guy, his name is uh, Mirza Mirza something. So if he can just let us know that if you are a Qadiani or Ahmadi, so we can give you the opportunity, please, if you can turn on your camera, yeah. please. Daksa, my grandfather, my, uh, no, my father, my grandmother was uh, one of the Teen Sotera me se ek matlab she was wow. oh, mm. the one who were left behind in Kadian. Yeah, mm. No, 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 no. She was uh, she died actually before that uh, partition. Uh, yeah. She, my father was born in 1900. She took my father to Mirza Ghulam Amir and she said that the, with your prayers and all that, your blessings, I got the son. He gave to my father name on his second son's name, Fazal Ahmed. Mm. And he gave him like the G honey Guti. and all the goodie. Mm. And my family was very proud of that one that our grandmother is Teen Sotera Sahabi. My father is a Sahabi like that. And when my this incident happened, when I quit, I said, I'm going. My family was crying like a Karbala thing. Mm. I don't know what happened to this. They, <laughs> they said, should have Look. been crying with joy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they were saying, don't you see that the what the status we have in the Jamaat and all mm. that, and we are close to the Prophet of Allah, this and that. And our father was so blessed. He... You, you, what you did, this and that. Anyway, mm. I came to know that my grandmother's brother, who was also from Tin Sotera Sabi of Mirza, mm. he used to do such a bad things, like he was a businessman in Kadian. He had a shop of uh, this uh, wood. Hardware, hardware. Lumberjack, lumberjack. Yeah, lumberjack. Or with the chuna, uh, He used to put the water on that one to make it uh, heavier. Mm. Mm. He was a Sahabi, Teen Sotera, but his acts were like these ones to making for more <laughs> money to make the light things heavier in weight. When I made a video about him. I said, mm. look at this one, my father's uncle and my grandmother's brother. And they were so close that they are 313 Sabi of Mirza. And their character is this one. Mm. You won't believe what happened to them and my family as well. They said, mm. look, no, 
you are totally gone you this and that no you are a jahannami <laughs> you this you are challenging to the sahaba of prophet blah 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 uh, yeah i think this is this is a, a very common thing for the the ahmadis who leave uh, the the cult i was uh, watching this sister's uh, very sad story recently mm-hmm. i came across it that she she is a judge in belgium now i think i don't know if you guys know her uh, yeah, yeah. I, I i know Sanda. very well i i know Sanda. i know very well i met okay. i met her over there yeah yeah she Sanda. was v- very very sad story what happened to her parents is so sad it's unbelievable yeah. they were starved they were starved they were deprived of food for for many many days and they would uh, she she said that they would go and actually stand on the roof and beg for food that is is there anyone can you can give us food and they would they would not allow food uh, uh, to reach adnan, them adnan bhai yeah. yeah the son of first khalifa hakim nuruddin son the younger hmm. son uh, dr sab knows very well mi abdul manan yeah. yeah they were thrown out of uh, rabwa oh what they, they were thrown out get... their their bags were taken from their homes one of their sons osama, yeah. osama was Khan. picked out of class yes in school hmm. and they hmm. were chucked to chinyot when manan sahab wasn't even there yeah. uh, uh, and there I, was a uh, there was a khutba uh, ak sheikh sahab will know called the um uh, khilafat e haqqa islamia uh, everybody I, should read that in which he boldly says that manan or his sons or his grandsons can never be khalifas this yeah, was a this battle for khilafat like, he, he blamed them they were of i yeah. interviewed mia manan that the son of uh, hakim nuruddin i interviewed in england uh, i see USA. do you have the recording dr sahab i do have the recording but uh, at that time that was a small cassettes uh, then actually if you know that uh, dr muhammad ahmed hami yes who used to write the hasle mutalia in al fazl and mm. then professor zafar iqbal these they, they both uh, actually <clears throat> were my really teachers mm. they and they mm, introduced me with me amanan and i went to america to interview him i have a lot of things in my memory that uh, yes but yeah. remember you mentioned your mother and your father did they know that uh, mirza ghulam ahmed didn't even go to the funeral prayer of fazal ahmed his own fazal ahmed yes yes that uh, he dr if you look at the life of sultan ahmed his elder brother fazal ahmed yes. was the younger and sultan was that one like uh, he used to smoke and he used to drink in the fa- in his father's presence uh, he was like mm. that that i and, didn't know oh i know his all story to be honest with that one his mm. everything sheikh sab did anyone meet with mohammadi begum uh, is there is there anything uh, about her or from her Oh uh, yes, the the from the Muslim side, yeah, like the people they met. Even I had very good relations with the Mohammadi families, Mohammadi Begum's family. Okay. And what they are making the story? Yes, there is mm. no doubt about her. one. Her son was mm. like uh, he accepted the MD at game. It's not a big mm. deal. Like yeah, 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 it can happen. Yeah, it's... they were closely related. They related. Were closely related. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So. she was uh, she was from the fazal ahmed uh, where fazal ahmed was uh, married to the nizamdin family the muhammadi begum was from there and he mm. used to see i have all his story and everything in that mm. muhammadi begum that uh, the i believe molana manzoor chinyoti or mm. someone like mm. those uh, time of period they went mm. and they met with her mm. Hmm. and i have the picture of her grave uh, uh, like uh, yeah uspe kalma hai la ilaha illallah yeah. i have that i can send you guys for that one uh, yeah. they met with her but uh, his family like his uh, sons i met with muhammadi begum's grandson hmm. like hmm. they were my friends hmm. those people hmm. Hmm. they never her sister muhammadi hmm. begum's one sister's name was anayat begum ya anayat bb like this anayat i know that anayat she was not uh, md mohammed they were very decent people this and she no maintained doubt. her dignity i call mm-hmm. her rahmullah alai because yes. you know mohammed begum yes. alone 
Allah yeah. Taala gave Muhammadi Begum. She, she, she was a great lady. Mirza she is a great yes. lady. Believe me. May Allah she, grant her maqbara. Allah used her. Allah used her to to prove him alive. And her husband, a very scale. decent man, they yes. forged his letters. If you yes. look yes. at three facsimiles, yes. they've yeah. got grammatical mistakes yes. and yes. errors. You know, like that old game, spot the differences, G circle G the differences. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that lady, believe me, she did not speak a one word about him. Whereas, very dignified, very dignified very dig woman. Whereas he printed the ishtihar and put over there in the And the dream, of, remember the dream. Oh my, oh my God, dream. Like, humiliating. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't describe it here just, just because there may be sisters know. watching. I don't want yeah, to yeah, describe yeah, the dream. Yeah. It's but, awful. Yeah. But she was a very graceful lady that she didn't say a word about this one. And this guy Not has a great. This guy has a claim of prophethood. <laughs> Believe me, he was. Okay. Sheikh Sab, uh, Sheikh Sab, uh, with 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 all of your permission, because Adnan by mentioned uh, that sister. So I just uh, quickly, inshallah, want to show you that part which Adnan Bhai was referring to. Inshallah, people can relate to that, that how cruel these people are. Rabwa mein thi. Or wo maa baap, jo Rabwa ki tamir mein, jin, jin ka haat tha, jin ki inte lgaane mein, unho ne apna khun pasina diya hua tha. उनको मिर्जा मसरूर की वजह से अपने घर में कैद किया गया कि आप तोबा करें आप एक पुर असर शख्सियत है मोहल्ले की अगर आप इससे निकलेंगे तो बहुत सारे लोग भी सवाल उठाएंगे और ऊपर गली में कैमरे भी लगाए जाते थे कि कोई भी उनकी मदद नहीं कर सकता ना उन तक कोई फूड पहुंचता था दर्द की दवाई डिस्प्रीन कुछ भी मोहल्ले का बिल्कुल बाईकाट तो इस तरह के मुसाइब बर्दाश्त करके उन्होंने अपनी जिंदगी दे दी और उनकी डॉक्टरी रिपोर्ट जो मेरी वालदा की और मेरे वालिद की डेथ सर्टिफिकेट पे है वो है कि कॉज डेथ बिकॉज ऑफ हंगर धूप की वजह से मौत ना कोई हार्ट का मसला था ना ब्लड प्रेशर का सिर्फ उनकी वेनों को जब चेक किया गया तो तकरीबन तकरीबन तेरह तेरह दिन से उनके अंदर कुछ भी नहीं था ना पानी ना रोटी कुछ भी नहीं था और वो छत पे खड़े हो के गली में लोगों से फरियाद करते थे कि एक सूखी रोटी दे दो वो औरत जो कादियानी मुरब्बियों के लिए 40-40 लोगों के लिए एक टाइम में खाने बनाती थी वो आखिरी उम्र में एक लुकमा रोटी के लिए तरस गए और दुनिया से चले गए मेरी वालदा की भूख की वफात के बाद मेरे वाल जो थे वो घर में अकेले थे उनके पास ना कोई राशन था ना कोई पानी था ना कोई साफ कपड़े थे ना कोई दवाई थी कुछ भी नहीं था तो वो अकेले थे फिर मैंने रहा किया यूएनओ के इदारे से इस्लामाबाद में कि आप मेरे वालद को अम्बेसी के थ्रू चेक कर सकते हैं क्योंकि मेरे वालद और मेरी वालदा जो हैं बेल्जियम रहने के बाद वो बेल्जियम के भी सिटीजन रह चुके हैं लेकिन उनका दिल नहीं लगता था तो वो वापस आ जाते थे इस सिचुएशन में जब इस्लामाबाद की एजेंसियों ने इधर से रहा किया तो मेरे वालद जो हैं वो घर पे नहीं मिले बिल्कुल करीबी रब्बा की एक सड़क पे मेरे वालद को जब लोगों ने पहचान के देखा और वो उस अदारे ने जब उनको चेक किया तो उनके मुंह में बहुत सारे बजरी के पत्थर थे जो वो चूस रहे थे और जब उनको कहा गया कि आपका घर किधर है तो उनको घर भी याद नहीं आ रहा था कि मेरा घर किधर है कादियानी जो है उनके ऊपर एक इल्जाम है कि वो इसराइल के बहुत ज्यादा करीब है और मैं भी इस चीज को इल्जाम ही समझती हूँ जस्टिमेजिनोर्टर नाजर आलादर इन लॉ ऑफ मिर्जा मसरूर जॉब 
and he gave her um, apparently according to this girl's testimony and we only go by that she alleges that she was given the date uh, rape drug and that she was sexually assaulted by this Look, man. There are, there are many girls, to be honest. Uh, I cannot mention. And again, the, this is not theology. Theology the, is separate. The, this is I, the actions I, of these people who claim to be the guidance for the world. So far, so far and, as and, concerned and we, about Sister, Sister we, Chanda, I, I, I used to go every year to the European trip uh, to the different countries. I met her in Belgium in Brussels. Uh, she came to see me there uh, and I know her story very well. She's a very nice lady and she faced a lot of, lot of persecution from these MDs, believe me, and especially from Rabwa and her parents. As she why did they kick them out? What happened? Why did the, why was the parents, why were the father persecuted? Because they were convinced. Uh, uh, yeah, her. because the daughter, because of their daughter. And, and 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 she she said that they had actually they were convinced uh, yeah. That she, yeah she was right she was right so they had found yeah. out that these people have left uh, that they are no more MDs they have yeah, I see reversed so she it. was they persecuted her because the daughter had left Amity. yes yeah plus the parents well, I know of a case where a person is getting um, their daughter is getting married and the brother of the father. The daughter is getting married to a Muslim, mm. uh, but the brother of the father of the daughter uh, needs to now seek permission to attend his brother's daughter's wedding. Can you believe that? And they say this is a true Islam. <laughs> By the way, we're talking about the Jamaat and the establishment, not the people. The people, I've met some yeah. amazing, amazing, amazing Wonderful people. people. I know but, them personally, but they yeah. are naive kind. and they're gullible. Yeah, unfortunately, they are, and, they are scared that they will be persecuted if they. You will. know the one refrain I often hear from people mm -hmm. who are thinking of leaving Ahmadiyat, "Log kya kahenge?" L yes, and I tell them, "Look, forget about yes. log. You're only answerable to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala." In the day of Qiyamah, mm -hmm. even your family won't help you. But Dr. everyone Dr. is for themselves. But Dakshab, they say that this is closer than Allah because the people, you know, <laughs> they live among the people, so they care about the people. They have may, Allah, may Allah release them from the clutches of this cult. That's um, how um, I say. Um, um, happening, yeah. Dr. Saab, is happening, as you know, and I know that, that yes. is happening. Things are changing. Tide is turning. The youngsters are waking up. They are realizing that this was a mistake. The, 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 their ancestors, their forefathers made a mistake. They yeah. were simple people. They were lured into this. They didn't know. They didn't they, know. They were deceived by these extremely deceptive um, uh, Morabis. And, and uh, uh, you know, uh, now they're waking up. I mean, like earlier, uh, one boy, as you know, he, mashallah, came and he found the courage. There are many like him. And we yes, I was, I was, that's when I tuned in and I, I, I was going for Isha and I said, Alhamdulillah. And yeah. I said, uh, uh, Allah Akbar, that man took Shahada in front of you. Yes. And yeah. you know this whole business of why have they put in last prophet? Well, he was the last prophet. <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> we can also say, Nauzubillah, la ilaha illallah, Ghulam Muhammad Rasulullah. Yes. Because yes. for you, he's the last prophet. He's the, exactly. That's what he, the brother in Tiaz did that one. That he, he, he said very well that uh, when you say Ghulam Ahmed is the Rasulullah, so, would you say in Arabic about this? They say no. <laughs> 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 this is this is how, they've got a little bit of dignity. <laughs> we, our job is to highlight these things to Absolutely. the best of our ability and leave the rest to Allah. Allah is yeah. the one who opens yeah. hearts. We can be talking for eight, nine, ten hours, and if the heart is locked, we cannot open it. Yeah. We can say one sentence. One sentence that can open the heart if Allah mm -hmm. wants. Yes. It's, exactly. It's, it's, it's with Allah. Guidance, no, no. guidance is with Allah Subhanahu yes. Taala. Okay. Yes. Uh, uh, wa huwa bil muhtadin. Allah knows yes. best who deserve guidance. We Adnan deserve... by because Adnan by because your field is history. Look at this yes. one. <laughs> Ruhani Khazain, Volume Three, eighteen <laughs> seventy-seven. It says that Khudaay <laughs> Taala ne Deen ki akal. Tamam Asia ko di hai aur dunia ki akal tamam Europe aur America ko. And then he says, 
نبیوں کا سلسلہ اول سے آخر تک لک ایٹ دا ورڈ آخر لک ایٹ دا ورڈ آخر نبیوں کا سلسلہ اول سے آخر تک ایشیا کے حصے میں رہا اور ولایت کے کمالات بھی انہی کو ملے مالدیب سے لے کے انڈیا تھا کہ جی حضرت آدم کو ڈال دیا انہوں نے اور انڈیا میں ڈال دیا غلام احمد کو did they not also claim that one of the interpretation of jinn are the red indians the native americans and the white people and bacteria bacteria are also jinn and you know doctor sahab those things which help you to digest the food in your tummy what are they called enzymes enzymes they are called angels subhanallah you know anything can be proven under amadi doctrine that fits their purpose and um, what what can one say except as Adnan has, Bhai has already said that it's only Allah who gives epiphany Absolutely. and even Imam Ghazali got epiphany from uh, Allah when he started having doubts about his own Imam Absolutely. so kaha Imam Ghazali or kaha aam admi so Mirza Ali bichara you know was he a convert to Ahmadiyyat yeah, yeah. I, I think so. I think so. Yeah. yeah. No, Allah may give him a diet because he really was, um, uh, you know, he was aiming in the dark. He was uh, all at sea, just go uh, mm -hmm. not knowing which direction he was taking. And I felt sorry for him. And I prayed for him uh, that Allah may give him his diet. Um, uh, how okay. can you have that so called kashaf where a man is reading the Quran? And you kept asking him, there's only one Quran. He agreed there's only one Quran. And he never answered the question, but what was the bottom line? What was the message yes. that was being given? Yes. You know, I could and, say that, uh, now Zubillah, um, you know, Allah is also present in Aberdeen, but it's not written in the Quran. Yes. Allah is everywhere, but you know, Absolutely. you don't have to. And then why specifically Qadian? What's so great about Qadian? Well, you know, even now in Qadian, there isn't even a majority of Ahmadis. Mm. You know, that was supposed to be the place where everyone would recognize the Messiah. They used to say, Makkah and Medina ke chhatiyon ka dood khush ko gaya hai. Astaghfirullah. Yani, ab kadiyan se log dood piyenge. Nahi, yeh kitni ghalat baat hai. You know, this is such a, this is, you know, this is a complete, uh, I always say to my family who I'm trying to convert, my extended family, please pray for them, that look, uh, guys, this is a Punjabi-centric cult. I'm a Punjabi yeah. and I, I'm not being racist here, but I we know how have, the mind works. We all have Punjabi blood in us, you know. My <laughs> daddy's Punjabi. No, it's Punjabi. a good thing. You but what I'm saying is it's a Punjab-centered cult. Yes. Uh, which has got them by the short and curly. And, you know, and, and, and this can, this can only be understood by Punjabis. Punjabis, <laughs> only Punjabis can understand what it means. Yeah. Because and Punjabi they never tell new converts about Mamadi Begum, about Abdullah Atham, about the poetry, the lascivious poetry in Arya Dharam. And they never, I, I think that in Africa, uh, although there are some Murabis, they have schools, but you see, these are jobs. Yes. And that's, look, uh, that's no, a different look, kettle of fish. When you and you know, Adnan, by look at this one, look at, look at their munafikat. They say to us, that we cannot come to your stream because you are disrespectful. Okay, no. the point is, no, 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 when Mirda Gulam Kadiani was saying to the Christians, that Isa ko kya hua tha, Injil, Naz, and Kadri se ter malwa raha tha. What was that? These, uh, this is unbelievable. Look, uh, again, the problem is, you know, as you mentioned, uh, the cult spread through simple Punjabi peasants who didn't know yeah. nothing. They didn't yeah. know... Punjab has produced some great intellectuals. Okay, Iqbal was Punjabi. Iqbal was actually Kashmiri, but he, he settled in Punjab, uh, you know, because he was actually Sheikh. Iqbal was Sheikh uh, by caste. Sheikhs basically were Brahmins <laughs> who were actually originally Brahmins and they had accepted Islam. So ah. they were given this title Sheikh. So Sheikhs, even today in Pakistan, Sheikhs are known to be very tight. When it comes to money, yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a, so it's, the origin is actually, you know, they 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 were a business community when they were Hindus, and they accepted Islam at some stage. Banya, Banya type, Banya types or Brahmins. So she, even Allama Iqbal was from that that uh, background. Okay, 
so punjab has produced some amazing uh, people but those who were educated but the the, the people in the in the in the, in the agricultural uh, agricultural areas they are very backwards even to this day you go to punjab southern punjab and central I punjab know. go to I villages know. you will see people very simple you can simple. you can convince them about anything okay and gullible uh, gullible very gullible very gullible that's this is the advantage mirza ghulam ahmed qadiani took you know he was and and, uh, and nizam din yeah, took yeah. it for the chudas in yeah, fact yeah. once the census mistook they thought that mirza ghulam ahmed was the imam of the chudas and he took great umbrage at that and he then wrote back to them no 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 my followers are bas and mas yeah, and yeah. advocates and very rich people as if that was a great thing why not the churas they are human beings as well yes, they should yes. be given the message as well actually so he was very much into nawab nawabs and cuz you know his daughter he got married yeah. to the so called nawab of uh, nawab malir kotla malir, malir kotla. kotla who wasn't even a nawab actually yeah. hmm. so she is called sahib zadi nawab zadi um, and he bargained the dowry Oh, he was giving like thirty-six thousand. Like, then he asked for fifty-six thousand. Fifty-six thousand and thirty-six thousand and thirty-six for Amtul Hafiz, fifty-six for Nawab Mubarak Begum, or apne bachcho ka ek ek hazar. But the <laughs> but the younger daughter got married to the step son son of yeah. the older daughter's yeah, husband. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So in a sense, her father, stepfather, was also her father-in-law. नहीं नहीं डॉक्टर साहब ही वाज नॉट अ स्टेप सन अच्छा वो उसका असली बेटा था असली बेटा था उसका सो मिर्जा साहब ओल्डर डॉटर गॉट मैरिड टू द फादर फादर एंड यंगर डॉटर वाज मैरिड टू द सन आई थिंक इट्स अलाउड इन इस्लाम दो बट आई डोंट नो अबाउट द बट देयर वाज बार्गेनिंग देयर वाज बार्गेनिंग या Look, और भाई इसलिए कहता कि हमारा इस्लाम हो रहा है तुम्हारा इस्लाम हो रहा है नहीं कोई इंसानियत भी होती है यू नो यू नो दिस कॉन्वर्सेशन दिस कॉन्वर्सेशन हैज इट्स ओन मेरिट्स बाय द वे वी हैव बीन टॉकिंग टू ईच अदर फॉर द लास्ट आवर या इट्स लाइक या व्हाट हैपेंड टू द टॉपिक वेयर इज द कादियान इन कुरान कॉन्वर्सेशन या बट बट इवन दिस इज गोल्ड फॉर अ लॉट ऑफ यू नो ऑन द ऑन द एज कादियानीज और अहमदीज हु नीड दिस इंफॉर्मेशन they need to know this stuff because normal people don't know this stuff you you are actually from the from the from the, from that side of the fence you know not any more on that side <laughs> yeah, no no i mean you have come from that background yes. so yes. your your input is very very valuable it's very mm. very important well if only one amadi comes to islam because of me because of you that of is a great barkat from allah alhamdulillah absolutely absolutely doctor uh, <clears throat> I was very active when I was in Pakistan, actually. With the Jamaat. With the Jamaat. I, I used to, actually, like, I I met with the Chaudhry Zafrullah Khan in. 19- I met him as well. My 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 uncle was his GP in London. I, I see. No, but I went. I, I met him in my young age when I was in a college in 1962. Right. 62 wow. that was early on yeah yeah more than 60 years before then i have given the duty when he uh, he was on his uh, uh, like a death bed and the ambassador of uh, jordan even jaul haq when he came to his uh, uh, residence to pay a visit to him they for this i met all these people i see same time like mirza rafi then with mirza tahir i have worked during the bhutto election in 1970s oh were you also collecting the chanda for bhutto <laughs> you know there were scripts i remember yeah, that no but i was working for something else uh, in that one <laughs> <laughs> he was his big fan boy tahir ahmed was his big fan boy yeah i i was with tahir i was with tahir tahir and mirza nasser's son farid lukman's young uh, lukman's elder brother farid no anas anas no farid 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 okay lukman is the youngest one imtiaz bhai aap bore to nahi ho rahe nahi 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 please continue 
Yeah. Uh, he's, uh, he looks like a sleepy India. <laughs> because then, I am. Because we, this is because very important because the whole came night. back to bite them. Uh -huh. No, if you guys want, then we can wind up this one. No, 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 please continue. Can, no, no, problem. Okay. no problem. I remember my dad used to say that Bhutto is going to save Amadis. In the end, Bhutto got the Amadis. Bhutto, yeah, Bhutto. That's a the this was that was the real real politics, believe me. If uh, Freed, son of Mirza Nasser Ahmed, and Mirza Tahir, this uh, uh, uncle and nephew, if they would have a patience a little bit and take the things slowly, then might be not the things happened what happened at that time. They wanted to show off that look, Bhutto, we helped you, and because of us, you have won the election. Now you pay back us. That's what they were forcing him and do this, do yeah, that. They demanded a payback. Yeah, they payback. demanded a payback. And then he told them to get lost. Oh, he said, get lost. Who the hell you got? Bhutto never Bhutto was Machiavellian. And Machiavellian principles are you first of all. Get rid of those people who brought you up to power because they are your greatest threat. Then, but I think the Rabwa incidents, the train, yeah. the train incident was also a Gee. factor. So that's that's what I was saying. Going to say, then what happened? Soon, there was an incident of a Rabwa railway station. The thing there was no plan to be honest from the Muslim side. Now I have to admit that there was no plan. The you, the the students from all over Pakistan, they used to go for their trips. Someone goes to the Balochistan, some go to the Karachi. And from yes, those, we used to go hygiene tour. Uh, it used to be called a tour. Yeah, yeah. to the Mari and all Medical these students. Yeah. yeah. The Nishtar Medical College students, they were going for their trip. And the train called Chinab Express used to go from Rabwa to... We Sabo used to go to the Jalsa on that, Jalsa, from Karachi. So on that, yes. Yeah. And we used to give the duty at Lailpur at that time, which now is Faisalabad, Faisalabad. and all that. No, they were gone. In the students, they know, you know, someone that these Kadianis, Mirzai and all that, they like chanting the slogans. Oh, so from the, when they stopped in Rabwa. When they stopped in Rabwa. For a few minutes. For a few minutes. For a few minutes. For a few minutes. No. They want to show their power. Oh, how they can do. Okay, we will teach them a lesson. This who was is, the leader there? Who was the leader who started this? The leader, you can say, because this is the way of the Jamaat. For example, I was given an order even in Canada. Even in Canada, I was given order to do this thing. And the face was on this side. Nassim Mehdi, who was the national leader at that time, <laughs> 26 years before I'm talking, he ordered me to do this one, and he's looking this way, and I'm standing here, and he's talking, no, I have to understand myself, and I have to not to make it yes or no. Okay, I got, and I should. So who were the leaders who started the Rabwa train station? That's, that's what I'm going to say. Okay, no one is the leader. The incident reported to the Sadr Amumi at that time. That Those are the enforcers. The Amumi yeah, are the enforcers. Enforcer. Yeah. He's like, you can say, the mayor of the city or this and that. He's the controller. The report was given to him. The report was given by the Sadr Amumi to Mirza Nasser Ahmed. And from there, the Sadr Khudam al at that time, he took the order talked with Mirza Tahir, Freed, Lukman, these people, and they said, okay, now they call the Khudam. And with the, the, youth. Full, yeah. the, youth, with the full planning, with <clears throat> rods, hockeys, and some of the rifles as well, but the order was this one that nobody will use the fire. That's when the train was coming back. Uh, but no, after a few days, yeah. Yeah, but it's not there that the only train coming. They send people in advance. Yeah, in advance to Sargoda. My nephew was also in that. 
That's the next station. Yeah. Sargoda. And no, the sign was this one in the compartment. The students were there. One is on the back, one is ahead, and they were standing in the door. Now they know that this is the compartment. So that's the signal. That's signal. the signal. This is the students are here. And the station master was an MD who made Mr. the train stop Sami. for longer. Yeah, Mr. Yeah. Sami was there. <clears throat> now, all the students were hiding there in the masjid, in the Ramat Bazaar, that calls a Mandi. The Khudams. The Khudams. The Khudams. They were hiding over there. As soon as the train reaches the station, they all came out. They pulled the guys. Now, here is a one thing I will say that the, from the Muslim side at that time, <clears throat> like after that, they said, oh, their tongues been cut off. Their well, they'll, of course, they, exploit it. Yeah. They, they exaggerated all these things. But that started they, the fight. Yeah. Yeah, but they made sure that there should be not too much blood. There should not be too much uh, damage to their bodies. But they... Well, to you taught them a lesson over there. Now, the first stop they made in Lailpur in Faisalabad. Our shop was the first one which was affected, looted. Well, they burned a hundred shops, apparently. Yeah. The first one is, was over because oh. they came from the railway, sta railway station and entered to our bazaar that calls a Karkhana Bazaar. Uh, anyway, our shop was attacked and all these things happened in Faisalabad. In the hospital, district hospital, there was a MD surgeon, Dr. Sagar, Wali Muhammad Sagar. He was the surgeon. And they refused. They said, we are not going to get any treatment or first aid from him. Okay, no problem. They made a plan over there. After that, the looting and all the riots and this and that started. But MDs, what they did in the commission, Mirza Nasser refused that this was not in my knowledge, whereas it was in his knowledge. You mean in the uh, parliamentary proceedings? N not the parliament proceeding, the commission, oh. which was investigative investigations, inquiry commission, which Actually. did that. They refused over there. They made Samdani, a, Samdani commission. Some, yes, yeah. The different uh, statements, uh, they said, yes, no, we are not the one, we are the victims, blah, 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 like that. And the matter been taken to the parliament. Over there, they asked Bhutto. He said, look, that's over there. You guys can defend yourself. Yeah, I, I, I will, I'll stay out of it. Yeah. I have nothing to do with that one. Yeah. They wrote a Mahzarnama. I've seen that. Yeah, it's yeah. awful, awful. Now, in the Mahzarnama, they said that the assembly have no right to decide, blah, 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 and we are not going to participate. Okay, that's fine. They submitted that one. After two days, someone said, what's wrong into that one? If you go there, make the point how the Malvi can face you guys. Malvi have no knowledge, you guys within like uh, you say, we thought energy. that they are going to convert all these Malvis to Ahmadiyat. <laughs> okay. Now, if you will leave only your Mahzar Nama over there and you don't participate, don't go over there, you can say it's a one-sided. Yeah, unilateral. Yeah. yeah. But now, you wanted the both way. You gave them the Mahzar Nama, you went over there, and you face 11 days over there, and Sadruddin Mia Manan even over He there. did a better job than Mirza yeah. Nasser. Mirza I've Nasser. read I've read the 3000 pages. Okay. When I was converting. <laughs> now <clears throat> they, they came out of that one and they said after the proceedings oh, if the proceedings would be open then half the Pakistan or the full of Pakistan would Mirza be Mirza Tahir said that. Yes, I remember that. For God's sake, in the presence of Mirza Nasser, in the presence of 11 days over there, 
the people, the 300 people more than who were listening and watching. At least 150 should have changed. <laughs> no, one even PN could not. No, I read the, um, uh, Sheikh Saab, sorry to interrupt you. I read during one Ramadan when I was getting my epiphany, mm -hmm. the 3,000 pages is available on internet. Some of it undoubtedly, Yaya Bakhtiar was a good friend of my paternal grandfather from Quetta, wow. because my grandfather was in mm -hmm. Quetta. Mm -hmm. And Yaya Bakhtiar did a forensic examination and he completely dismantled the Ahmadis. Believe and the me. Ahmadis are now regretting the fact that it's in the public domain. Yes. Believe me, no one can match to Yaya Bakhtiar. He, he was amazing. Amazing. If it yeah. would be left over on the Malvis, I'm sorry to say. No, no, <laughs> you know, Yaya Bakhtiar was not a very religious man, oh, but he was a fantastic but, prosecution oh, lawyer. He was. And Lastly, I would say that uh, the uh, the second bit was Manan, and he gave a better account of the Lahori yes. Jamaat, yeah. but they got dragged in as well because of the uh, messiahship and all that. Yes. So again, what we are talking here, just to put it in perspective for Adnan and Imtiaz Bhai who know about this, but my Ahmadi friends who live in the USA, in Canada, in Australia, in Britain, you may not be aware of these things. Mm -hmm. We've lived through that. I remember in 1974, my older brother was a medical student and he mm -hmm. got beaten up because of the Ahmadis, what they did in Rabba station. And as a consequence of that, many of your parents took asylum. And that is not how you spread Islam. You know, they keep saying that we've spread to the corners of the earth. You spread asylum seekers to the corners of the earth. Except I am the one who, who did all that in Germany. I was in 1975, I was in Germany. And it was my duty to go this place, to go that place, go this country, go to that country. That and, that. and no, for the asylum seekers to help them and to say, oh, I see. Them. Yeah, all these things I did in Sweden, in Germany. Did I, Mr. Tahir Ahmed also seek asylum or yes, was he given yes, British yes. citizens? No, no, no. He, he sucked the, even Masroor, they both came as a refugee here. So what's the uh, so that uh, you're the Khalifa of you claim to be the Khalifa of the Muslim Ummah and you're seeking refuge in the Dajjal's country and not only why that not one, go to Qadian? Uh, these facilities would get over the there. Indians <laughs> will welcome you because uh, we know that uh, Moody is a friend of the Amir of uh, Kababir. Uh, you know he welcomed him. He's no friend of them at that time, Dr. Saab, who was He calls Ahmadis their friend. No, no, they called. The thing is, at that in 74, <laughs> Moody was not there. I know that, but this now, Moody is yeah. now uh, claiming that Ahmadis are friends of BJP. No, it's the politics, all politics, Dr. Saab. There is no doubt about that one. And whatever the facilities they have in UK, they won't have in India. Mm. They won't have in India. They've got a very nice setup in Surrey, don't they? Everything as you look at there, they can do tables, whatever. farms, farms, everything. And where See? the money comes from, Chanda? Daksab, now the Chanda is the way they have. If I give you, I think they should do. Imtiaz should do that. A stream on that one. Yes, I think it's the Vasiyat system. This is the permanent income. That's permanent true. income. Jama now this cult is not in millions, money-wise. They are in billions. They are but in apparently the Canadian money also goes to the AMJ. Uh, the every Indian. euro, pound, Canadian, American dollar, yen, Australian dollar, African, everything goes there on a one point. And did they ever give a formal response from the Jamaat to the Panama Papers scandal? The one no, where no, they were no, exposed no. to have assets overseas for no. money, where people usually put money for money laundering. Uh, about off offshore companies and all these things, no. And for to save that one, they have made that the uh, humanity first and all these. Then 
the Sharif Foundation under his grandfather's name, Masrur. They did everything. Well, there. I asked for a rebate. I asked for a refund of the chanda that I have been given all these years. Dr. Sahab, I have initially I, they said I'll put you in touch with someone. No, I even no. wrote to Rafiq Hayat, oh, who himself is get, a multimillionaire. You can get, you can get. I have written so many letters for the MDs. Because I want to give it to but, Gaza. No, that, you should get that one. Actually, you can get that. I'll be in touch with you. <laughs> yeah, you can get that. Believe me. A recent See, I, only are... want, I don't want it for myself. No, I no, thought no. I would give it to Gaza. It's, it's your money. I Very think, good. Very yeah. good purpose. I think, um, uh, Izar Bhai, uh, it, maybe, inshallah, like Adnan Bhai was saying, we should do, inshallah, like a full program on this financial corruption of the Jamaat. Because on the this Vasiyat, is on the Vasiyat, yeah. believe me, it's a big scam. Yes. Dr. Yes. And, and this is where you, you can come in and 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 and, uh, and actually explain, describe, explain these things because we wouldn't know these things. Apparently, don't they don't let you bury the corpse until the money has been paid. No, the franchises are like this one, Dr. Saab, keep it in mind. The original thing is the only place is in Kadian, the graveyard, from where it started, that these MDs, that what I then explained them, they, they pulled their hairs. I said, look, you have to be buried in Kadian if you think that you did the Vasiyat and you want the Jannah. Otherwise, even if you are in Rabwa, Bashti Makbara, there is nothing because Mahmood has advised, ordered big at their board that whenever Jamaat will, they will take our bodies like Nusra Jahan Begum, Mirza Bashiruddin Mahmood, and rest take them of back to Kadian. Kadian, because that is the one where is real Jannat is there. All right, that's why they bury them with a very sort of Amanatan. Uh, Amanat. Look, Amanat. Uh, yeah, a lead uh, line. The box. The box. Yeah, we'll do a program on that, inshallah. Yeah. I'd like um, to know more. But okay. thank you very much for your time, and I'll Thanks, take your leave. Nice Thank to you. speak to all of you and keep Thank the good work so going. And I and apologize the, to any Ahmadi friends if I've said anything that they might be offended with. We apologize. Happy to, to be contacted. We apologize to everyone. There's no hard feelings there. There's not no at all. Feelings. Not at all. There's no. So we were sharing our we were sharing our thoughts over our, here, which can it, benefit to others. Absolutely, simply. absolutely. And this yeah. is this is this is beneficial for whoever it suits. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Jazakum Allah khair. Thank you so much. I think we should end the stream as in Tazbay. Is that okay? okay. Yeah. Yes, please. Yeah, yes. because there's no one in the there's there's no Ahmadi in the backstage, inshallah. No we can end it here. Yeah. <laughs> no, they ran away. And uh, I would just say if you are sitting, in... if you are sitting or I'm sitting, <laughs> that's <a> no Murabi. <laughs> no, no, I I'll be very frank. I mean, my I, I have great respect for Murabis, but no, you know, Allah risk is in Allah's hands. If they Even think that their risk is threatened, Allah will give you risk and give you far more risk. Yes, inshallah. Absolutely. absolutely. Trust in Allah and Allah will open doors in, in, in ways that you cannot imagine. So those people who are worried about financial loss or loss of the family, truth is more important than anything else or anyone else. Okay, It's easy for me to say it. I know. I understand. Yeah. Maybe, maybe you guys are in situations that I cannot imagine and understand fully. But again, trust in Allah. When you trust in Allah, Allah will take care of you. Allah will. Jaul Hakka wa Zahkul Batil Inna Al Batil Kana Zahuka. Absolutely. On that note, brothers, Sheikh Sheikh Saab, thank you so much. Allah bless you. You've always Amen. been in British Doctor Azhar. Thank, thank you so you. much for your thank time, you. your, your okay. comment, your participation. In Tazbai. On that note, I think Rabbana Zalam Na Anfusana Wa Taqfirlana Wa Tarhamlana Nakunna Min Al Qasirin. Rabbana Amin. حسنا وفي الآخرة حسنا وكنا عذاب النار سبحان رب رب العزة يما يسفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين السلام عليكم جزاك الله السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته everyone thank you very much